Hi guys and welcome to the full 100 days of Andy Man St. Paolo's adventure. Now my last full 100 days video is now my best performing video so thank you all so much for watching but a lot of you still aren't subscribed so if you enjoy my videos and want to help the channel out go down and subscribe now. Now sit back relax and let's get on with the video. Okay guys welcome back to another 100 day series. We are playing in St. Paolo's Hammer map mod. I'm going to bring it up for you now and just show you it. Uh, pause it. Nice little city. I thought it's big enough to do 100 days in so it's going to be interesting and see how it unfolds. We may branch out a little bit but a backstory for this is it used to uh you know create weapons manufacture weapons and things like that but it's, it's slowly dying out so i thought you know let's uh, play as a construction worker we are playing as andy man <laughs> pun intended um we've gone construction worker these are our traits i'll run through them very quickly we've got thin skinned let's pause it high first uh slow healer underweight pacifist prone to illness dexterous cat size slow reader short-sighted weak stomach smoker Outdoorsman, brave, fast learner, keen hearing, strong and fit. So, yes, I've done a little bit of testing uh, with this. It does look like it's quite highly populated. The settings are apocalypse with some exceptions. We have quartz removal has changed. Uh, mini maps on map is revealed because I don't want to be wasting time you know, searching for places. I, you know, it's just wasting time for me and wasting time for you guys. We want to know where we're going. And if he lives in this town, it makes sense that he would know it. Um, just trying to think whatever uh, settings have changed. I think that's it. If any come to me, I'll uh, be sure to let you know. Now, let's see this tortilla chip. Oh, yeah, we got the starter kit as well, which uh, I wanted because he's a construction worker. So, you know, I thought we'd have a hammer. Instead of modern in, I just used the construction kit. Uh, now, the construction worker, um, the starter kit, sorry. So, the construction worker starts with three in short blunt. So, we may go down that way. Mod wise, it's again pretty light. We've got vanilla firearms expanded. We've got Maddox weapon packs just to add some spice. I will, of course, link the collection in the description. So, go check it out if you want to play any of the mods. We've got fantastic handwork as well which uh, i haven't played with well i have but not a lot so looks like this is our house we got garage and everything so i suppose we better uh first 10 days is always kind of secure in the area looks like we'll be staying here i i think um so yeah let's go and have a look outside but first let's uh of course uh secure our area get them curtains closed uh, i'm not too worried about life and living because uh, I feel there's there's bound to be a uh, a VHS store here, so we're not going to worry about that. We will take that bandage though. Oh, we got a welder's mask right off the bat, but is that going to take our? It does get rid of our construction helmet, but I'm going to wear it. You know, I'm going to wear it. Let's we'll keep the construction helmet around. Oh, we got a rifle right off the bat as well, which is nice. In the uh, the mod description, does say that as I said, this will be uh, you know this town was used to produce firearms so i feel there's gonna be a lot of firearms that we're gonna be able to find which is nice because we got vanilla firearms expanded not too overpowered a good a good mix i think bloody hell we got another rifle already <laughs> uh and a magnum and some 44 rounds so there is definitely a lot of guns here i guess it may be the uh the the creator has increased the spawn chance for guns possibly i don't know all right so we got we got some nice stuff just from our uh, starting house so we're gonna just dump all this i don't like that window being open um let's go into the the back here i'm gonna just dump all this on the floor for the time being you know how it goes we got to get just put our stuff here for now we've got to get um you know our bearings and you know clear the area oh respawn is off as well i've turned respawn off because i want to uh yeah i just want to try and see if we can clear a little bit of it and and things like that really oh wow yeah we got a we got a fair few of them around already let's see if we can kite a couple we do have a car key which i reckon is for that there so we've got a car straight away hopefully that'll be nice we gotta be careful because as i say it's quite a high population map from what i've seen and tested i don't test a lot i just make sure everything's working so i don't really want to ruin a lot of it all right that's the initial lot sorted out we'll take that wrench thank you very much is the uh it is the key to this car let's see how we're looking not too good. No fuel, no engine. But that's fine. Um, we'll take... Oh, bloody hell, and more guns. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to go up and down the street and just make sure we've got the majority of the Zeds around here dead. Uh, I hope they haven't seen me because... Have these seen me? No, okay. Let's go deal with these over here then. Oh, we got some here, actually. We have just got ourselves a nice digital watch. Thank you very much, zombie. Alright, so we got rid of uh, quite a fair few of them. 
Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to doing another 100 days. They are uh, very time consuming, um, of course, but they're fun. And I, I really do think this is, is a, looks like a really good map. So it deserves 100 days in it. You, can't be, you wouldn't be able to get it done in 30 days, I don't think. Oh, bloody hell. Okay. Oh, there's more. There's more. All right, let's check these cars. We still got some Zeds over there that we need to deal with. Oh, screwdriver and duct tape. We'll take that. Thank you very much. Got a lighter. Oh, camping canteen. That is very nice. Thank you very much as well. Oh, another hum uh, camping canteen. Very nice. We got the key for this, but again, no dice on the engine. That's fine. Okay. We also have as well standardized vehicle upgrades, I believe it's called. So we can... Do all of this too and it does support uh filibuster rhymes as well so that is really nice um so we're going to be doing some metal work in that's good it's good it gives us something we can upgrade all of these lovely cars but it looks like we've uh cleared out the 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 initial area let's go and have a look what we got in our shed back there shall we? it's nice that we got these fences here as well we're pretty secure here i'll also go dump some of this stuff off as well oh our door is that our, is this our house yeah why the hell is the door closed do we go around the back hey hey buddy come on that's my window not already not on day one jesus all right we're in our garage we have to break the door down it sounds like there is uh zombies on the other side um okay let's do it whoa we have got beta blockers on this zombie. That is very nice. We are brave, so we won't be getting too uh, panicked, but it's still good to have. Uh, we're going to close that. <laughs> right, let's get rid of some of this stuff in our house. Oh, that fancy handwork's going to take some getting used to, that's for sure. All right, so I think I'd better uh, little mark our uh, base. We'll put our base there. Okay, that's good. And we'll probably loot these houses in the neighborhood uh, and then, yeah, go from there, really. Because, of course, we do need basics like uh, we'll eat some. We'll wait till we got some out in the presents, actually. We do need basics like a can opener, which we don't even have yet. I do like our house, though. Got to do something about this. Uh, let's try and move this chair. Oh, we actually managed to pick it up without uh, without breaking it. Okay, brilliant. Uh, oh, we can at least um, close our curtains now, which is good. Uh, let's just keep going uh, one by one. Mark off the houses on this road. That is the first, uh, you know, the first thing you got to do, day one. And we'll take the chips and the two cigarettes. That is nice. Thank you. Nice duffel bag would uh, would be nice about now. But, you know, you don't always get what you want in PZ, as we all know. Oh, we do have some... Oh, we got a nice steak and also a pot of soup, is that? We're going to eat all of that to get our weight up. Ah, and a can opener. Amazing. We'll favourite that straight away. Oh, how to use generators already. <laughs> oh, amazing. We don't even have Lucky. But I'm not complaining. Oh, no. Saw. Nice, 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 nice. We'll take that. Oh, metal pipe. That we shall also take as short blunt. Nice new gloves as well. We shall take them. Of course, another, another gun case. I think there's one on the other side of the wardrobe as well. Yep, there is. Oh, duffel bag. Yes. Let's transfer all that over. That is very nice. Oh, we've actually got some sports shorts in there. We don't need them, so we'll, we'll put them back. We've got a shotgun. Nice, 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 nice. And a pistol. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to be using uh, firearms this run. <laughs> oh, wow. And more guns and ammo. Jesus. All right, so I just checked, and I did actually enable vanilla forums expanded so i have just quickly turned that on um because i do want that i do want that so it looks like it's worked yet yeah, the m5 that's all good let's get home and drop all this stuff off we are very overweight i can actually hear a lot of zombies somewhere and i don't know where they are so that's quite worrying let's get our pot oh god i can hear them where are they where's our pipe where's our pipe all right we've got our pipe for things get a bit tasty i don't know oh my god where the hell have all these come from oh, what's this what's this guy doing he just stood there Hey, buddy. Uh, this guy did actually have some cigarettes, which we will take. Oh, it sounds like they've broken through. That's quite worrying that that's uh, all open and exposed. Now, let's go and have a lighter and actually have a, uh, a cigarette now, and also a bit of steak. All right, let's get uh, let's get some sheets up. We need them up, so I know uh, unexpected surprises come barreling through the window. We are getting tired now as well, but that's fine. Uh, what I'll do is have a very quick tidy up. A bit of organisation uh, before we hit the hay, I think, today. All right, so we sorted some stuff out. I got uh, all the books in the bookcase. I put all the guns in here, uh, in there. We've also got a tailor and thing, but I can hear a zombie somewhere creeping. We are tired, so it's not ideal. Let's just go and do a little... Oh, there's one there. Let's go and do a little lap around the, uh, the house. Um, there are zombies down there as well, so it's more clearing out. Oh, we've got two of them here. Let's not hang around there in case we trip. Oh. 
All right, we need to uh, we need to get to bed because we are tired. It's 20 to 11, uh, so we'll hit the hay and we'll see you in the morning. All right, day two. Let's go out and see how we're looking outside again. We're just going to be clearing the neighborhood today, I think. Let's get a quicker. Oh, actually, I want to check this shelf here. I don't think we checked it, did we? Oh, look at this. Ah, oh, oh tune in stuff. Oh, that's what we want. That's what we want, all right. Actually, going to. Well, we're getting this strawberry before it goes rotten. And we're also going to eat the mac and cheese because we need to. Uh, we need to gain our weight up. Yeah, because we're on seventy and gaining. We could do a little bit more. I would eat the the rice and the black beans and stuff, but. We don't have any antidepressants. I don't mind when we got antidepressants, but we do not have any. So, right. Oh, okay. Okay. We got some, uh, where are you going? Hey, I'm over here. Idiot. Yeah, I've never actually played with the, uh, construction worker profession. I don't think in all my hours. Not a bad, uh, not a bad one. You start with three short blunt, which is really helping and, uh, leveling carpentry. Is it carpentry you start with? Yeah. So you're going to get an XP boost from that as well, which is nice. All right, let's venture out a little. Oh, oh, we've got a, uh, a survivor zombie down there. Headhunter, I think. Let's try and kite him up here. We might be able to get some good gear from him. We'll take the gun and the magazine. Why the hell not? And the painkillers, you know. Um, and you got to get that bread. Ah, uh, do we? Yeah, that's where the coat. Let's wear it. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool, actually. We look like the Grim Reaper. All right. Well, we are now the Grim Reaper, not a construction worker, but that's fine. All right. Let's start going through these houses. Let's mark the house we did do. There we go. Oh, I know I always uh, get confused. So let's have a look in here. Nice new bag or something. Oh Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought there was an alarm gonna go off. Now that would be the worst ever if we had an alarm go off. Can you imagine? Whew, I, just, I need to I nearly had a heart attack from that zombie. <laughs> I can hear zombies. I just don't know where the hell they are. Herbalist, yes please. Oh, pipe wrench, yes. And a walkie-talkie, thank you. Ah, oh, hand axe, yes, we will take that. And more guns. <laughs> I feel the game is uh trying to tell me something here. Yeah, sometimes it is very, uh, very generous. I mean, even with Extremely Rare when I've played it. Oh, me oh, you can get music books. We are playing with the Hobbies mod again. That's nice. That's nice. Let's take that. We could do with more uh, more guns. Let's go back. Uh, not more guns. Sorry, we got plenty of guns. More melee weapons. Let's get back and drop all this stuff off. And then we'll uh, we'll go through the garages, I think. That's where we're going to get some weapons. I do you like these, uh, this, this cloak? I do really like it. Hey, you ain't sneaking up on me. Oh dear. All right, let's be having you. Just the two of you? No problem with me. Yes, another metal pipe. We get anything good in the shed? Of course, it's locked, of course. Another metal pipe, yes please. More metal pipe. Oh, and a propane tank, do we need that? We will take it. All right, let's, let's go drop this off and finish clearing out the neighborhood. Gotta be careful this uh, cloak doesn't make us overheated though. That's what I'm uh, worried about. Right, let's do the rest of the houses on this side of the road and then also, uh, actually, let's get a couple of pipes on us until we gain our maintenance. I feel we're gonna be going through them fairly quick. Uh, I think two should do it. We will favour them as well. Yeah, let's do the rest of the houses on this side and then also the garages. I think the zombie, we're okay for zombies uh, around here. How many have we killed already? It's got to be a fair few. 78. Jesus. I mean, we may have to use short blunt this run. I mean, it makes sense, doesn't it? With the X. How much XP boost do we get from that? Um, 125%. Okay. Uh, yes, we'll take all of that. And we'll uh, close the, uh, the garage door. Oh, it doesn't have one. Ah, uh, that's not ideal. Um, oh well. Nearly. But not quite. Oh, there's a few coming now. Oh yes, give me them give me the pipes. Give me the pipes. Okay, let's go and do another drop off at home. A lot of loot around here. A lot of uh Oh, I see zombies. That's fine. I'll pause there. Yeah, it's a fairly big size when you think about it. It's like a whole, you know, res well, it's, it's like the commercial, the high street of Louisville, really. It is a nice size. We've got a lot of, maybe these are a school and stuff. We'll probably have a little look up there. We're doing okay for books, to be fair, though. A VHS store is uh, what we really need. But in time, let's deal with these locals. Oh, oh Lord, there's a few of them up there. I feel maybe we should deal with that horde, maybe. Let's try and kite a couple of them. That is a big old horde. Oh God, there's a crawler there. I didn't even realize. Oh, he could have had a chunk out of our shin. That's it. One at a time or three at a time. I'm happy with that. 
Well, looks like we got most of them. We'll have this uh, trowel or fork that's in this guy's bag. Thanks, buddy. And fork, yes, that's, uh, we will have that. Oh, well, the area is, I would like to think, fairly clear. I mean, we've killed 108 zombies already. Uh, there's a zombie in here somewhere. I don't know where. Hmm, I think he's upstairs. So we're going to be careful. I see him over there. Not today, zombie. Come on, lady, be quiet. Oh, there goes the pipe. Antidepressants, nice, nice, nice. We wanted them, that's a nice, uh, nice find. I mean, we'll take another pipe wrench. You can never have too many pipe wrenches, I think. Another gun case and a load of guns in there. I can't get in there. Someone's put a bloody chest of drawers there. Uh, but they do have a nice pistol for us. All right, let's head home. Let's head home. I think we're going to start getting tired soon anyway. So we've cleared this side of the street, which was our goal. All right, we're home. Probably going to spend the rest of the day just reading an electronics book just so we can actually get rid of all this uh, trash on the floor here. We have got a hell of a lot of books already ah what a way to uh to finish the day just sat reading a nice book about electronics all right so we got about halfway through the book we're gonna just pop that down next we need to finish it uh, we're gonna have a smoke um and then we're gonna head to bed so we'll uh catch you in the morning all right day three let's head out we're gonna have a little scope around the area i think today we're gonna go have a look at these uh maybe at this industrial place here just uh check it out see how uh, see what's going on down there maybe get some good loot but first we need a little snack i think maybe uh maybe some sugar yeah just eat some sugar come on andy man eat some sugar all right we're good to go a couple of locals have decided to come on over and say hello and it's time for them to meet the pipe oh yeah that's how we do it around here all right, so we're venturing out of our uh, street for the first time. There's a fair few of them over there, um, which I'm not too uh, too happy about. Uh, and they've decided to come on over as well. Well, come on down. Nice working car would be good, but I think that's uh, that's asking too much. Um, I was going to loot the houses across the road, but I don't know if that's the smartest thing to do um, with there being possibility of an alarm. That could be really, uh, really bad for us, actually. Uh, at least until we know what the situation's like around us. All right, so we're in this area. Looks like there's a fair few. Not a problem. Again, they can meet the pipe. Okay, looks all right. Mm, door's locked, of course. Can we get in without alerting them over there? I think we might be able to. <laughs> Okay, well, they just keep on coming, don't they? All right, we're in the warehouse. Oh, that zombie broke down the bloody door anyway in the end. Wow, level three in a... Oh, we got a sledgehammer. <laughs> oh my God, look at all of this lovely, lovely loot. We're gonna need a bigger bag. We are short blunt kings. Yeah, as I was saying, short blunt starting at level three. Whoa, we are very overweight. Let's get back for the day, I think. We came, we saw, we caught... Oh, okay, this is not good. Ah, we're going to be able to hop the fence. This could be risky. This could be risky. I don't think we're going to be able to. If we can, that's ideal. We're, we're home free. Oh, yeah, we did. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. All right, we are home. So I think we're just going to sort a bit more of the base. I want to finish reading Electronics 1. That's what we're going to do. So many metal bars, lead pipes. we got the lot. Do we need the axe? Probably not, to be fair. We'll leave that. Right, let's finish reading this bloody book and then we can get rid of all the scrap off the floor. All right, we just finished Electronic 1. Um, I can hear zombies around somewhere, so we're going to go have a look. Yep. Oh, we got a couple of them. All right. And uh, for your troubles, I'll leave you with uh, that book. The camping stuff, the camping canteens last bloody ages they are very nice now, especially with high first all right we've got we've read it let's dismantle all this stuff maybe we'll get to level two uh level one i don't know if we will it hasn't only got us there to be fair uh, we may actually be able to get there with all the stuff that we've got is the camera gonna do it for us oh not quite not quite okay we're gonna have a lot of trash on us but that's fine 10 batteries we ain't never gonna worry about batteries all right we need a tiny little bit let's go into one of the houses and dismantle i don't know the tv or something just to get us over the line there weight is uh, not looking the best but we can eat some black beans now that we have um some antidepressants ah oh, there we go electrical one okay that is uh that's nice that's really nice actually right, let's go back and have some food now uh, we're definitely going to be putting this uh, sledgehammer to use uh, absolutely let's just put it there for now oh i can hear zombies i feel they're going to keep coming from this road here maybe we go and uh yeah we may have to clear that out Definitely gonna have to re put a door up there. Maybe. Oh, look at all them down there. That's a job for tomorrow. Oh, God, I don't even have this in my primary. Gotta be careful with that with the fancier uh, handwork. Hmm. 
we are uh, definitely going to run out of space um, for all these guns. <laughs> yep, we can't get them in there. Uh, let's put them in the oven for now. Uh, there you go. Uh, if in doubt, just put your guns in the oven. Actually, we'll put them in the one above. That would that would make more sense. <laughs> all right. Well, anyway, it's uh, it's 20 to 9, so it's probably about time we go to bed. We are tired. Um, so yeah, we're going to hit the hay tomorrow. I think we're going to do more sorting uh, and more reading, I think. So we'll see you then. All right, day four. Uh, we're not going to do reading today. We're going to go and clear some zombies, I think. Um, what I also want to do is make sure all windows in the building are closed because we're going to have to stick inside when between days five until the helicopter comes. I always do it. Definitely ain't worth the risk in a, a place like this. Just making sure it is all secure so the helicopter won't be able to see in. All right, this one's closed. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. we got sheets on the door there. Yep, they're all closed. What about the bathroom? Yep, okay. I swallowed this one though. There we go. They're closed now. Uh, all the kitchen's closed. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, that's fine. Let's uh, let's go out the back. Uh, I can hear zombies banging around somewhere, shuffling and moving around. Uh, we have got two chevrons weight as well. That's nice. Uh, we got again a lot of fog, aren't we, this playthrough? It's like two days of fog already. Ooh. Now let's go and clear these, uh, these bastards out down here that we saw, I think. We don't want them wandering over do we come on come on that's it don't know why we have a spatula in our inventory all right well that's them dealt with oh god windows are smashing oh jesus christ run <laughs> my god getting a bit too cocky there wasn't i it's always the way it's always what gets you killed in pz That house looks like it's got a very secure garden, actually, doesn't it? Let's go back down to this warehouse and try and get a few more bits and kill some zombies while we're at it. We got six pipes on us, Jesus. I didn't even realise that. But yeah, I'm liking liking the map so far. I like the high Z pop. Keeps things interesting, absolutely. Oh, box and nails will have them. Oh, propane torch as well. That's nice. That is really nice. And of course, more pi uh, pipes. <laughs> Never say no to more pipes. We did get quite lucky with the spawn. I don't know what the spawns are like here. I, I don't know. Maybe we spawn near here because we are a construction worker, possibly. I know vanilla kind of puts you in places that match your profession. I'm not sure if that is something with this mod. But then we are in a, uh, quite a built a residential area. So there's probably a lot of things that will spawn. Because it's a house at the end of the day. Let's deal with these jokers. <laughs> Oh, oh, what we got down here, is it another headhunter? Oh, we never checked the backpack for the headhunter. I don't think he had one that last one. But that backpack looks like it's something uh, that I want. There is only so to be, I think it's uh, a 2% chance of the headhunter spawning. Okay, so capacity 2185. I feel that's going to be better than a duffel bag. Uh, 2185. Uh, yes, 100% better. Uh, no, let's equip that because duffel bag's okay. Um, but it just wasn't cutting it to be honest kind of want the mask as well because uh, I feel corpse sickness could be an issue Maybe we'll take it. Yeah, we'll take the mask. So we got it I do actually prefer wearing the welding masks then we're always ready to weld <laughs> when it's uh, you know when we're going around Ooh, what We got over here then. Um, okay, that's interesting. That's uh, for another day. You got a truck down there as well Let's uh, let's head back start heading back anyway we are going to eat that butter as well, just to get them calories pumping still. Didn't actually make us sad. I thought it made you sad, but I guess not. All right, let's 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 get home. Finish tidying up, I think. I am going to keep a weapon on me. Uh, let's keep the lead pipe on us, I think. Ah, we could do with scissors as well, actually. All right, so I think we'll actually have our tailoring station over here. I do like to have uh, my base in a certain way, as you probably know from now, if you've watched uh, you know a few of my videos. I do like to have certain things uh, in certain places. It's just how I uh, how I roll, to be honest. I always have like my bags and important stuff under the sink. Don't know why. Do not know why. Uh, like all the odd bits that you really need. Uh, you know, like your pipe wrench, your bags, and and things like that. Um, yeah, and the rest. Uh, we're actually going to put the batteries in there as well. I think. All right, we have tidied the house, uh, 10 to 6. We are actually nearly at short blunt level 4, which is really nice. We are going to be smashing schools. I uh, I have no doubt about that. Oh, I found some more books. We'll have them. Um, but yeah, I think we'll probably just read for the rest of the day, and then we've got days of reading because, of course, the helicopter's due. I believe it's between days 5 and 10, or is it 7 and 10? I, know, I can never remember. Let me know in the comments. Um, I always forget, but I am not risking it. Not around here. Weight's looking good. Yeah, so we'll see you in the morning. Damn it, I was just on our way upstairs. I read some magazines, running upstairs, tripped over that. God damn it. Now, we've got a hole in our bloody boots. Uh, yeah, I read all the magazines before bed and dumped one on this zombie. 
Um, mm, that is very annoying, actually. I won't lie. Um, we need to find more boots, but I suppose some shoes. Oh, they've got holes in. Uh, they haven't. Okay, so we're going to have to wear shoes for the time being. That's a very annoying. I did like our boots, but um, and we will not be going anywhere then for the next couple of days, which is fine because the helicopter's coming. I'm such a bloody idiot. Um, but again, we'll see you in the morning. Okay, day five. We're, we're limping still, but not too bad. We woke up at 20 to 6, so maybe we went to bed a little bit too early. Uh, we're going to have some food, and then we are going to hit them books. That actually sounded like the water had gone. I bloody hope not already. That's not going to be ideal. Well, how's our weight? Are we going to eat a big old bag of sugar? Uh, yes, we are, because why the hell not? Didn't even give us two chevrons. Uh, let's just eat all this little trashy bits we've got. Uh, we are bored, so we're going to read a magazine as well, but we're going to we're gonna hit the books. Okay, so at the end of day five, we managed to get through um, tailoring and halfway through metalworking, so I think that's a pretty good result. We're going to uh, eat some We're gonna eat some cereal. Uh, hit the hay, and we'll see you in the morning. Okay, day six. We woke up at eight o'clock, a much more reasonable time. I think 12 o'clock is the optimal time to go to bed, roughly. Oh, I thought I had the helicopter then, but I didn't. That's fine. So again, you know, we're just going to crack on. We're down boats. We're going to sit in our little seat over here, um, as we do. No sleep. No, nope. we're going to sit down and we're going to finish my work in one. Crack on there, Andy man. All right, the end of day six, we did manage to get a uh, mechanics read. Um, and we also read some magazines because we was getting a little bit bored, as I'm sure you uh, can imagine. Looks like the corpses are starting to despawn. I think I've got it set to 100 hours uh, before they despawn. Oh my God, are they military? Are they the ones we put there or are they nice fresh ones? Let's deal with this joker. Um, they don't seem to have a hole in them, do they? They must be nice fresh ones. Uh, oh, yes. Okay, we will... Uh, yeah, well, we'll have them. Perfect. <laughs> you have your shoes, mate. But anyway, yeah, we're going to have some food and off to bed and we'll see you tomorrow. Oh, I shouldn't have gone outside, actually, because the bloody helicopter, should I? That was risky. That was risky. But um, yeah, we'll see you in the morning. All right, day seven. We have lost uh, underweight. We're at 78 weight, which is nice. Still with two chevrons, we'll probably get to 80. I still hear a bloody zombie somewhere. But um, yeah, we are a little bit, uh, we're getting bored. Um, let's read a quick magazine. But again, we are just going to hit the books. You know, you can't put a price on knowledge. Knowledge is key. Knowledge is power. So yeah, we're going to crack on and wait for this bloody helicopter. I can still hear a zombie outside, but I'm not going out there because I know as soon as I do, the bloody helicopter will come. I'm not doing it. Not doing it. He's baiting me out there and I'm just, I'm not doing it. Looks like we're going to have to read farming. We're running out of books to read. We have finished carpentry as well. So that's nice. All right, it's 20 past 11. We didn't actually finish um, farming. Uh, we're going to have some food, have a smoke, everything we need before we get into bed. Uh, we'll eat this bullion cube because uh, why not? Food, we're looking okay for food to be honest. Not worried about that. Let's eat some tuna and uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get off to bed. Hopefully the helicopter comes tomorrow on day eight tomorrow. Wow. Okay. Well, we'll see you then. Okay. 10 to 8 in the morning. We've woke up fairly fresh, a little bit hungry. I do like this fancy handwork. It's really good. Definitely go check it out. As I say, I'll link the uh, mod list in the description so go check it out um let's get some food in us uh fill our uh, camping stuff up let's check see if the water's gone out actually wow it has okay that's uh that's gonna be a problem can you fill up from these uh no you can't okay um but we can definitely fill up from the sink um so let's get some water probably read some magazines um and yeah i'll let you know if the uh the old uh, chopper comes. All right, it's 10 to 10. I did turn the TV on to see if we got uh, any update of air activity, but it doesn't look like it. I don't I think you can get it on the, why the hell's that in there? I don't know if you can get it on the uh, on the TV. I think you can on the news channel. I know you can on the radio, but we're gonna heat, eat some food. We are um, extremely bored and we're starting to get a tad weepy, but we've got antidepressants, so it's not the end of the world. And that didn't really fill us up, did it? We're gonna have to eat some more. Let's eat some spaghetti bolognese. Uh, and then we're gonna go to bed and uh, yeah, hopefully it will come tomorrow okay day nine 20 to 7 still no helicopter and i can hear zombies there's definitely a couple of them out there all we got to do all we can do is just wait around let's see if there's any magazines or anything upstairs oh we got a newspaper so i guess we'll read that not really going to do a lot though to be honest uh, i'm going to word search as well all right so the helicopter's here um i can hear it hopefully i don't think it's seen as um do i want to fast forward time i think we do and then we can bail if we need to let's uh okay so it's gone it's probably going to come back. Yeah, it's going to do its pass. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Oh, I hear zombies smashing things. It's come back again. Do hear zombies smashing things down 
downstairs somewhere. Oh, go away, please, 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 please. Okay, it's gone. Although, I think a zombie just smashed our door, our window in. Yep. Oh, get back. Oh, God. Okay. Um. All right. We're okay outside. It's fine. The uh, helicopter didn't bring too many over. Let's uh, deal with this uh, uninvited guest. Get out of our house, you bastard. Okay. So that's that done. Right. Right. Let's sort out these moodles. We need some food. Um. Okay. Okay. Let's see some marmalade. Why the hell not? Or oh, fruit cocktail. We'd like a fruit cocktail. We'll open, open both of them. We need a smoke. That's fine. Oh, well, we've uh, we've done it. We're, we're home free now. Oh, we've actually got a bin here we can put stuff in. Not that. Let's put all of this stuff here as we don't need it anymore. And then we're going to go have a little look around um, the area. Not go too far because they're probably stirred right up the zombies. Uh, and I want to try and stay outside as much uh, as we can because we are bored. I may even fast forward time a little bit just to get rid of this boredom. Um, yeah, I'm going to do it, I think. So actually staying outside decreases your boredom. I don't know why you get bored inside. I mean, oh well, it is what it is. And then what we can do now that that's gone, pop a couple of antidepressants. Probably going to need two. That should kick in and we should be good to go. So let's go. And actually, let's have a look behind here and see if there's any uh, zombies because that's where they're coming in from, I think. So we can, if we can clear them out. Yeah, there's a couple, not too many. Let's go clear them out so they don't wander on over to our, uh, to our gaff. All right, well, you take that, you zombie bastards. Okay, let's uh, have a look up here. See how, uh, see how we're looking. I hear things smashing. I'm just going to ignore it. Another pipe wrench. <laughs> so many pipe wrenches. Let's uh, get the old mappage out and mark some of this stuff off because we have actually done these buildings. This is what I mean. I always forget uh, to mark stuff off. It's nice. Uh, look at all this industrial area over here. I think we're going to have loot for days. We're going to have to get into the high street at some point um, because we're going to need the VHS store because we're going to need rain collectors. We've got a lot to do, but the, the, the benefit of having a hundred days is you know you don't you, you ain't gonna rush around um the 30 days are fun but you do uh, it's normally for the 30 day series i do are normally on the smaller maps um where you don't really need longer than 30 days but then you do also feel that you have to get quite a lot done in a fairly short amount of time as the first 10 days like we said you're always you know setting up oh yeah there's a lot of them here uh, you set it up and kind of waiting for the helicopter my god where the hell did all these come from uh, we're still a tad weepy. Uh, well, actually, uh, severely depressed. So let's have some more pills. The pills will sort it. The pills will sort it. Let's have a little look uh, down this road. We're probably going to start getting tired soon as well. Yeah, I don't want to attract too big a horde because I feel we are going to get tired. Well, let's go down south a little bit. I can see there's a zombie here uh, messing around down here. Uh, we are going to take some more antidepressants. Thank you. So I got... I feel it's fairly clear then round uh, round our base. We've had a very good uh, 10 days. I mean, there's a lot of houses. There just seems to be quite a lot of loot. I mean, I don't know if that's intentional, as I say, if the, the, the mod creator, if that's something they can do or have done. Um, but there is, just seem to be a lot. Oh, we've got bloody... We've got a hole here now. We need to, uh, we need to get this boarded up. Uh, we do have an axe, so we can use that. And we don't have enough nails. Let's get some nails. You know, we may as well chop a tree down and do it properly. Hand axe probably hasn't got a lot of uh, a lot of durability though, because we're not even at um, level one maintenance yet. Okay, this will do. Let's board uh let's board our house up. We'll put a plank on each, I think. We are getting tired, so we'll save that till tomorrow. And let's eat some of this. What did uh oh yeah, let me put my axe back so I know I'll forget. I just know it and I'll end up having it on me. Uh, do we delete this stuff? Probably not. Let's uh let's keep it there for the time being. Well, our depression has actually gone as well, which is nice. We stayed outside for a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's half past 10. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We're going to fortify the base. So we'll see you then. All right, day 10, half past six. We have uh, survived the first 10 days, nearly. We're on day 10, but we, we pretty much survived it. What I'm going to do today, I'm not going to venture far. We're probably going to stay around base, get these barricades up, and uh, yeah, get ready to kind of push into, I suppose, the town next episode. Leave me alone. No, not my window. Ah! Oh, damn it. Pick this bloody glass up. I don't want this all over the floor. You can have it. Actually, you can have it back over here, you bastard. Yeah, you take the glass. Oh, I hear another one banging around somewhere. Oh, I can't actually get to that window. Okay, well, that's going to have to stay uh, unbarricaded for the time being. Oh, busy day. All I want to do is just kind of... Actually, you know how else we'll get planks? Dismantle these, because I know I'll fall over them. I know I will. Can we dismantle them? Doesn't look like we can. Uh, I thought you could. I know you can dismantle the fences. Maybe we... Let's sledgehammer them down because I know what's going to happen. I'm going to trip on them again. It looks like our, our foot has healed. 
Uh, so we'll actually take the bandage off because we only have one bandage. Uh, yeah, it's healed, which is nice. So let's get destroying. Ah, oh, lovely. No more trip hazards. Safety first. Safety first in the zombie. If there's ever a time to have safety first, it is a zombie apocalypse, surely. Uh, I would say so anyway. I hear another jabroni out here somewhere. Where are you? I hear you out here. Come on, show yourself. And break your legs. I kneecap you. Have some of that. That's how we do it around here. Son of a bitch. All right, how many planks we got? We got no planks. Okay, well, that, that, that's going to do. Oh, we could dismantle all of this, actually. Yeah, we're going to have to... Uh, let's clean the bandage. We're going to have to go into town and um, get some VHSs because we need stairs. We need rain collectors. We are drastically low on water. This is day 11 we're on. We are uh, a bit anxious. We need to smoke. We're a bit hungry. We need water, don't we? We need... Um, that's, uh, that's an issue. Okay, so I think we're going to actually go and have a look into the high street here a little bit. We're going to push in just to see if we can see a VHS store. And have a little look around, see if we can also find a car as well. But that is the goal for today. Uh, we are a bit low on food as well, actually. So keep an eye out for that. We'll get rid of these magazines that we've got for some reason. All right, let's get uh, let's get exploring. All right, so we've got some car. Oh, we've got a lot of cars here. we got a lot. Hopefully, we can get a working one here. Oh, we got the, uh, we got the key uh, and some smokes. Is this going to be work, though? <laughs> No. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. It's a nice old car park and a little mall or something there as well. We'll go and uh, investigate, I think. All right, so we dealt with the uh, the zombies around here, so let's uh, keep looking in the cars. Um, I mean, surely one of these will... Uh, we're getting a lot of duct tape, which I'm not complaining about. Surely one of these is going to be working. No look here. I'm surprised we haven't found a key on the floor, actually, as well. Oh, our pipe's broke. Um, okay, we do have a spare. Yeah, there we go. Not in the best condition, but oh well. What is our maintenance? I know we just gained uh, we gained the level in uh, short blunt, which is nice. Maintenance nearly at one, so yeah, when we get that, hopefully stuff will last a little bit longer. Right, so it looks like we've... Uh, we can get in there. I'm not quite sure what is in there. Shall we have a look? Uh, let's leave it for the time being. Let's clear out some of these zombies outside. Oh, I do see a car key down there as well, which is nice. Now, this car looks in a very good condition. Um, jerry can. We could probably do with that. I don't think we've got any back at base, so we will take that. We will take the fuel, though. All right, so we've actually got gas, which is good. Um, so now, yeah, if we find a car that's got a key, we can just pop some gas in it and we're good to go. I won't mind a, little, a, a truck. Oh, we've got this key over here, haven't we? A little bit of a horde down there. I don't really want to get them involved, but we might just uh, take a Crown Vic. Okay, so where is that then? Where the hell is that? Whew, okay, um, well, that's that uh, horde dealt with. Let's actually, let's go back to the car, the truck up here, was it? That had... The key? I can put some... Oh, look at all these zombies everywhere. Uh, no, let's just keep uh, looking around, I think. Maybe we'll get lucky with this truck? No. Oh, we got a level in maintenance. Nice. We do also need some scissors. Then we can start looking at some tailoring. Alright, let's have a look at this truck, actually. Yeah, we got a lug wrench. We will use that to grind some mechanic skill, I think. Has this guy got scissors in him, or is it... Mm, no, it's a gun. We don't need it. We will take the holster. And actually the nightstick, because I think that's short blunt. Alright, we'll probably start heading back. We do have cars outside of our house, so I do think one of them had the key but no fuel, so we'll top that up with fuel, um, and then we'll see if we can get that going. Wouldn't mind this, you know. Let's have a look at the yeah, let's have a look at it. See what condition it's in. Um it is in very good condition. Uh tires not so much, but has it got the key in here? Uh yes, okay, I think we'll take this, you know. Alright, we got wheels, we got wheels. We're mobile, baby. Alright, let's get home. Actually, let's go for a little drive on the high street. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna scope the area out, see if we can find a uh, VHS store. That's what I want next. I want to get some uh, rain collectors plumbed in as we are low on water. Now, I know there was a few wrecks down here. A lot of shops. This is nice. This is nice, but it is quite busy. Okay, we got to get out of here. This is far too... Why is the car struggling so much? We don't have Sunday driver. 
Oh, there is a lot of them. Let's get in this car park. We know this car park's clear. Let's go in. Let's go in the mall. This little mini mall. Oh, Jesus. Where the hell did all these come from? Oh, okay. Well, that's them dealt with. Right, okay. Let's uh, carefully have a look in here. Okay, we got a we got a clothing shop maybe. Oh, <laughs> five baseball bats. Yes, please. <laughs> this is like a sporting goods uh, place by the looks. It's so many baseball bats. We probably don't need that many baseball bats, especially as we are probably going to go short blunt. Oh, we've pretty much uh, cleared this one out. We really need a VHS store. Right, let's have a little look. What else is uh, in here? Oh, we're probably going to start getting tired, so we're actually going to get out of here for today. I think. Oh, uh, we got visitors. Oh, right, okay. All right, home sweet home. I've seen a couple of zombies over here that we better deal with. Yep. All right, 20, uh, half past 10, time to hit the hay, and we'll see you uh, in the morning. Tomorrow, we're going to go over the road, do a bit of metal work in, um, and go from there, but we'll see you then. All right, 10 past 8, we're ready to go. I so say we're not going to go far today. We're going to uh, look at the cars at the road, see how, uh, see how we're looking. Uh, maybe the jack was in one of them, I don't know. But we're going to do some dismantling of beds and also some dismantling of metalwork and stuff, I think. Because why the hell not? We can get that, then we can start repairing our car and everything like that now. It's risky going in these houses because there could be an alarm, and that's the last thing I want. But it's got to be done. We may as well kill all these uh, wanderers that have uh, decided to come over in our turf. Get out of it, you bastard. Cool, there's some fancy uh, fancy furniture in here. And a zombie. Ah, get out of it. I can hear zombies and it's very tight in here. So we've got to be careful. Oh, ice cream. We'll have that. Thank you. Be quiet. Oh, nice. Leveling carpentry. That is uh, very nice, actually. So level two already. We did start with a level, of course, uh, and we do get that XP bonus. Uh, but that is uh, that's nice. That's nice. We may even get to level six with the uh, with the VHSs, maybe. Uh, we should probably check the garages as well. Oh, there's a zombie on the other side of that door. Oh, more ice cream. Thank you very much. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Wow. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, gotta be careful. Where the hell is... There we go. Um, right, so we've done that, 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 and that. We are going to go back and drop some of this stuff off because our bag is full. we got some nice old loot. we got some food. we got some ice cream. What's our weight looking like? Uh, 83. Yeah, we don't really want to be having high-calorie stuff, but we will put the free the ice cream in the freezer. Um, yeah, we got, uh, we got some nice stuff from these two houses. More ammo, of course. Um... But mainly the food, but also um, we're nearly at metal working one, which is nice. Actually, can we repair our hood with without metal working? I don't think we can. Uh, no, we need. Oh, we need mechanics. Okay, but well that's fine. We got we got the uh, mechanics VHS that we can look at. All right, let's go back uh, to the houses. Carry on looting. Oh, and a fanny pack. We'll wear that on the front now. I like to keep my batteries in there. This is a very strange layout. I mean, you're not really going to be able to get to that uh, that oven very well, are you? Um, okay, well, anyway. Oh, and there we go. Metal working one. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, we're not going to worry about dismantling these beds just yet. Oh, bloody hell, look at this. More, more guns. We'll take the ammo. Um, we're not going to worry about dismantling the beds because we do need to read the next... Uh, oh, more guns. More... Uh, we need to read the next carpentry, which I think we'll probably do tomorrow and watch the VHSs, I think, as well. We really need some scissors. These sneaky zombies in these garages. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get home. Oh, sprinting up a level. We'll take that. We'll take that. Thank you very much. Ah, there's the jack. Perfect. We can do some mechanics. So we'll actually take the uh, the wheels off of that car tomorrow. All right, it's half past ten. We're going to have a bite to eat and then hit the hay. And then tomorrow we are hitting the books and hitting the VHSs, I think. that's uh, We'll get the mechanics up. We'll do a bit of work on the car. That's, uh, that's what we're going to do. All right, day uh, day 13. Let's, uh, let's go and watch the mechanics one first, I think. That's what we want to do. I want to repair them tires. And we've only got one mechanics VHS, so it should get us, well... At least a level, hopefully, I would have thought. Where the hell is it, though? Car zone. Here we go. Right, let's do it. All right, so it's actually got us up two levels, which 
Um, is good. I wasn't expecting to get two levels. Um, happy days. Do we have... I've paused it because I don't want to miss out on the... Uh, yeah, we have got the mechanics too, so we're going to read that quick. All right, so we finished reading it. It's ten past eight. to take us all day. We're very hungry, um, so let's get some food. Is our weight dropping yet? No. Okay, so we've still got to be a little bit careful with what we, uh, with what we eat. Um, I mean, some potatoes will... Uh, We'll do the job I would have thought. All right, let's finish the uh, the VHS. I probably there's probably hardly any experience left, but still, I don't want to waste it. Uh, yeah, we got none from that. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, let's go and. Uh, oh, I mean, it's twenty past nine. Probably too late to be messing around with the cars. Let's let's read the next carpentry. I think that's what we're going to do. Oh, I didn't think we had. We don't have carpentry free though, so that's going to be an issue. All right, time for uh, time for bed. Twenty past eleven. Yeah, let's go to bed tomorrow. We're going to finish the houses and hopefully find carpentry free because we're going to need that. All right, day 14, we are very hungry. I did hear some glass smash in the night, so mm, maybe that's a zombie. Let's go and have a look outside. Let's, let's uh, do a, a loop of the perimeter. Oh yeah, we got some over here. Come on in, you bastards. Let's be having you. Come on. Oh, that's them dealt with. Let's, yeah, let's read carpentry for a little bit, just until it gets a little bit light, and then we'll go do the remaining houses. All right, it's got a bit light. Let's go have a look. We need carp for it. Oh, look at the fog. Look at the fog. I hate the fog. I really do. Oh, we got a fair few of them over here. Okay, let's, uh, let's go. There's a fair few of them over here. All right, I think that was, uh, that's most of them. Mm, no uh, carp free in here, which is a shame. Um, let's go and have a look in the garage, see what we can uh, find in there. Uh, not a lot, not a lot. Okay, on to the next. Ooh, tactical, Oh, wood axe we'll have. Thank you very much. Not too worried about the tactical knives. <laughs> and look at that, shock. More uh, more guns. We will take the M16 mag, because I don't think we have one of them. No carpentry free, it's a shame. Oh, wow, okay, nice. This must have been a survivor house then, but they've all managed to break out. Yeah, it must. Look at all of this, Jesus. Well, I'm not complaining. <laughs> Where are you going, buddy? Idiot. Oh, I don't, I don't fancy going. Oh, here he is. Here he is. Come on, come on. Oh, yeah, we got... Oh yes, look at this. We got we got machetes now. To be honest, I quite like using the uh, the short blunt. Uh, it seems to be doing the job. Oh, we got military helmet, hockey mask, <laughs> another machete. Oh wow, look at look at all of this. Well, I mean, survivor houses can't out where they spawn. Ah, no carpentry though. Damn it. Anything in the garage? Not really. We will take the tire pump. Yep. Right, let's uh, let's get back, dump all this stuff off, and then we'll do a bit of work on the uh, on the car. All right, so we got all the equipment to change the tires. We've also read the magazines that allows us to uh, work on cars, so that's good. So let's um, let's just double check this car, because what kind of a uh, you know one of the others along here might be better now that we can hotwire. No, I think this is this is probably going to be the best. What's the boot like actually? 109, yeah. Yeah, it's a lot better. Let's take the tyres off. All right, we're very overweight. <laughs> we have taken the brake pads as well, because we could actually do with them, so... Or can we? Why won't it let me put it on? Why won't you let me put it on there? Oh, because I haven't actually uninstalled it, that's why. Mm. Just breaking it. Uh, yeah, this is probably not ideal, because we're not... Oh, yeah, we got it on. Okay, let's not mess around with the, the brakes just yet. Okay, so we've got a couple of tyres. Let's uh, dump all this trash in the boot of this car. <laughs> okay, we are getting tired already. It's only four o'clock. Okay, so the car is looking better. It's not amazing. Can we repair these? Yeah, we can with glue and stuff. So that's fine. We don't really need to yet. I do want to take the battery out of this as well because that is better. I also want to see if these cars up here do have any fuel that we can take. Maybe. We may be lucky because I don't actually know where uh, a gas station is yet either. Oh, this one's got some nice. This one's got a lot by the looks of it. Okay, it's nearly full. Let's try and get some fuel out of the others. Okay, so it looks like we got all the fuel we can. Um, it will fill our car up, so our car will be uh, nice and full, uh, which is always nice. And I want to look at, we do have a mod where we can, as I said before, we can modify vanilla vehicles. Um, so that's going to be good. We'll have a little look at that now, actually. 
So yeah, modifications. Let's have a look then. Oh, look at all of this that we can do. We do need high metal work here. Trunk protection. Oh, look, all we need is screws and metal bar. Maybe we save our metal bars for some of some of this good stuff. We do have screws. Yeah, this is bull bars. Oh, look at this. We've got to get our metal working up. Trunk, roof rack. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is good. We need to get our metal working up, don't we? <laughs> uh, we're at level one. Uh, we will just have to dismantle some stuff. But I think we're going to head inside, hit the hay, um, and then tomorrow hit the books again and hit the vhs's oh we got a zombie ah there you are i knew you was there get out of it well, let's get rid of all this vehicle stuff oh we, we should probably f put air in the tires uh tomorrow <laughs> yeah so i'll do that as soon as i wake up so i don't forget because i know what i'm like i will forget all right, day 15. Um, we are going to fill the tires up. That's the first job um, for today because I know, as I said, I will forget. So let's get that done. Um, no zombies. A bit of rain would be nice if we had a rain collector. Okay, let's pump these tires up. They are low, but not ridiculously low. Let's grab some food. Are we losing weight yet? No, we're still not losing weight. Um, maybe we, uh, maybe we starve him a little bit. Um, I, I don't like being at 83. It's just a bit too high for me. But let's get on with watching some VHSs. Let's watch the carp. Okay. So we've. Ah, uh, oh, I didn't even finish reading that. That's annoying. That is really annoying. Okay, we're gonna finish reading it. Ah, damn it. That probably would have got us to level four. Uh, I'm very annoyed about that because we have just wasted uh, XP. But I think we're going to be okay. Tomorrow, we're not going to do anything now because it's 20 to 6. So we'll probably start getting tired soon. But tomorrow, we're going to go to the houses. Um, let's have a little look on the map. We're going to go to these houses up here just to dismantle something. Look at all this industrial stuff down here. Yeah, this is it's a good map. It really is. There's a lot to do. This high street is going to be so busy, though. All around here. We may even go to this gun store here. I know that's vanilla as well. But, yeah, a lot, lot to do. Uh, we haven't really ventured far from our... Uh our little neighborhood I'm gonna kick around base for the rest of the day uh hit the hay and then tomorrow go up north look for some houses dismount some stuff to get that um metal working skill up and also hopefully find carpentry free all right day 16 let's uh take some food with us we have woken up fairly early so we still need to start going to bed later i think yeah let's get some food and then we'll go north we'll dismount some beds hopefully that'll get us to that next level of uh carp and hopefully we'll find the uh, the other book we need as well. Oh, we got some locals coming to greet us. Hey there, guys. Bye. All the zombies we've killed. And we haven't got any that have had scissors in them. Or I've missed it, <laughs> probably. I mean, we've killed 366 zombies already. Well, no carp in there. On to the next. We did dismantle some ovens and stuff, which is uh, nice XP. Oh, look at all of these. Okay. Let's have it. Right, let's go around the outside and just make sure none of them sneak in on us. Oh, we've got even more. Oh, shit. Right, we gotta go. We gotta go. Get the hell out of here. We gotta go. God damn it. I knew it was gonna happen sooner or later. Ah, oh, that's gonna bring them past our house as well, I think. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, they're coming. Let's try and deal with them. Oh, there goes the uh, the pipe. We do have the baton, though. I think it's actually good for maintenance as well. Do we do a little house down here, maybe? Check this one. Yeah, let's do it. We may actually be able to craft scissors with one of the mods I've got on. We'll check that when we get back home. Maybe we find a uh, generator in here. That'd be nice. Uh, I don't think there is. Nope. This is a good base location. Maybe we should have base here. Oh, there is an upstairs. Oh, nice. We got the carpentry up. That is very nice. I mean, we may be able to... I mean, all we need to do is get to level six, don't we? Um, to to build the stairs. So I think with the books we've got, we may be able to get it. Uh, sorry, with the VHSs we've got, we may be able to get there, even without the book. Um, it is wasteful, but then we don't really need anything after level six, to be honest. So let's... Yeah, let's go back. We got a zombie at our, uh, our window there. Hey, buddy, what are you doing there? Come on. And today, thank you. At least he's not bashing it. Mm. Doesn't look like we can build scissors, which is a shame. All right, let's watch the VHSs. You know what? Yeah, let's let's just do it. Wow, that gave us nearly nothing. No, we need we need the books. We need the books. Thinking tomorrow, maybe we go down to that little mall and uh, have a proper look at. Oh, we got some zombos over here. Let's actually repair the seat on our car because that is a good way to get mechanics XP. We've got plenty of duct tape anyway. 
Then we got like nine of them. Yeah, nine. Jesus. Okay. I don't know. Like we're gonna have trouble with weapons. Um, we got wood glue anyway. We need uh, we need Taylor and one. Hmm. Not a uh, not ideal. We need scissors. Yeah, we're gonna go into the mall. I think tomorrow. We're not going down there today because I think we was up fairly early and we'll probably be getting tired soon. We will chop down some trees though. And uh, do some renovations, I think. Let's destroy some of these walls. There we go. Open plan now. I like it. I like it. That's a lot better. All right, it's 10 past 11. Time to uh, hit the hay. And tomorrow we're going to, uh, down to the uh, the mini mall again. So we'll see you then. All right, day 17. We've woke up at a, well, a bit later today. But it's fine. It's fine. We're going to drive down to the little mall. We are losing weight now, which is nice. <sighs> We should probably have some food, shouldn't we? Let's uh, let's have some potatoes, canned potatoes. Yeah, let's uh, let's drive down there. Let's go and have a look what we got in there. We just need carpentry. We just need that book, and then that'll solve all of our problems for the time being, at least. Anyway, oh, it's a little bit lively over here again. Well, that's them taken care of. I just realised maybe we should have headed to a uh, to a blue, which is probably a school, isn't it? Let's actually go up there and have a look. We don't know what the zo zombie pop's going to be like over there. Probably busy, but you know we'll go have a look because a school would be perfect. That is what we need. And it looks busy already. Oh, it's actually a fire department. We don't really want that. It's busy. Let's see if we can deal with it. Um, there's quite a few. We're going to need to take some beta blockers, even though we are brave. This is. Uh, too much for old uh, Andy man. Oh wow, yeah, no, uh, we, uh, I think we gotta go. Uh, I don't know, we may be able to, uh, to do something here. No, there's just more and more coming. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. It's not worth the risk. Maybe if we go back around, that might have lured them away. Uh, maybe actually now. Mm, they're being tricky, these ones. We've definitely lured the other ones away, though, which is nice. Oh, Jesus. No, we haven't. Okay, um, no, let's, uh, let's get out of here. <laughs> We're going. See you later, suckers. Let's go back to the mall. It's safe at the mall. There's a lot of, lot of zombies in this map. The pop is high, but I don't mind it. You know, it's good. It's good. Bit of a challenge. All right, let's go and have a look in uh, in these shops. Hopefully, there is a bookstore. <laughs> oh, we got a hardware store. Um, no, it's a clothing store. Brilliant. <laughs> uh, we don't want anything in there. I can hear zombies. Let's get out. What was this place again? Oh, music store, wasn't it? Okay. Oh, a restaurant. This looks like a food. Oh, yes, yeah, a sweet shop, wasn't it? Uh, we'll take the chocolate. What is this shop? Shoe shop again? Oh god, shoe shop. Um, he actually had a machete, so uh, we're gonna give the machete a go, I think. You know, <sighs> I do like the military desert boots. We're gonna wear them. I don't really go with our black cloak, but I do like it. Um, yeah, they're uh, yep, yeah, they're coming through. All right, we've uh cleared them out. Let's have a little wander, shall we? See if we can find a, uh, a bookstore. There are some shops over here. I'm not sure what they are, but we'll have a look. Possibly a bookstore? Maybe? <laughs> Wishful thinking, I know. Oh, we've got a pharmacy down there. That's good to know. Oh, Jesus. Good Lord, there is a lot of them. The machete is definitely coming in clutch. Oh, okay. Well, we've dealt with them. Uh, what's this shop down here? It's got the VHS things. I don't think it's a VHS store, but which side is this guy on? Oh, don't matter now. He's dead. It is a VHS store. But there are VHSs anyway. Not really any VHSs that we need. But maybe a magazine, maybe carpentry on here? No. Okay. Well, we have been so unlucky. Probably going to start getting tired soon. So let's have a quick walk around the outside, the other side of this. And then what we got here? Restaurant, oh, furniture store. Not ideal. Not ideal. And it looks like a restaurant here. Okay. Well, we're gonna we're gonna have to go back. So we're gonna start getting tired soon. I think. Looks like a clothing store there. Mm, there is a lot of a uh, lot of zombies around. 
Do we have a look upstairs here? Oh, what do we have here then? Yeah, do we go upstairs? I mean, it's risky. <laughs> it is risky. Oh, oh, no, I thought we had it then. I thought we had it. Ah, oh, God. Oh, no, we got carpentry too, but uh, we'll take Taylor in too. Um, oh, I can't believe that. <gasps> we do have scissors though. Yes, that's big. That is big. Oh, my God, we've actually found it. Yes. Oh, amazing. Yes, you beauty. What a uh, what a result. We didn't even need to go further. Just needed to go upstairs in the um, the mall. Uh, another pair of scissors. Yeah, of course, we're going to keep finding scissors now that we've actually uh, found a pair. What is this? Fantasia Estve. I, I can't read that. I think that's Spanish, maybe? Let me know in the comments if you uh, can read that. Let me know what it is. All right, let's, uh, let's get out of here. Let's not push our luck. We've got what we needed. Let's get reading the car because we want to get that done before power goes out as we don't have a generator So we want to watch the VHS. So that's what we're gonna do for today and probably tomorrow. Okay, 20 to uh, 20 to 12 We're gonna to go to bed. Okay day 18 9 o'clock. Uh, good good time to wake up. Yeah, really good time actually Right, let's carry on reading uh, reading our books. We are losing weight 82. Once we get to 80 We can start eating whatever the hell we want. Oh, we are actually starving. Um, right. Let's eat uh, All right, eat some chocolate. Have, have yourself a little treat uh, and we have finished reading the book, Carpentry Free. So that's good. So we can we can crack on with that. Oh, we do only have two. That's not good. We shouldn't have wasted that other one, should we? Damn it. Okay, well, hopefully this this will do it. With our XP boost. Okay, so after one, we're nearly there. So I think this will this will do it. Um, Woodcraft 5, I think we need to read now. I uh, need to watch, and that should get us there. Yep, so there we go, level six. That is perfect. Let's go and get rid of these uh, all these uh, books and VHSs. Okay, and now we can actually build stairs and a rain collector, which is big, very big. Mission complete. All right, let's uh, let's get them up. All right, there we go. Happy days. Get some planks. Okay, so there's actually two from the corner, so that's fine. But we are going to need more more planks. So we're going to have to dismantle some stuff in the house. Oh, we got the planks. We got the bin bags. Let's uh, let's get building. Let's do it. All right, there she is. Happy days. Can we actually barricade this up? Do I have any more uh, any more plank? No, I don't. Okay, that's fine. We don't want them sneaking in on us while we're uh, while we're in bed now, do we? All right, that should be fine. And there we go. We are plumbing it in. Nice, 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 nice. All right, ten past eleven. Time to go to bed tomorrow. We are going to work on tailoring. Hopefully, get some bag attachments sorted. But yeah, we'll see you in the morning. Okay, day 19. Let's clean up some rags because we are going to, yeah, do tailoring. Make some thread. I do like the mod. So reclaim thread, craft thread. So that should actually give us quite nice XP. Probably going to need some food actually as well. Let's go and get some more zombies. Uh, some clothes off of the zombies. Have a granola bar. Go on, Andy. You deserve it. Very foggy today. All right, so we got tailoring one. So I think we can actually put a... Can we put a... Can we actually put uh, stuff on? No, we need Taylor level two. That's fine. Looks like we're uh, going to be shredding some more zombie clothes then today. Where the hell have all of these come from? I'm just trying to get some thread here, guys. Come on, leave me alone. All right, surely this will be enough if we uh, wash it all up. All right, we got there. We got there. Taylor in level two. All right, let's go back and uh, do some... Uh, do some work on the old backpack. We have added some attachments to our uh, backpack. I don't know if they're the right ones though. So let's try. Where am I? Where the hell is this zombie? Oh, here he is. Oh, two of them. Oh, three of them. Four of them. Oh yeah, we got the uh, the <laughs> the camping things on our backpack. Nice. I've also added a. F um, flashlight slot as well we do have a flashlight there you go attach where are all of our batteries there we go 10 of them don't really need 10 of them we'll take nine put it in our in our fanny pack and there we go we are we're bloody looking good i won't lie oh we don't have taylor in two hmm that is a shame oh we do have taylor in two it's in our uh, in our backpack brilliant 
Okay, it's half past nine. We're going to grab a bite to eat, have a cigarette, and then um, hit the hay, I think. Uh, yeah, very productive couple of days, if I do say so myself. Let's grab a couple more cigarettes as well. All right, time for bed, and we'll see you, uh, see you in the morning. Day 20. Wow. Okay, see you then. All right, day 20. We're not going to do a lot today. Uh, we are very low on water, but these canteens uh, do hold a hell of a lot of water. Um, but yeah, we're just going to hang around, finish reading Taylor and probably read some magazines that we haven't read today. Um, a nice chilled one, I think. All right, we finished Taylor and what I am going to do, and we finished the magazines, we're going to get in a couple of houses and just try and get that metal working just to the next level so then we can read the book. Oh yeah, and we got it. We got it. Level two, metal working. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, um, what we got here? Magazines, we'll take them. Imagine if carpentry freeze in here. And the house next door <laughs> it is not thank god okay right let's get out of here read a uh, next carpentry book all right well there we go the end of day 20 we didn't quite finish metalworking 2 we will finish that uh, tomorrow day 21 we've got a few things we want to be doing this episode i want to get into the town a little bit i want to get improve our mechanic skill but also on metal working as well so we can add some of them sick new modifications to the car let's have a quick look see if there's any zombies around our base doesn't look like there is so we're going to finish reading the uh, the metal working book to start the day i think all right that didn't take too long that's all done so we can actually now just carry on dismantling things we're gonna bite to eat how is our weight looking 80 so not bad to eat a ham yeah let's let's eat a ham okay we're still losing weight with one chevron but that's fine that's absolutely fine let's take a bit of food with us uh, let's take some canned tomatoes i think let's get rid of these books on a dead zombie uh and yeah push on into the uh into the town not all the way just a little bit we're gonna go on foot because then we won't attract too many zombies and we can kind of deal with them as we get there we can actually dismantle these wrecks. So that should give us a fair bit of XP. I'm not too sure how much it does give us. Let's have a look. Oh, if the zombies would leave us alone for five minutes. Uh, it gives us a little bit. It's not bad, I suppose, but it is actually making it easier for us. So we'll just crack on doing that. Get lots of uh, resources as well for improving our cars. Maybe stop off at a little shop, a couple of shops while we're at it. Uh, okay, so we do have a food shop here, so that's good to know. Let's mark that on the map because we're not going to clear it yet, but it would be good to know that we got the food shop there, so that's cool. All right, so we've run out of space in our backpack, which uh, isn't ideal, but we can still... And we're going to run out of space, uh, sorry, out of fuel in our, in our propane torch, but if we can get to the next level, that would be nice today. So we've got a hardware store here, which is nice, and a, a little hoard. We can deal with them. Let's get the machete for this. Fair few in here by the looks of it. Oh. Oh, there's some trying to get out of there, so uh, they'll probably break that door down. I think I saw a book. Oh no, I didn't. I thought I saw a bookshop, but I didn't. Oh, Jesus. Oh, and we got rain as well. Nice, that's going to fill our rain collector up at home, which is amazing. Um, there's a lot of zombies around, but when you come in, when it's clear behind you, it's not too bad. You can kind of deal with them as they come, um, which is why we took the, why we walked instead of bringing the motor. We only got another level in short blunt as well, which is nice. We could do with a couple more wrecks. Uh, there's a few. Oh, there's a bookstore. Okay, let's mark that as well. Let's pause it. You know how we do. Right, where is the book symbol? Uh, I suppose that is a book, I suppose. <laughs> there is a lot of zombies. Oh, and they broke through. Right, let's, let's get back a bit. They're nice and spread out at least. Oh, okay. Oh, so we're kind of on the high street. I do think we head back today because we're probably going to start getting tired. And we got some bloody zombies trying to sneak up behind us. And a load of zombies here. Oh, there's a lot in there as well. That's it, one at a time, one at a time. Oh, it's got very dark all of a sudden. Yeah, we are getting tired now as well. Um, the storm's good for our rain collector though. I do want to get a second one built. Maybe in where our uh, tailor in uh, station is. All right, we're home, sweet home, nice and safe. Let's uh, let's use some of this rain actually and fill our canteen up. We've also got a lot of uh, 
metal working so oh we got rotten ice cream ah oh, damn it i thought I didn't know we had that all right well let's put that in the uh in the bin before we actually forget about it uh, we'll take that garbage can uh garbage bag sorry all right we have refilled our propane torch as well ready for tomorrow but i think we might do a little bit of uh mechanics work all right so it's 10 past 12 gonna hit the hay and uh we'll see you tomorrow for another day of fun 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 all right day 22 mechanics day i think let's try and get a couple of levels we need the jack and everything like that and the lug wrench uh, and the wrench because we're going to do yeah we're going to do some uh some home improvements to the car hopefully oh we got a couple of zombies decided to come on over while we've been asleep not today not today so i think a good one to improve mechanics is to try taking the uh the brake pads off oh and we've done it <laughs> let's reinstall it mm, it doesn't seem to be working but well let's just uh remove some other stuff then okay so removing and install right let's go back to the brake pad oh well we actually broke it so <laughs> oh well <laughs> Let's see if we can get the good ones off and put them on our car. Because our brake pads are shocking. Oh, Jesus Christ. Good God. you got to be careful. <laughs> Alright, managed to get that one off. Mm. So, we've had a bit of an issue. We, uh, <laughs> we couldn't actually uh, install it and it's down to 17 now. So, that's not good. But, what we might do is repair the seats. Because that will get us some... Uh, some XP, hopefully. Maybe get us to level 3. Now that we have Taylor, and I think we can use duct tape. So I do have the overhauled vehicle mechanics uh, mod on. So at the minute, we don't have a brake pad on our car. <laughs> Not ideal. All right, let's go and do the other cars. Oh, we're out of duct tape. <laughs> oh, God. Let's go and look at the other cars, see what we can do. Let's take some batteries out and things like that. Because uh, that will, uh, of course, give us XP. Oh, Lord. What the hell's going on up here? Oh, yeah, let's put the, uh, let's wear this bulletproof jacket. Nice. It's nice that we've got a lot of cars on the street. We can definitely use, uh, use them for our mechanics skill. All right, we got to level up in mechanics. That's nice. That is very nice, actually. This truck is in very good condition. All right, now that we've got mechanics through, let's see if we can repair the hood. We still can't. Oh, you need bloody screws. Okay, well, we got screws. That's fine. We will have to go into the industrial bit, I think, to get some screws. Because I think they're going to be... Uh, well, we need them for the... Well, we got some screws here. We need them for the upgrades as well. I do remember I picked up a box of... Yeah, here we go. Right, let's see how much XP this actually gives us. Mm, not a lot. <laughs> mm, we could probably do with uh, more metal working. Um, mm, okay, well... Tomorrow, we're going to go into the industrial buildings to our uh, south, uh, dismantle some stuff, and hopefully get some screws. All right, 20 to 12, time to go to bed. Tomorrow, we go to the industrial complex. We'll see you then. All right, day 23, nice and early, 10 to 8. Good, uh, good time to, uh, to wake up, old Andy. Good old Andy man. All right, let's get a little bit of food. Uh, let's take some pineapple with us. All right, let's, uh, let's go down. I feel wire might be needed as well, so we'll grab that. Oh, metal working up. Nice. These are... Uh, okay, that is that is nice. We're metal working free. That's good. We have dismantled some of these um, shelving units here, which seem to be doing as well. Okay, so that building's pretty much cleared, I would say. Let's go to the one next door, because it looks like it's connected, even though it's not. Oh, it is connected. <laughs> um, your computers are on the floor, guys. Doesn't look like there's an awful lot in here, to be honest. Let's brave upstairs. Oh, metal working free. We actually need that. That's a nice find. Yeah, nothing really in here. We can mark it off, I think. We will go and have a look at this uh, shop here, though. Or oh, commercial. Ah, oh, it's a restaurant. Is there anything good in a restaurant? Oh, we can dismantle a lot of stuff in the kitchen, though. Oh, we dismantled a load of stuff in here, which has got us, uh, uh, it's got us a fair bit ahead. Um, the only problem is going to be... Uh, it's going to be mechanics. That's going to be the tough one. That's going to be grinding. <laughs> All right, what we got here, then? Uh, a few zombies, by the looks of it. Jesus. Mm, looks like we got them. What's this car like? This actually looks in good condition. Um, yes, it is in good condition, but it just has no gas, which is a shame. I mean, this building's industrial, but it doesn't look like there's anything worth having in there except a load of old bloody zombies. We're going to skip that one, I think. All right, what's this one then? Looks like a looks like a garage, actually. Oh no, some kind of workshop. 
Oh, these will be good to uh, dismantle. All right, six o'clock. We've dismantled all of them uh, lockers. We are getting tired, though, so we're going to head back. I want to do a little bit of uh, removing of tires back at base as well on the on the cars there. We don't want to run into any zombies because, as I say, we are very tired. All right, so we're back home. We'll get our... Uh, our mechanical stuff and uh yeah go do get our daily xp gains from removing batteries and all that jazz hopefully no zombies come all right well it's 20 to 9 we did a little bit i mean it's going to take us a while to get this uh next mechanic skill i think all right but it's uh it's 20 to 11 so it's time to go to bed tomorrow we may push back into the high street and look for a vhs store i think Oh, okay, we've just woken up at 10 to 8 on day 24, and the power's just gone out, which isn't ideal, because if we get a VHS, and um, we don't have a generator yet. <laughs> so, what I think we'll do is... Ah, bugger. Um, hmm, I don't know. Let's go and look in the garage, shall we? Across, across here, we may find one. Hmm, that is uh, not ideal, I won't lie. Garages or sheds we need. Oh, we're going to have to go through this house to get around the back by the looks of it. It's one of them houses that is secure. No generator. No generator. Oh, Jesus Christ. God, that scared me to death. There were so many in there. One of them nearly got a bite on me as well. Oh, we got to be super careful now because we're actually tired from jumping the fences, so no stupid mistakes. Let's actually have a rest on this bench. Oh, look at them all in that bloody shed. Oh, they're out. Oh, that was risky because there's no bloody way out. We had to go over fence. We got a generator in here. Is it worth it for the generator? No. <laughs> we'll take the duct tape, though. Yeah, we could. if we have duct tape, we could kind of use that to... Repair seats to give us the XP. Uh, I can't see what's in there, so I don't want to go in. <laughs> There's a shed up there. Also, a lot of bloody zombies, though. Whew, okay, well, um, yeah, that's then dealt with. Uh, we got some garages here, but then also a hell of a lot of zombies, but we need a generator. Oh, God, look how... Oh, my God, look how many's in there. So many. <laughs> Pretty clear in the garden. Oh, we will take that splitting axe. I do love a splitting axe. Well, we're not being too lucky with the generator front, are we? Oh, well, this is open for us. Nice. Bit of duct tape, maybe. Uh, a lot of zombies. God, there's a hell of a lot. Well, that's them dealt with. Maybe a generator in here. Come on, be good to us. There isn't. We are not having much luck, are we? Don't like the. I mean, these fences in all the buildings are good for defense, but not when we can't get in there. Uh, we don't know what's over there, so I don't want to really jump the fence. Especially how busy the other places were. Jeez. Oh, so many. Oh, long blade up, though. We really are the Grim Reaper when it comes to killing zombies. Got any duct tape for me in here? Well, this this house doesn't even have a shed, so... I mean, all this bloody work to try and find a generator, and we haven't even got the VHSs, so... But, I mean, we, we do need a generator. I hear some. Oh, jeez. Jesus Christ. We're doing some risky plays here. No generator, right? Let's get out of here. All right, let's try this one over here. Um, so we made it to the uh, the leisure center or whatever it was we tried before, looking for that, um, well, looking for a book, wasn't it? Uh, I don't want to deal with all of these, but knowing us, there will be a generator in that shed. Oh, they're coming through there sooner or later. Yep, there we go. Oh, and there's a few out the back as well. I'm glad I didn't just go barreling through. All right, we're in the back garden. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, you bastard. Ah, what did you scratch? We're okay. You didn't get anything. Good. Oh, my God. There is actually a generator in there. Oh, my God. Can you believe it? 
Can you believe it? I can't. I actually can't. Can we dismantle? Yes, we can. Uh, but it means going around the other side. I don't want to do that. Can we dismantle here? Just so we can get out without going through that house. Oh, man. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. We, we actually got one. Unbelievable. Oh, we got some guests at home. Well, let's uh, let's deal with them. Not today, guys. You wait till I got this generator going. Whoa. All right, so we got bloody hell. They're trying to they're in my house and everything. Get out of it, you bastards! All right, so we got the generator. That is bloody epic. Yeah, we just got to get the VHS now. Where did I put all of my the hell? Did I put all of my bloody mechanic stuff? Is it on me? Maybe. Yeah, it's all on me. Brilliant. <laughs> And we are getting tired, that's, that's fair enough. We've had a busy day, to be fair. But we have actually got a good front left brake there, so let's try and put that on the car. Means we don't have one here. Now we can repair it. Shall we see if that gives us a um, metal work, it, uh, mechanic skill? Maybe, I, f I, don't, I don't know. Let's have a look. In a metal sheet, apparently. Okay, so we're on... Uh, 9575, okay. Oh, it actually does, okay. Well, that's something. That is actually uh, giving us some XP, so that's good. It's using our metal sheets, but you know what? It's, it's worth it. We can get more. All right, let's go try and put that on. and kill this bloody zombie that's around here somewhere as well. Do want to block this door off at some point. Oh, we got it on. We got it on. Nice. Let's see if we can get some brake pads. Uh, suspension, sorry. All right, we got it on. Can we repair it? Uh, metal pipe. Maybe we can repair it on there. That'd be... That'd be bloody good. Let's go get a metal pipe. Oh my god, we can. Okay, what do we need to repair this? Small metal sheet. Uh, small metal sheet. We may have used them all. Uh, we need metal scrap as well then by the looks of it. Yeah, we are overweight, but to hell with it. Oh, we can repair the fuel tank as well. All right. Well, she is uh, She's repaired. She is repaired quite well, actually. Let's uh, look what we can do armor-wise. Full bar. Oh, we metal working four. Okay. Oh, we can do some of this stuff though, can't we? Hood protect metal work in six, okay. Oh, wheel protection. We need chain. Mmm. Okay, we gotta start a uh, yeah, we gotta get our metal working up some more. And also get some chains and stuff. But I think what we'll do, we'll we'll head back down into the town tomorrow. Or maybe we'll hang around base tomorrow. I'm not too sure. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll get the next level of metal work and then we're gonna have to read the book, aren't we? I think. Alright, it's eleven o'clock. We're gonna hit the hay in tomorrow, yeah. We're gonna get that next level of metal work and then spend the day reading the book, I'm afraid. Alright, day twenty-five. Let's get up and add him. I'm thinking some, maybe some of these houses have still got stuff in them that uh, we haven't dismantled, hopefully. I don't think we're going to need a lot to get that next level. All right, there we go. We got that level in metal working. Let's go read uh, metal working free. Uh, we are losing calories quite a lot, so let's eat some, uh, yeah, let's eat some peanut butter. There we go. <laughs> All right, it's uh, half past 11. We just managed to get the uh, metal working uh, book read before bedtime, which is good. Let's eat something. Uh, let's eat some mac and cheese. There we go. Right, we'll go off to bed. We'll see you in the morning. All right, day 26, 20 to 6 in the morning. Let's see if we can, or oh, we need to fill our water up. Let's see if we can add some uh, security to our car. Where am I going? Where the hell am I going? Yeah, let's see if we can add some security to our uh, to our vehicle now. I wouldn't mind something on the hood, because that's, uh, yeah, that's the main thing that gets bloody damaged. It'd be nice if we could change the color. I'm not a fan of this color, but what are you going to do about it? Oh, no, we need metal work at 6. Okay, we can do some door protection. Um, maybe some window, some driver's side window protection would be good. Front left door, front left door, front left door. Um, uh, so, this, so the bars are not as good as the, the, the um, like sheets. Um, yeah, we can do a front left with uh, bars. So let's do that. We need screws, metal bar, metal pipe. Okay. I wonder if that'll increase our mechanic skill. Now we've got to be on the lookout for all these kind of metal working things. Right, let's see. We're on a 227. Takes a while to do. No, it does not. But that's fine, because at least we've got protection there. Probably help uh, increase our metal working. Not a lot, though, either, by the looks of it. Oh, God, we just got screws all over the floor. Oh, well. <laughs> all right, let's take the new uh, the new hog out for a test drive. We'll go... Uh, uh, let's fill our propane torch, actually. Oh, it's empty. Oh, no. This is not good. We need... Oh, no. Uh, okay, let's go find a hardware store. I think I saw one. Oh, it's all fun and games, isn't it? At least we got protection on the car now. Now, this should be an absolute beat. Oh, look at that. That does look really cool. Oh, wow, look. That's really cool. A amazing mod. Go check it out. But I believe there was a hardware store down here. It looked like it anyway. 
we just park up here. Oh, we'll take this metal scrap as well. Looks like we actually filled that up as well. Amazing. Okay, well, two gas cans full of fuel. I will not complain about that. So, you know, like this, this is a hardware store. Hopefully, we can find a propane tank or two. No propane torch, not a lot of anything, really. We've got a box of, uh, we'll take that small sheet. Um, we got a box of uh, screws. Another shop. Oh, looks like a camera shop. Not really what we're looking for. Clothes shop. Nah, nothing that we really need. Maybe something in here. Farming shop. Okay, so it's again a hardware store looking thing. Uh, definitely, oh, we'll take the cabbage seed. Looks like that's about it. I was hoping we might be able to, oh, hand hatchet, we'll take. Just hoping maybe for some, you know, hardware stuff, but it doesn't look like there is. No, it's all, all farming. Oh, well, good to know. Well, we don't need to hang around in there. Uh, I mean, this says barbers, but then also storage, so. Maybe storage is upstairs. Do we want to have a look? Uh, I guess. Let's uh, clear some zombies out. I hear them banging. Okay. Uh, that's them. Oh, this looks like it could be some kind of hardware store, actually. Should we go in? Not a hardware store, I don't think. Right, let's get out of this storage. I don't like this. There's nothing good in here. Don't like it. Let's get out. See you later. Do you have a book still? I'm not really sure what other books we need, though, to be honest. Propane we need. How many zombies have we killed? 910. We need a uh, an easy pickings tools. That's what we need. Oh, short blunt up. Nice, nice, nice. Shetty time. Oh, they're coming out of everywhere now. We're very panicked. Um, let's take some baities. Oh. Well, they've pushed us back a little bit, um, but that's fine. Let's, uh, I think we're going to head back for the day, actually, in our absolute beast of a wagon. Let's check this black truck. It may have a propane tank in there, maybe. No, but it does have an empty jerry can, which we will take. Oh, interesting. Is that a fuel truck? That's a propane truck, isn't it? Oh my god, is it? Yes, it is. <laughs> and look at this car as well. This looks like it could be a good one. Now, I'm not sure how this works. I think you can fit... I thought I had a zombie. Uh, I think you can fill it up. Maybe. Oh, and it works as well. Okay. What a find. My god, we've been so lucky. Can you fill it up? I can't actually remember. All right, well, let's let's take it anyway. Let's have a look, see if it's actually got any propane in it. Oh, yes, it does. All right, well, she works. Let's also, I want, I quite like the look at, where are we? Where the hell are we? I quite like the look of that car there. So maybe we're going to come down and do that out because that would be pretty cool all uh, armoured up, I think. Right, let's try and... Uh, tow our car back. I think you can go ass to ass like that. Alright, what a haul. And nice we got a fuel trailer now as well. Alright, let's see how uh, how this works then. I'm sure you can. Maybe we need the actual propane tank. Oh yes we can. Oh my god, that is big. That is big. <sighs> wow. <laughs> what a find. I cannot believe it. We have been so lucky. <laughs> Let's put the uh, the generator by uh, the house. Ugh, I mean, best place to put it is just probably going to be at the front here, I think. It's going to bring some zombies, so it is what it is. What we'll actually do is siphon the fuel out of here, because we don't need to take this anywhere. All right, so we've actually filled it up. We'll actually put these jerry cans by the uh, by the generator. There will be generator jerry cans. Both full, which is good. There we go. Happy days. I'm going to get a, uh, a crate out here, I think, for... Um, all the metal working stuff as well. So let's actually just drop this here for now. All right, it's 20 past, uh, well, sorry, 20 to 11. Um, we're going to hit the hay tomorrow. We're going to do some security around the base. I want to block this off and that off, build a couple of crates, every, everything like that. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 27. Let's go. We're going to have to get some uh, logs, uh, I think. Oh, you know where we should have parked the propane tank? In there, around the other side of that. Um, actually, no, I don't know if that would work. 
Let's get the wood axe. We haven't got any trees around, not many. All right, we built the crate for all of our goodies, so let's get them in there. Let's also look at getting a uh, wall up along here. Oh, we got a fair few trees here, so nice. All right, so we blocked that off. Um, I think we can, do we block this off as well? Uh, I don't know what's even in here. We can get through the window if we need to. Oh, engine parts though. Um, yeah, we can get through the window if we need to. I mean, we don't really need to come in here, do we? We'll board this bad boy up. Uh, we could have actually put a door in there, but, um, oh well. We don't need doors. All right, so we did run out of space, um, so I've had to build another crate, but that's fine. Not a problem at all. Um, we've also done a bit of garden, <laughs> got rid of all the shrubbery there, but also bar uh, barricaded up some of these windows. Uh, and we're probably going to use the rest of the planks we got to, uh, to do the rest of them as well. Um, oh, this one hasn't even got any on there. Right, let's put one on it. Neither is the kitchen, but what I'd say I'm more worried about is these side ones. All right, and that's uh, that's all of them done for now anyway. Yeah, we are in, a, oh, we, we got uh, some visitors. Yeah, we are in an absolutely brilliant position. Just need a, uh, a fuel truck now. That would be ideal. Maybe, uh, maybe we go look for uh, a gas station fairly soon. We got some more jokers come on over. Probably look at uh, doing some more tailoring as well. Oh, sprinting up a level. Yeah, we'll take it. Uh, so we have, what, about 160 <laughs> bits of cloth to make thread out of. Hopefully we got enough water in our uh, rain collector. Looks like we did. Didn't actually get that much. We don't need all that thread either. <laughs> oh, that's the job for tomorrow. Go and get some more uh, rip sheets, I think. All right, 10 past 11. We're going to go to bed tomorrow on the hunt for uh, rip sheets. Cloth to increase our tailoring. We'll uh, see you then. All right, day 28. We are going to put some leather strips on our clothing now because I think that'll look pretty cool. But then also going to go out and do some good old-fashioned zombie killing to get some more rip sheets uh, to up our uh, tailoring skill. we got a lot of leather. Um, so, yeah, let's get cracking with that. Oh, wow, it's got a lot of uh, a lot of places to put it, which is good. All right, we are levered right up. <laughs> uh, we may as well do our gloves as well because they do like going for the hands. And any bit of protection, um, it's worth it. Nice, we are the leather man. Leather man. Uh, it's actually got us some nice XP as well in tailoring. All right, let's let's uh, let's get to it. I feel up north there could be a fair few of them where that alarm went off a few days ago. Oh, we got some candidates right here. Nice, we got a level up already, which is uh, bloody amazing. Just looking on the map to see if there might possibly be a little uh, uh, fuel uh, gas station around here somewhere. That could be one down there. Maybe we go have a look down there tomorrow, possibly. Um, but yeah, I don't really know. Uh, there's nothing around here. What is Blue? Blue's community, is it? That could be a police station or something. Uh, maybe we have a look, uh, head down there actually today. All right, we're getting there, we're getting there. We got some uh, some lovely candidates here. Let's give the hammer a whirl, shall we? Pretty good, <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> Let's use the club hammer, I think. We nearly got that next level of tailor. Actually, I think we got some clothes upstairs, haven't we? Ah, it didn't quite get us there. That's a shame. But I reckon we could actually get us there by removing and reinstalling all of this stuff. We got plenty of leather. There we go. We got it. Level four tailoring. Nice, nice, nice. Let's add these on. That is good. That's good. That's what we wanted. We got the hockey mask on. I mean, his hair's clipping through. We could cut the hair, but then he would look like something from the old Republic. That'd be amazing. All right, it's half past eleven. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We're going to have a look at. Um, let's have a get. Let's get the map up here. We're going to go down here just to see what these buildings are. It could be a fuel station. We'll have a look. We're not going to go any further than that, though. Okay, day 29. Let's get up and at them. Let's get down there ASAP Rocky. And just to see what's there, we do need to fill our uh, water up. I'm worried that we're going to run out of water because uh, we uh, we haven't had rain in a while. Yeah, we have actually ran out. That's not good. Hopefully, we get a bit of rain. We could do with more rain. Although, these, rain, uh, these canteens will last us a fair few days, so... Right, let's go down and have a look at these commercial locations. Okay, we're scoping. Oh, we got some what storage units. That's where you bloody find all the generators. Mm, it's not fuel, but that's fine. What's down here? Okay, yeah, yeah, we got gas station here. Okay, that's good. That's good to know. That's good to know. 
Okay, so we got these storage units, so there's probably gonna be a generator in there. So I think our next plan, see all that blood go flying. Um, our next plan of action is probably to come down, go in them storage units, look for a generator and then put one at the uh, at the gas station there and maybe clear it out. Yeah, that's, that's the plan. But for the next couple of days, we are just gonna hang around the base, I think. We've had a good run this episode, but let's not risk it. Really need a way to get my mechanics get up higher. Let's do a little bit of uh, taking stuff off. Ah, it doesn't really do anything though, does it? We need to repair some things, don't we? That's that's what we need to do. What can we take off of this to re what, what on here needs to be repaired? Um, it's all a bit broken. <laughs> I mean, a metal sheet would repair the fuel tank. What can we actually repair on our own car? Maybe the door? Okay, some metal sheets. We'll repair the doors. All right, we're repaired a little bit. We can do some fixer flats for the tires. Engine loudness 77, quality 54. It's not the best, <laughs> but you know, it's ours. It's ours. Oh, that front right suspension could do with it. Let's get a metal pipe and repair that. It's not giving us hardly any mechanical experience, so that's the only problem. Oh, we can actually repair the rear window as well. Okay, well, she's something at least. She ain't much, but she's ours. All right, well, I've done a bit of metal working. Um, we're getting there, we're getting there. <laughs> Slowly but surely, we are getting there. The VHS, or one or two VHS, would be absolutely amazing right now. But um, it is what it is, what are you gonna do? All right, I am gonna mark the uh, gas station. Where is the gas pump? Um, that one there, so it's about there, wasn't it? Um, and here, let's have a uh, arrow. Um, that these, we need to go in here to get some generator maybe. Um, and then we can move it down there and that is all good. I mean, we do have the generator here if needs be, but I'd like one over there as well. Uh, it's 20 to 11, we're gonna go to bed. Uh, tomorrow, I think we're just gonna read the next Taylor magazine, I think. That'll, uh, that'll do us to round off day 30, I think. We'll see you in the morning. All right, day 30, it is raining. Uh, I think it was raining yesterday actually, so our rain collector will have uh, filled up with water. I do want to get another one of them going, but that's not a job for today. Let's just read tailoring. Yeah, tailoring free, I think. All right, so we did manage to get it done today, all of tailoring, plus a couple of magazines as well. Um, but yeah, let's have a little victory smoke uh, as we made it to 30 days. Um, yeah, let's smoke that bad boy. We are very hungry, so let's get a little bite to eat before uh, we call it a night, shall we? Uh, you know what? Treat yourself to uh, to some cereal. We got one chevron. That's fine. Bit low on food, so we're gonna drive down to here where the uh, the supermarket is, and then we're gonna probably push out on foot to this storage unit. Hopefully, find a generator, and then hook it up to the petrol station down here. Maybe check out some shops as well. Go and check out this uh, industrial area. But yeah, we got a hell of a lot to do, um, so we better we better crack on with it, I think. All quiet out the front here by the looks, which is nice, which is nice. We still need to do a bit more repairs. Oh, we need to do bloody mechanics, don't we? That's what we need to do. We are getting there, nearly level four, and then uh, and also metal working. So that's uh, some very uh, important stuff that we need to get done. Propane's got good fuel in it. But let's go get some food and uh, go check out them storage units. All right, we're here. Let's uh, deal with some of these. We'll also check out, oh look how many zombies there are. We'll also check out that truck as well. Maybe we actually tow it back home on the way when we actually go home. All right, so we've got a very good haul of food there. So we'll drop that off in the car and then probably go on foot to the storage units, I think. Oh, we have found some bombs, which is uh, quite nice in the back of this truck. We'll keep hold of them. It looks like a bar here. Yeah, bar, that, that's interesting. Let's uh, let's mark that on the map. We're not gonna go in there, but we'll mark it on the map. There isn't actually a symbol for a bar, so we'll uh, we'll just add a, a note there. <laughs> there we go, that'll, uh, that'll do. <laughs> Oh, okay, yep, there's a fair few of them down here. All right, let's hop this fence, make sure it's clear right through there. Yeah, there's not too many. Let's uh, let's hop it and then see, uh, don't know where the exit is, but I'm sure we'll, uh, we'll figure it out. Oh, maintenance up, nice. All right, looks fairly clear around, so let's uh, start looking. Oh, wow, okay. We got a lot of uh, nice stuff here. Let's just check behind us. Yep, a zombie all coming. 
All right, we got a few bits and bobs out of there. Nothing, you know, nothing amazing. Another box of screws, which is quite nice. Let's, um, oh, deal with this guy. Let's smash this down. We've got to be careful because there's obviously a zombie there. Get out of it, you bastard. Oh, we got a lot of crates here. Again, nothing, nothing amazing. Nothing really worth taking, to be honest. Another gun case, brilliant. We'll take the ammo. Mm, nothing really in this one either. Well, no generator anyway. Uh, we are getting exor exerted. Oh, and there's a convenient sofa here to have a rest on. Right, so nothing in that storage unit's there. Let's go and have a look in this side. Let's deal with these absolute jokers first, though. My work buddies, no! Terry! Jerry! Right, well, that's them taken care of. What we got in here? Uh, a box? Nope, no thank you. What we got in here? Uh, some crates. Propane tank, that would have been nice if we didn't find the van. <laughs> mm, not a whole lot of anything, really. Uh, a little, uh, well, a little gap in here. Someone's obviously been living in here. We got a hiking bag, guitar. Do need to do a bit of music, so we do have the hobbies mod in, don't we? So it might be cool to, uh, to get some music levels, but we'll see. All right, so we got some warehouses and, and whatnot. I don't think we're going to find a generator in there, but... It's worth a look. Let's check these over here, this side. Oh, this looks like storage in here as well. Um, yeah, let's go in. All right, so nothing really in here so far. We did manage to get a couple of um, boxes of screws, which is nice. No, no, uh, no generators, which is a shame. That is, uh, we really need one. Oh, we're getting a bit tired. Okay, let's. Uh, Let's go home and we'll we'll come back and finish this off tomorrow. We got a lot to go through around here. To be fair, we did manage to get a few bits. You know, we got some a lot of duct tape, some wood glue, the aerosol bomb, of course, some screws. Uh, but we did get food as well in, in the back of the car. So you know, it's not been completely wasted. All right, so we got back. We've done a little bit of um, mechanics. We're nearly at the next level. We're going to unload the stuff from the car um, and then get a, a good night's nice rest in. We like to have got that last level of mechanics today but i don't think we're gonna so much food now which is really nice actually because we were uh we were a little bit low all right so it's 20 to 10 we've unloaded so we're probably going to uh, hit the hay and we'll uh, see you in the morning all right day 32 here we go i think today what we're going to do we're going to get that next level of mechanics and read the book so it's done it's going to be a base day today but it's gonna be worth it. oh yeah definitely with all this fog i ain't i ain't messing around in this how is our weight looking 80 solid 80 so that's good that's good we are hungry we could do with maybe losing a pound or two just so then we can don't have to be so strict with what we can eat but uh yeah on with the uh mechanics oh and there we go we got it we got it nice finally finally we still can't put a bloody part on the car though <laughs> So it's 10 and 12, so the, the day is pretty much over. Let's have a look what we needed again to put some like bumper, uh, some hood protection on this. Okay, so we can actually put hood protection on. Yeah, we're gonna uh, we're gonna read the book and maybe do that tomorrow to kind of protect it what we can. But we do need some food. Old Andy man, he's uh, yeah, he's getting it on pretty well in the apocalypse. I won't lie, it's a nice nice town. We haven't really explored a lot. We do need to. Uh, uh, explore a little bit more we got a lot to do up here but it's very busy so if we get some car protection i feel a lot more comfortable going up there oh i didn't think we had the next mechanics book then but we do we do it's fine all right so it's 20 to 11 we've been reading outside to not get bored we didn't quite get it um let's fill our tanks our tanks up oh yeah we need more rain collectors as well we got a bloody lot to do still um let's have a smoke um yeah we didn't quite finish mechanics but we'll get there tomorrow so we're gonna hit the hay uh, and we'll see you in the morning all right, day 33. We are up and Adam. We're going to finish the book. We may as well do that upstairs. All right, that is done. Let's get rid of it. Let's also get some food because we are very hungry. All right, we've uh, satisfied our hunger. Let's get rid of that. Let's put that in there as well. Um, yeah, let's try and put some upgrades on the old motor, I think. We need metal bars, uh, metal pipes. We'll take... Okay, hood protection, the first tier we can put on. So let's let's install that. Will this give us 
Mm, uh, mechanics XP it's on 4.52 no it does not <laughs> oh we got a protection on there anyway which is really nice let's see what else we can do we are actually a bit short on pipes and bars believe it or not wouldn't mind getting the bull bar on there as well and a roof rack oh we can do all of this we need we need metal pipes we need metal pipes okay well actually what we're going to do today what i want to do is actually going to do a bit of metal working so we can do we can hopefully get some pipes and stuff there. Yeah, let's go look at some houses. Let's do some dismantling for some metalworking resources. I got a spear with a screwdriver off of this uh, off of that lady. Let's let's give it a go. I haven't used spears in a long old time. They are good. They just break very easily. Uh, no, let's get rid of that. <laughs> I like our short blunt. So we've done this house. Uh, we didn't actually get that much out of it, but let's put a an X on it so we don't uh, don't come back here again. Oh no! Let's get the hell out of here. Uh, not what we wanted. Let's let's go. Let's go. God damn it! <laughs> Always the way. All right, well, we haven't had much luck getting some uh, metal pipes today. I mean, a good place, of course, obviously, will be the industrial area. So we will go back down there tomorrow. Let's see if we have enough to put some bull bars on. Ah, we do, but we need a wrench. Brilliant. Okay, that's perfect. All right, we got the bull bars. Look at that. Oh, it looks... Uh, looks good. I, lo I love this mod. It's really good. It's going to be one I play with all the time, I think. Um... Okay, so the car is actually in really good condition. The heater, not so much, but it doesn't look like we can even do anything with that, but that's fine. The rest of it, wow, yeah, really good. Let's see if we can do anything else with the stuff we've got. Yeah, pipes and bars, that's that's what we need. Can we do anything with the trunk? Can we get the trunk, trunk protection? We need four more pipes. You know what? We might have them as weapons in the cupboard there. Let's go and have a look. Oh, God, we, we have a lot of bars and pipes in here we may be able to get the roof rack and the trunk protection all right we've done the trunk protection we just need a couple more metal sheets and we can actually put the uh, the roof racks on as well uh, i don't know if we'll need any more storage but uh, i'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it doesn't seem to let me put the roof on maybe because i'm too heavy could that could that be it oh yeah here we go it was <laughs> all right there we go look at that oh how much space have we got 100 on there uh, it looks like we've actually lost a bit of space in the boot for some reason let's see if we can repair that in the trunk because maybe we had a little ding in it now trunks at 100 i swear we had more uh, i guess the protection knocks some off but we got the roof rack now anyway so that's bloody good yeah we're uh we're in a good spot now very much invincible car lovely stuff Right, I've actually dug some furrows as well for when it rains. We can get some uh, lovely, lovely cabbage planted in there. Also do a bit of removing grass. We'll tidy our garden up a bit. It's got a bit overgrown. Ah, oh, look at that. Lovely, lovely and clean. All right, it's 10 to 11. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We're going to keep pushing down back into the industrial place down uh, so uh, well, southeast there. But we'll uh, see you in the morning. All right, day 34. We woke up at a uh, reasonable time, 10 o'clock. bit late in the day, actually, but... We'll grab, uh, I think we got some food on us. Oh, let's fill up our stuff upstairs while we're here. Uh, we have no water there either. All right, well, we need another rain collector, but that's a job for another day. Let's see if we can get some garbage bags down at the industrial center. Uh, yeah, we're going to go out down there because we've been around base for a couple of days now. So we'll go and uh, explore a bit more. And we'll dismantle some stuff down there as well. Let's try and get our next level of metal work in. Well, the next two levels, and then we can put some uh, better improvements on the, uh, on the motor. Oh, look at her. She's a beast ah oh, look at that back protection as well look at that booty we need chains as well for the wheel protection i'll actually drive down a little bit closer today i think now that we've secured the area a little bit oh good lord do we have not oh my god there's loads of them where do these all come from What level is our uh, short blunt? Okay, so it's very slow leveling up now, but still, five levels in short blunt. This is absolutely slaying. There's still a lot of them around. Oh, look at all of these bastards. Oh, that she's got a baton on her. We need that. Nice, we'll take the baton. Okay, so it looks like we got most of them here, to be fair, anyway. Let's finish off these garages. Oh, no, they're around the other side, weren't they? Hey, Marv, what are you doing there? Oh, no, he's a zombie. we got to kill him. we got to put him down. Sorry, Marv. 
Ah, he was my boss, my foreman. Rip in peace, Marv. Oh, nothing in that one. Nothing in that one. Oh, okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we do need to sit down somewhere, or at least rest. Oh, we got the little uh, the little chair up here, haven't we? Surely there's going to be some metal pipes in here. We will dismantle all of these as well. Oh, Jesus. Where the hell did all these come from? All right, so we've cleared this out. We got a fair few pipes and bars, which is nice. Let's go drop them off in the car because we are our backpack is full. We've also got this other building to do here as well. Uh, I feel we're going to start getting tired soon. Let's actually mark these off the map as well. So that's been done, that's been done, and that's been done. Okay, all right, let's look at getting in this building here. Let's make sure it's clear around the front first. We don't want any unexpected surprises. Oh, yep, like all of them. Ah, we have got tired. That's not great. Yeah, I think we gotta get out of here, you know? There is just a lot of zombies everywhere. I think what we'll do is we'll check more garages tomorrow. Oh, wow, what the hell? Where the hell have all of these come from? There's more of them down here. Absolute bastards. All right, it's turning to 11. We're going to hit the hay, and tomorrow we're going back on the garage. Uh, the garage pillaging. All right, we are up day 35. Now I'm thinking, do we just rush to get... Oh, we need more garbage bags, don't we? I was going to say we could do with another rain collector up just for when it rains because water situation is not the best. I mean, we've got a garbage bag there. Uh, we've got one there. So we need two more. We may be able to find them while we're going through garages. So, let, yeah, let's go through garages. Um, I'm not going to jump over that fence. Can't. Didn't actually mark off the garages I've been in, I don't think. Mm, that's not a, it's not ideal. Sneaky bitch. Oh, we got a shed here. <sighs> no generator. All right, let's uh, let's keep going through garages again. If we don't find any by the end of today, then we'll just uh, we'll go with that, and we'll just have to move our current generator as and when we need it. It's not ideal, but I'm not going to waste another day looking for generators. Oh, a pickaxe. Normally I'd take that, but I think we're we're doing well with short blunt. Let's just get out the back, that's what we came for. Alright, we still haven't found one. We'll finish these houses. We do have enough bags now though for another rain collector. We'll finish this road and if not, well, we'll just have to just wait and see if we do find one somewhere. Alright, we got a few of them down by the looks of it. Maybe all of them, I don't know. Maybe, well, there's one in there at least. And some in the garage. Yeah, still a few of them in there, look, bloody hell. I saw one walking around in there. Where are you? There you are. All right, we're in. Nice house. You got a fireplace there. Oh, I thought that was a back door. We could have been uh, dead then if there was a sneaky zombie in there. Look at this. They are living the life of luxury. Oh, we got a prepper. Uh, anything we really want there? I don't think so. Maybe the maybe the bullets and the bourbon. Possibly. Do we wear the prepper clothes? You know what? They may actually, um, oh, the trousers have got holes in. You know what? I'm thinking maybe we do because they don't slow us down. Let's take the helmet. They're not going to slow us down. Yeah, it's got holes in, but, uh, yeah, we'll take it because we can patch the holes up. We don't really need to worry about our legs anyway. And it won't slow us down. We can patch the legs. So, yeah, maybe we do wear the prepper stuff. Well, these houses were a bust. <laughs> They were. Let's have a little look up here. See what these blue buildings are. We're not. I'm not going to waste any more time looking for generators. It is what it is. If we need to, we'll just move. Uh, move our current generator. Hopefully, we find. There's the police station. Hopefully, we find a fuel truck. That'd be nice. Or some jerry cans. And if we got jerry cans, we can just keep a load of them at our base, full of fuel. Um, right. What the hell is this building? I think some kind of community center. Oh, there's a prepper there. Let's try and get him without any holes in his in his trousers. Let's actually smash this window and see if we can draw him out that way. Oh, it's definitely drawn some. Oh, okay. Where the hell's the prepper? Oh, he's all the way up there. Come on, buddy. Down you go. Oh, oh, wait, what do we need? Do we need the top or the bottom? 
Oh, we need the bottom. Perfect, because the top on this one's got holes in, uh, but the bottoms don't. So that, I would say, is a bloody result. Uh, probably going to start getting tired soon. We don't have our car, so I'm going to make my way back. This is there is a hell of a lot of zombies around. All right, we're back home. We're gonna, yeah, we are going to move over to the prepper gear, I think, because I, I reckon it'll weigh less. Let's just have a look. So what's this? Um, uh, for it, point three, and actually way more, but I think it's going to protect us more. And also, we don't have the negative effects of the movement penalty. Goodbye, Dolph Revan. We'll keep it in there, though. Ah, uh, but it does protect the legs while still having trousers on, so that's interesting. Let's let's get the proper stuff on. I want to wear it. All right, well here we are. We look a bit more ready for action, I would say. Let's check the swing speed. Yeah, it's a lot quicker to be fair. So yeah, we're, uh, I'm happy with the choice. All right, it's twenty past ten. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We're going to get out of a rain collector setup because we have the garbage bag, uh, four of them. So yeah, that we're going to need it. We need it because it's we're just not ha we don't have enough water. These uh these do last a while. These camping canteens, but I'd like to have a steady supply of it. Uh, but we'll see in the morning. All right, day 36. Let's uh, crack on. We're going to, uh, yeah, build that other rain collector. Any zomboids out here? No, no, no. We are going to need some wood, so let's get the... Oh, I see one up there. Let's give it a shout. Let's get them all over. Come on, you bastards. Look at all of these. Well, that's them dealt with. Hmm, how are we going to do this? I might have the stairs going round and then back here. Actually, we could probably plumb it in this side. Yeah, let's get the stairs going up here. All right, let's go. Let's go here. Okay, let's just double check the placement of that sink. Yeah, so it's in the corner. We're still going to need some more wood, I think. We got anything in here we can take apart? Oh, Bourbon. You know what I might do as well? I might put the generator up here and smash these stairs down so we can go in and out through the window. The zombies won't go out there. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. All right, well, we got two planks. That isn't going to be enough. We got a bed upstairs we can take apart. Okay, we got that going. I may take the stairs off here. Actually, the stairs can stay there because we will replace that. They can stay there this side. Let's bash these stairs down though. There we go. Happy days. There we go. We have a generator up and connected. I mean, we don't really need it on, so I'm not too worried about, you know, not finding having a, a generator at the second gas station. It'd be good for the car, but I mean, we don't really need the generator on until we find, uh, until we plant our seeds. Oh, wow. Okay, well, yep, that'll do. All right, it's half past 10. We're gonna hit the hay, I think. Tomorrow, tomorrow, we're gonna go down and look what this blue building is and have a little look around here. These look like, it could be storage units. It could be interesting to go and see. I think blue is, what the hell is blue? blue? I can never remember, isn't it? Leisure, and what, what's this community? But dark, like purple is government buildings, I think, and this is leisure. So that could actually be a bar, maybe. I don't know. Uh, whoops. Um, I don't know, but we'll uh, we'll see tomorrow. All right, day thirty-seven. I just remembered we didn't actually plumb in the um, rain collector, so we'll do that now, quick. There we go, all plumbed in. All right, off we go on the road again. It's uh, very early, actually, six in the morning. That's, that's a bit early for old any man. Still need some chains for the wheels. There's a lot of uh, a lot of Zeds down here. Nice fence protecting us though. Oh, not here though. There's a bit of a wreckage. Let's deal with them. Hmm. I think this is where we'll come and do uh, some increase our aiming when it's time. Oh, what we got here? Some kind of military checkpoint. I feel slightly. Oh, look at this. What is this? Yeah, this is something, isn't it? Okay. Let's see if we can clear out some zombies here. We might not push in there today, but I would like to... Oh, look at them all. Oh, God, there is a lot. Gonna give it a shout, because I want to clear this side of the fence. This is a nice little staging area here. So what I want to do is actually come down here with a shotgun. I want to make sure there's no nasty surprises coming up behind us. Um, and we will shotgun all of these and get some nice aiming skill. Could actually be a military base in there, you know. Um, I definitely want to go and check it out. Okay, we've pretty much cleared that right out. Let's go up here and just check behind this diner. All right, let's move up a little bit and clear that in the north, the well, the northeast, south west side. You know what I've just seen as well, which could come in handy if it is. Yep, a water cooler. We'll take that. All right, we are home. We're going to get this water dispenser. We're going to look at some guns. We're probably not going to go down there with the gun today. We may do it tomorrow. 
Um, only because we was up early, we'll probably get tired. I want to be fresh for it. All right, well, we have our uh, water dispenser there, which is nice. Let's fill up all of these. Nice, nice, nice. I hear a zombie. Hey, get out of it. You know what? I'm just looking, and we don't actually have that many boxes of shotgun shells. We've only got three boxes, so that's not ideal. So we've got 72 shells. I did saw off the shotgun as well, because I do like a sword off. This should get us a few levels, and then once we get to level three, we should be golden. This is going to be very, very risky. Oh, and we have rain. Glorious, glorious rain. Thank the Lord. Let's get some seeds planted. All right, we got five patches going. That should do us. We're nearly self-sustaining. What we'll also do while it's raining as well is actually fill um, this. That's actually full now, which is good. Rain collectors are getting filled. So we'll have two rain collectors and a full water dispenser. That, that should do us. <laughs> At least until we have rain again. All right, so it's 20 to 11. We're going to go to bed. We're not going to eat tonight. We'll eat in the morning. And tomorrow we'll uh, we'll go have some shotgun fun. Okay, day 38. It looks like the rain is still pouring, which is good. That's good for our rain collectors. We also need some food. We're actually going to have some mac and cheese because we're 78 weight. So we'll probably do getting a couple of uh, maybe a chevron. Let's say eat some cereal as well. And that's leveled us out. We'll take a can of oats for a little snack down there. Now, I hear a zombie. I don't see a zombie, though. But anyway, what we're going to do... Oh, here he is. Here she is. So what we're going to do is go down to the quarantine area place we were at yesterday and uh, get the shotgun going. A bit of shotgun fun. Going to get a bit tasty, I think, but we'll see uh, We'll see how we get on. Let's actually stop at this police car and see if we can get any uh, shotgun shells, maybe. 9mm will actually uh, take. Sling will have. Oh, and a box of shotgun shells. Look at that. We are bloody lucky. We're going to park the car here and turn it off because we don't want. We want to be able to get out of the area. Now, I know it's a little bit dodgy sometimes aiming on them. Okay, we can get a couple. Not really the amount I wanted, to be honest. Um, it's going to stir them up. That we are. Um, did get us a little bit of aiming skill, not a lot though. We gotta be careful we don't get ambushed, because I can hear something there. Yeah, it's not letting us aim at them, which is a shame. Do we go over? Let's do it. It's risky. It's good that we got this fence here protecting us. We could get some stragglers in from there. Let's see what we can do here. We got some this side, so let's ball them up. All right, we got a level in aiming. Nice. Oh, we got some volunteers coming on over here. They are a bit close to our car, which is not ideal. Look at all of these. Right for the picking. Ah, oh, nice. Level in reloading. Looks like it's all clear behind us. I mean, we have killed a fair few, so we probably killed all the ones around our base. Yeah, 50, just 1,600. All right, let's go over and uh, draw them over. What a massacre. <laughs> we be balling. Oh, look at all these come over. Oh, Lord, okay. All right, how are we looking? How are we looking? Um, mm, nah, two and a half. Okay, I mean, it's, it's something. We're getting there. Probably use about half of our shells. All right, we've killed probably about another 100 zombies. Let's see if we can get some of these. Let's go over the fence to try and draw them out of um, the, off of the fence. Oh, alley up. Back we go. This baton can't have a much more life left in it. An absolute massacre. <laughs> nice little victory smoke, I think. We are close to level three. We are getting a little bit exhausted, so we will go and relax in the car, I think. The safety of the armoured car. All that fence hopping we're doing. Oh, it doesn't look like we're going to have a chance because there's uh, there's a few of them. At least they're drawing them all away from our base. Oh, we got a few more on this side of the fence, so we'll ball them up and start a blasting. Yeah, we're nearly at level three. I think we hop over. And we should get there. We are a little bit low on beta blockers, actually. How many we got? We uh, we got 
Yeah, just over a quarter of a of a packet. A uh, third even. There we go, aiming free. Thank you very much. Good night. Let's get home. Oh, we're getting corpse sickness yet. We're out of here. We're out of here. See you later, suckers. Looks like we got some uninvited guests, and he has a baton with him, so we'll uh we'll take that, I think. Oh, and some 9mm. Never say no to 9mm. I think it's time to retire old uh, old trusty. We've got a nice spanking new one, so yeah, we're gonna uh we're gonna get rid of this one because it's gonna break on us, so. Alright, now we gotta see what goodies in regards to the uh the gun selection we have. I think a pistol is probably going to be the one. I mean, what does uh, what does the M1911 take? It's 45, isn't it? Let's uh, I'll do a quick check of the stock we have. Yeah, we got a few boxes, so I think we're going to use the 19, M1911. I think. Do have a lot of nine millimeter, but I don't actually know if we have a nine millimeter gun. Oh, we do. Okay, that's fine. Uh, the capacity is only no. Let's take the nine mil. Let's take the uh, the M9. Oh, it's got a red dot sight on it, which is nice. All right, we have our M9. I think it's got a red dot on it. Has it got a red dot? Yeah, apparently. Um, okay, so yeah, we're ready to go. We're not, we're not going to uh, go down there today. You know what? We don't actually need a holster because we've got the prepper trousers. They come with a holster built in, so we can actually lose a bit of weight. Um, I know we've got visible holsters, but if we've got one on our leg, why the hell not use it? Well, we are we're looking good. We are looking bloody good. God, what the hell's gone on over here? Look at all these bushes we got growing. We don't want them. Get rid of it. I like to keep my garden clean, damn it. All right, it's time to get a bed. We're going to have a smoke. Um, and then, yeah, hit the hay, I think. And tomorrow, I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. All right, day 39. How is our weight looking? I feel it's going to be dropping again. Yep, so let's have a can of oats. Can't beat a can of oats. I don't know why we have duct tape in our inventory. I'm not going to do anything too strenuous today because yesterday was very full on with the shotgun. We are going to go down and test out the pistol though. We really need some chains for our wheel protection. Uh, let's test out the old pistola. Nice. All right, let's head back, I think. All right, home sweet home. But yeah, it's 11 o'clock. Trying to get a better thing, and then tomorrow, well, oof, day 40, wow. All right, day 40. We are up nice and early. We're not going to do anything too crazy today. We're probably not going to leave the base. I'm going to secure the area around here, um, but that'll probably be it for for today. It doesn't look like there's a lot going on, actually, but we'll have a, we'll have a look. While we're over this way, we'll have a quick peek in these garages for a generator. I feel I may have been in them, though. And just not marked him. No, no generator. I'm actually going to mark him because that's the main thing we're looking for. We didn't take the loot out of him, but there was no generator, so. Well, the neighborhood's clear, so back home for the rest of the day, I think. All right, so it's about 10 past 5 on day 40. Probably going to leave it there. Now, what we're going to do next episode is we are going in here. This, something going on in here, uh, and I want to know where, where is my, uh, no, where is, here we go. Let's, uh, oh, can we draw a line? Uh, yeah, we can. We, we need to go in here. This is where we want to go. I don't know what's in there. Maybe military. This is all blocked off. It should be interesting. Let's put a big old, uh, a big old dead something in here like that. Um, okay, yep. Yeah. We don't know what it is, but we want to get in there. We've got a lot to do. First, we're going to get some food, and then uh, we're going to head down there. Oh, look at our car. She's an absolute beauty, isn't she? Once we get these metal... Uh, sheets on there instead of the bars Whoa, she'll be unstoppable oh the massacre the massacre my god look at it oh all right here we are let's deal with these unrulies and uh, see what we can get in there generator would be nice uh, maybe because it's an industrial place well, we got a few up there let's go slowly in there let's not rush in Oh, that's a lot of them taken care of. I'm sure there's more, though. This guy's stuck in the bloody sandbags. Come on, buddy. Oh, wow. What is this place? Oh, we got an army, guys. Definitely something military up here. Oh, it looks like we got a lot of them. Is this some kind of... Oh, look, it's all boarded up. Some kind of hospital or something, maybe? I don't like that, how it's very narrow there. <laughs> what is this place? What is it? 
They're gonna start coming out that window. I don't know what to do here. Let's give it a shout. Let's try and draw them out. I see some down here as well. Let's take care of them so we don't get cut off. Oh, it looks like some have gotten out over here. I feel it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be busy in there. Mm, if some come in behind here, we're trapped in there. We should have brought the should have brought the bloody sledgehammer with us. Damn it! Oh, well, let's leave them for the time being. Let's have a look at uh, what else we got around here. Hmm. Does it look like it's industrial stuff? Uh, this guy wasn't having a very good day, was he? <laughs> Hmm, interesting. Yeah, a lot of a uh, lot of industrial stuff around here. Be good though, because we need uh, all this stuff we can get, metal sheets and all that. Ah, and this police lady had uh, a nice new baton on her, which we will take. We'll replace our club hammer with that. Oh, oh yes. Just gonna try and clear the area as much as possible, really, because if we um, if we bring the car up, I don't want to get surrounded by him from the noise of the car. Oh my god, there is a lot of them around here. Oh god, there is a lot of them up there as well. Let's leave them alone up there, I think. We don't really need to go up there, so yeah, we'll leave them. Alright, we are getting exhausted as well, which isn't good. You know what, let's go down, have a rest of the car, dismount all the stuff, and we may come back up tomorrow. Actually, let's go back and have a look at this place. Let's deal with these so these don't come sneaking up behind us. I mean, we could go through a window, possibly. That might be the safest bet, actually. I just don't know how many are in there. That's the problem. Okay, we got a car park. There's some nice cars over there, actually. I can hear a lot of zombies banging around, which um, doesn't fill me with confidence. Oh, wow, the door's open. Okay, let's do it. Right, are they coming? I've given it a shout, but let's do it again. Yeah, here they come from upstairs. Just go make sure our back's fine. Okay. Um, we've cleared some of them. I still feel there's going to be a lot. At least we can see the front and we can get out there if we need to. I don't really know what this building is. There's not a lot in here. There's no military stuff or even hospital beds. So they're definitely upstairs, I think. Oh, here they come. Yeah, let's get out of here, I think. We're going to start getting tired soon. See if we can get in here. Oh, it's open. Okay, that's one for tomorrow as well. Oh, look at all of this good stuff. My God, because I'm out working skills so high, we're actually getting loads of stuff from the vehicles now, which is amazing. It's also going to increase our metal working skill, which is even better, because we want level six so we can put the metal sheets on. Oh, we didn't get that much from that one. Wow, we have got a hell of a lot of stuff. Our backpack's full and our satchel's pretty much full of metal working stuff. Right, let's head home, drop all this stuff off, and then have a little rest, and then probably back at it tomorrow, I think. All right, so we just got home. We all got, we have got tired. It's half past four. Now these zombies are coming up to us. We're overweight and tired, so this is not probably the wisest thing. But I want to get take care of them. Ah, oh, and the crates are actually full, so we're gonna have to build another crate, which is, uh, well, it's not ideal, but it is what it is. Or maybe we just keep it on the foot. No, we can't keep it on the foot. It looks so messy. <laughs> Um, but that's a job for another day, I think. Crops are looking okay. They're not uh, not anything special yet, but they will be. They will be. All right, it's 11 o'clock. We're going to have this cigarette, and then we're going to hit the hay. We'll see you in the morning. All right, day 42. We're going to have some uh, have some breakfast. Uh, 10 past 9. Good time to wake up, I'd say. Uh, we're going to have some breakfast, and then we're going to drive. Oh, look at his hair. His hair is getting long. Old Andy, man, you need a haircut. Maybe we do that at some point, but... Uh, yeah, we're gonna have got any food on us? No, we're gonna have some breakfast and then we're gonna drive back up to uh, to that place, I think. But yeah, we need to get a crate as well at some point, don't we? Uh, well, that's fine. We can do that. I think dismantling the cars is probably gonna be the best way to get our metal working skill up. I reckon. Ah, uh, we need chains as well. I want to get chains on to protect our tires from these bloody dead zombies we got here. Oh yeah, let's deal with these as well. Do we have a little look in here while we're here? Oh, we've already been in here, haven't we? Dismantling. <laughs> Scanner module. I've not seen that before. I wonder what that's for. It's a lot of electrical, so I'm guessing this is like an electrical factory. Then it must be. Where's this guy going? Where's this lady going? Come on, lady. Come on. Messing around. Well, I was hoping to find some chains in here, but there's not. We're actually going to mark this off as well. We don't really need anything electrical, so yeah, let's mark it. Do you want to get our freezer at some point as well? That'd be nice for all uh, cabbage. Let's dismantle these cars. Actually, we're pretty low on propane fuel. 
Should have topped up before we come, shouldn't we? Oh, we got some good, uh, some good resources from that. Why is there a bandage in there? Ah, we're actually out of propane fuel for the torch. Um, that's fine. We won't be doing any more dismantling today, but that's fine. Oh, it's broken out of here. That's nice. At least we don't have to clear it out. They've all come out to us. All right, let's do it. Okay, we got some, we got some duct tape. I never say no to duct tape. Screws, yeah. Wood glue, yep. Yeah. Was this like the generator room for this place or something it looks like? I feel welding rods might come in useful. I don't know what for, but I feel they could do for something. So we'll take them. Yeah, that's about it around here. All right. Do want to get in this building. It's, it's interesting because it's fenced off. So I feel there's going to be something in there worth looking at. Let's do this building down here as well. Yeah, I keep seeing army people. So I feel that there's got to be something to do with the military here. Definitely. Oh, does that actually give us more protection? The military camo jacket. Uh, and that's got a hole in it, so we're not going to take it. But that's good to know. Let's keep an eye out for that. Rubber band, because I think what we can do with a rubber band is actually um, tie hair and ponytail. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. We're, uh, we sort ourselves out. We're a bit more presentable now. Mm, security cameras. Something definitely going on here. It's not all as it seems. I don't think it's just industrial area. Oh, well, weight is uh, not good. 76 and dropping. We're going to have to have some... Uh, Something tasty when we get back, I think. Oh, you don't even need a rubber band to put your hair in a ponytail. Oh, well. How many kills on 2,000? Wow. Okay. What's the short blunt? Yeah, short blunt's a real uh, a real winner when you got high levels in it. I'd actually really recommend the uh, the construction worker. It's nice. Nice starting off with that leveling carp. It's also nice having the uh, short blunt. There's something going on in there because that's barricaded from the other side. Oh, we're through, I think. This is it. Oh, yeah, look. look let's put the, put the desk there and barricade it. That's cool. I like that little bit of world building. What about in there, though? Let's see if we can get in another way. I don't want to be messing around and barricading stuff. Now, here we go. Mm. Oh, I think that's the other side. Yeah, okay, so there's nothing really in there. Nothing really in here either. All right, let's try and uh, let's go upstairs. It's risky. Whew, we're up, okay. It's just that first, it's that unknown. Guy's out the bloody window here. What are these guys doing? Not really a lot in this building, to be honest. Thought there'd be more. A lot of bookcases, which uh, is good if you need books. But we are we are golden for books. We need a generator, if anything. But like I said in the last episode, I think I'm not going to go around purposely looking for one. If we find one, we find one. We'll just have to do with moving our current one. Uh, there ain't nothing in here, to be honest. Pretty disappointing. All right, let's get out of here. Seeing the military people does make me think there's got to be something military over here, but it doesn't. So far, no luck. Let's have a drive around. There's a lot of zombies. Jeez. Some residential houses there by the looks. Bloody hell, look at them all. Not seen any military zombies though. Oh, that's been fenced off. Look at all these wrecks. Oh, this has got sandbags. Let's stop here, just quickly. Let's see how many come after us. Ah, uh, quite a few, okay. Um, can we take them? Probably. No, we're going, we're going. Get in! We might be right here. Mm, there is a few of them coming. We might be able to take them. Whew, okay. Right, let's, let's make our way up here. Bloody hell, it's half past four. We're going to start getting tired soon. We do have a military guy here as well. well let's have a little peek in here. We're not going to go in today, maybe, but I want to have a little peek. See, why is it all sandbagged? Oh, we got construction stuff. Ah, it looks like it is all construction. We will come back tomorrow. Oh, we got, we got quite a few soldiers here. Ooh, okay, let's see if this guy's jacket is, uh, no, <laughs> no good. Oh, he does have 556, so we'll take that. This lady did have a military backpack. I don't know if that's better. 2887, 2887, what are we rocking? Uh, 2887 is actually better, so we're going to take that as well. And we'll change that back at base and put all of our stuff on there. So this isn't actually on the map by the looks of it. Look. Oh, yeah, let's let's have a look in here. It could just be a construction site, but I want to have a look. Um, wow, yeah, there's nothing. There's military zombies, though. It makes me think. Got to be something around here. Look at this. This has got bars. We'll bring the sledgy down tomorrow. 
Let's get back. Oh, we got some wanderers drifted on over. What the hell are you doing on my turf? Get the hell out of here. All right, so we're going to have some food. It's not going to be long before we get to bed because it's 20 to 8. We're all tired already. Oh, we need calories, don't we? That's what we need. Let's eat some. Let's eat some black beans. There we go. Two Chevys. That's fine. We are very unhappy, but we'll take some antidepressants. Oh, the seeds are coming through. All right, it's 10 to 11. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We are going to do a little bit around the base. I want to get another crate built. I want to do some tailoring on our new bag. So, we, yeah, it's going to be a base day tomorrow, but we'll, uh, we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 43. We are we are getting through the days. We're gaining weight, which is nice. But, yeah, as I said, we're just going to uh, do a bit of carp today. We're going to get, get some more crates out here, maybe two, maybe stack them on top of each other. I don't know. We also sort out the backpack as well. We want to get that... Um, Get the attachments because it's better capacity than the one we've got. So, yeah, let's crack on. I'm not going to go chopping trees. I'm just going to dismantle someone in the houses because we only need four planks. And we got one there. So, we're only going to need three planks to get a crate done. So, that's not too bad. Oh, wow. This guy had a uh, had a pistol on him. We'll actually take that. I don't see that very often on the normal zombies. We'll see if one will do it, hopefully. Yep, that's got all of it in there. Nice. Oh, yeah, it's three planks, isn't it? Uh, I'm so stupid. I should know these things by now. All right, let's get this uh, backpack all patched up all right well we've added the uh attachments to our backpack which is nice so we are looking good now with the rest of the day we're gonna go around just clear the area a little bit i think so i had noticed we'd had some zombies move oh yeah here we go we got some right here you bastards come on and we got quite a few over here well looks like we got the majority of them there's a couple by this house by the looks of it let's deal with them Ah, the baton! No, not the baton! Oh, luckily we have the other one which we got, which is nice. I am just looking in these garages that are already open across the road from us. Just see if we can get lucky with a generator, but then also if we can find some chains for the tyres. It's nice how the zombies have smashed all the doors in for us. Nice one, zombies. Actually coming useful for once. No, load of metal pipes and stuff, but I mean, we can just dismantle cars for that. And we actually got a load of them as well back at base anyway. All right, let's head home, I think. Actually, let's check the condition of our car. This is all... We did run into a zombie, and the bull boss still got 100%, so... Um, happy days. I mean, I wonder, how do you go about repairing it? I suppose you have to uninstall it and reinstall it, maybe? Let's have a look at the general condition of the car. Wow, okay, yeah, she's good, she's good. I mean, this is probably the best I've kept a car going for her so long. Ah, this tyre's starting to... Uh, we can repair it. What's the best for glue? I mean, I wouldn't mind a nice new tyre on that. Let's have a look at these other cars, because maybe we do that tomorrow. Heavy duty, isn't it? Maybe this propane uh, truck's got some, actually. Yeah, look at that. 96%. We're having it. We're having it. Okay, that's a job for tomorrow. Again, probably another base day tomorrow, I think. Actually, going to put the sledgehammer on the roof rack because then you never know when you need a sledgehammer. It's better to have it and not need it, as I say, than to need it and not have it. And it's not like we ain't got the space for it. I mean, we got 123 in the boot and 100 on the roof. That's plenty. All right, so it's 10 past 10. We're going to have a smoke and then go to bed. We also, got, I'm actually going to go and get that chest freeze as well from the shop down the road tomorrow. Yeah, a bit of, uh, you know, car improvements, replace the wheelbase improvements, you know, taking care of ourselves tomorrow, I think. All right, day 44. We have woken up very early. We need to go to bed later. Um, we are hungry as well. How is our weight looking? We still got the two Chevys. Ah, one Chevron. Okay, so maybe let's eat. Oh, oh no, the ice cream's going to be rotten, isn't it? Let's actually get rid of all of this so I don't accidentally eat it because, uh, yeah, it's uh, been known to happen. But uh, do we eat the butter? Mm, yeah, let's eat the butter. <laughs> Didn't actually do that much to our chevrons. There we go. A bit of spag bowl and we're on uh, we're on two Chevys. Two Chevy chasers. Let's get the uh, jack and everything. I mean, we're not going to need to take this propane truck anywhere, I don't think. There we go. She is on. That is nice. What we'll do as well, we will keep this tight because 54, I mean, it's not horrendous. We will keep it and place it down here as a backup oh and i almost forgot to pump the tire up we'll do all of them while we're at it oh 65 maybe we look at changing that at some point as well i think once they get to around 50 we look at changing them oh we got bloody fog coming in of course we have i think we're gonna need another crate as well you know can't put the bloody tire pump anywhere all right so the fog's just about going so we are gonna go down and get that chest freezer i think Let's probably see what food's in that store as well actually a lot of zombies well, oh, it's a restaurant. Why the hell is there an ice cream machine, ice cream freezer outside a restaurant? All right, let's uh, 
have a little look around on foot at some of these buildings because we're probably going to start getting tired since we was up early but if we can find a little food store um i'll take some food all right oh what we got here then hardware store wow maybe we find some chains in here it is definitely a hardware store wow oh wow sledgehammer we don't really need it we'll take the nail uh the screws mm, propane tank we don't really need that or another torch because well we've got the truck haven't we more building supplies i think um i can't believe we haven't found any change nor chains normally i see them all over the bloody place always the way when you need something it ain't there uh we will take a machete though <laughs> no nothing really of uh any use in here well a machete i'll always take that oh jesus Oh, I knew there's a few behind there, but didn't quite expect that many. Ah, nearly. Ah, it looks like this is the bar, isn't it? All right, we are home. We're going to drop some of this stuff off, have some food. Um, and then that's probably about it for today. A bit low on food, to be fair. Maybe tomorrow we do go down to that store and kind of raid it for what we can. Yeah, our cabbage is going to be, well, it's probably about a week off, I reckon. It's not even, we need to wait for its seed bearing as well. So, yeah, we're going to go down to the shop tomorrow, I think. All right, we've had some food. We've had a smoke. Time for bed. We'll see you in the morning. All right, day 45. We are going on a supply run. We're going down to the food store. Let's have a look at the map, actually. We haven't looked at it a couple of days. We're still going to go in here. I want to go down to this bit here um, and hopefully get some goodies. As it looks like there's some military stuff there, so hopefully. But yeah, we're going down to this food store. Maybe have a look at the high street, see how busy it is. But um, yeah, let's just crack on. Let's have a quick look at our cabbage. Still not quite ready. Maybe a few more days. I don't know. We'll see. All right, there's a few zombies coming down. Let's take care of them. There's a fair few of them coming down. Come on in, you bastards. Let's have you. All right, that'll do. That'll do, pig. Oh, we didn't fix our freezer up either. We must do that when we get back as well. All right, let's take this high, uh, high calorie stuff. Nice, nice, nice. The rest is probably rotten, but the boutoir will be good. Especially as we probably won't be doing any trapping, I don't think, possibly, but doubtful. So having the high calorie stuff, if we're living off cabbage, having the high calorie stuff will uh, will come in nice, actually. All right, so we cleared this out. We've loaded the car up with stuff, and we saw oh, all of this. Um, I think we're probably going to be okay for the time being. We got a load so we won't mark it as done because we know there's still food there i mean look at all of this we got oh we got food for days all right let's actually go and have a look on the high street a little bit not too crazy but let's not get carried away but i wouldn't mind seeing what else we got down here let's go a little bit further we are getting lag so it makes me think there's a lot of zombies around oh i tell you what let's go down on that fuel station we was looking at Oh my lord, there is a lot of them. Let's park up here so we can escape. But let's go and try and clear it out a little bit, actually. Oh, bloody hell, there's a, there's a lot of them come on over. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Well, that's taken care of a fair few, but I feel there's still a... Yeah, there's still quite a few down there, but that's fine, so we, get, we can move in slowly now. Oh, the machete's gone. What is our short, our long blade, actually? Um, let's have a look here. Our three, so that's pretty good. Short blunt's going to be, uh, what, six soon? I think we'll probably actually... Oh, we can repair it one more time, I think. Two, two's enough. After that, you don't really see. I mean, we got plenty of machetes anyway, but you can never have too many machetes. All right, let's uh, slowly make our way down. I don't think we're going to find a generator here. It'd be nice if there was, but I don't think so somehow. The baton's taking quite a, uh, a bit of a beating. Mm, could even take another popsicle fridge uh, freeze. I don't think we need it, though. We will clear some of these cars out as well. Looks like everyone's trying to get gas. Oh, we got a bar, the wooden stein, and the turbo TV. All right, well, it's fairly clear. What oh, we got in the old McCoys here? Uh, an empty bottle. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, we got a level in metal working. Amazing. So what we're on now, five. Brilliant. Uh, we're not going to take all this stuff because we've we've got so much. Oh, we will take these though. Empty jumbo jerry can. That's got to be big. Oh, and a pipe bomb. Yeah, we'll take that. Thank you. Let's go siphon a load of gas from these cars. None of them have any gas in them. Brilliant. Nope, they don't. Oh, and we got zombies on us now as well. All right, let's go dump this stuff back off. Let's go see if we can get some gas from these. 
Oh, we are tired and we do have zombies coming. All right, let's go back. Not worth the risk. All right, we are home. We got a lot of stuff in this car that we need to sort out, but we are tired, so I don't want to risk it. So that's a job for tomorrow. So we'll be sorting tomorrow around the base, but the day after we are going back to that military place or what I believe is a military place. All right, it's 10 o'clock. We're going to go to bed and we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 46. We got a lot to do. We got a lot of sorting to do. Uh, I do love a bit of base sorting. <laughs> hmm, just trying to think where we're going to put the freezer. Um, maybe we put it against this wall, I think. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do, you know. All right, let's, uh, let's get at it. Let's get all this food out, all this good stuff. Yeah, I think we're, we're also going to need another crate as well because we've got so much metal working stuff. It's actually just a bit ridiculous now. There we go. We got the fridge, uh, the freezer in. Nice, 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 nice. Not turned on yet, but that's fine. Oh, no, we still got some water in there. Uh, but anyway, it's 20 to 11. Time for bed and tomorrow we're going back to the industrial area there. We'll see you then. All right, day 47. Wow, we're nearly halfway. We're nearly halfway. Right, today we're going back down to the military. Well, the industrial place. I was, I was, there's got to be military stuff down there. I just know it. Why would there be military spawns? It's kind of out of the way as well. Makes sense, but <laughs> you watch, there'll probably be absolutely nothing down there. All right, weight's on 80, so that's fine. We'll take the chips with us. What we got to snack on here? Anything? Uh, let's have a Majeska. Mod Jeska. Yeah, that'll do. Wouldn't mind a better colour for the car, but, well, there's nothing we can do about that, unfortunately. All right, looks like some zombies have come on over. We're going to get rid of that ambulance as well. Also, let's sledgehammer these things, because I know what will happen. I'll end up crashing. That could be very, very bad. Oh, we didn't refill our propane torch. God damn it. Okay, we'll do that next time we're here. God damn, short blunt is so good with enough levels. So common to find as well. All right, that's them dealt with. Let's drive up a little bit, I think. Where was the building with the fences in? Was it this one here or was it further down? I can't actually remember. I think it was further down. All right, let's scope this building out, I think. All right, I actually hear quite a few zombies in here somewhere. Wow, there's a lot of uh, shelves in here we can have a look at. Ah, oh, and another level in short blunt. Nice. Oh my god, this is, yeah, this is a military store. Oh my god, look at all this ammo. Oh my god, oh my god, we have hit the mother load. Not going to take anything just yet, I'm just going to take 9mm um, for the time being. I want to see if we can get a gun, like with a suppressor on, that'd be nice. This is crazy, we got enough ammo here to clear the bleak town, probably. Oh, this must have been the gun factory, that's what the town was, wasn't it? That's what it was. That's probably why there's military people. They're like the guards. Oh, we got spaz. That's nice. That's nice. Tech 9 will take. Tech 9 magazine. Yes. We got marked this on the map. I don't really know what to mark it down as. Um, yeah, let's put it as the gun. <laughs> I've been picking up shotgun boxes, uh, shotgun shells as well, because they, um, you know what, actually, we, oh, and the lube. <laughs> uh, we may actually do a bit of shotgun fun around here. Try and get some extra levels now that we picked up a spas. I'm gonna get back to the car and drop some of this stuff off. Yeah, let's put the spas on our on the weapon and we'll actually Yeah, we'll have a bit of shotgun fun up here, I think. The last time I tried the spas, I didn't actually like it to be fair. Ah, is this a good idea? Probably not actually. Let's let's not risk it. Let's not risk it. Let's have a little go on foot and see what else we got around here. Oh god, it's more. It's more. I just don't know what to do with it all. I really don't. <laughs> you know what? We are gonna have some shotgun fun. I also want to get the Winchester as well. I'm gonna drive down here a little bit so we can get a hell out if we need to. Ah, oh, we're tired. No, we're tired. We're going back. We're going back. Let's not risk it. So yeah, this is a uh this is where they make all the guns and ammo. Wow, that's really good that they put that in there. I mean, it's maybe a little bit overpowered, but you know what? I don't even care. All right, we are home. Let's dump some of this stuff off. All right, tomorrow we're going to go down to the high street, I think, and start blasting. Let's stir the hornet's nest up down there, and we can at least get the hell out if we need to. All right, it's half past 10. We're going to go to bed, and then tomorrow we're going to go shoot. I wouldn't mind a key. Yeah, a couple more levels, at least one more level in aiming to get number four. Um, I'd like five, but we'll see. We'll see. How many rounds we got on the old shotty anyway with us? 160. That should, uh, that should be enough to cause some carnage, but we'll see in the morning. All right, day 48. I think what we're actually going to do today, we're not going to the high street today. We're going to sort out our guns. I need to know what we got. Maybe we have an armory here. Maybe we get some crates. In oh, no, let's have an armory here. 
yeah, this is what we're going to do. Um, not very exciting. We will go down to the high street tomorrow, but I want to get, so yeah, I want to get my guns laid out. I think that'll be pretty cool, actually. All right, we got some planks to put our armory down, our table. We should be able to craft one now. Let's have a look. Yeah, let's get a large table. Yeah, let's pop it there. Not the best looking table, I won't lie, but we're gonna need more. We're gonna need more crates for all this ammo we've got. Look at all these guns. I think we got too many to lay them out, actually, <laughs> thinking about it. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Let's put all of our rifles and stuff. That's what I want out. There they are. Oh, look at them. Not so good a table, but yeah, they look nice. They look nice. We got some rifles, no automatic rifles. Uh, but it is what it is. We've got the Winchester there. We've also turned the generator on for the first time. Now, I had six days, but then I went around and turned all the lights off. So let's have a look what we got left. Uh, ten days without the lights. Bloody hell. Okay, I think we're going to keep this on, you know. Interesting to see if it brings any old zombos over. Oh, that's brought one over already. Okay, buddy, come on then. Let's go. Actually, being as around a base, let's get that next level of carp, I think. Let's see if we can do it. All right, we've just finished the book. Let's watch uh, that exposure survival. Um, let's get rid of this. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's, um, it's full. Let's delete it. Delete. Yeah, delete. See you later. Don't know what was in there, but it's gone now. <laughs> Nothing of any use, I doubt. Uh, let's have a smoke as well. All right, let's see if we can get that, that level to get us up to make a good rain collector. I think we can do good furniture then as well and good crates. So that would actually help loads. Oh, yes, and we got it. We got it. Happy days. Oh, and half of another level. Bloody hell. Right, let's dismantle this table now. <laughs> right, first thing we want to do, though, is see if we can build another rain collector. I don't have any garbage bags, so not sure if we're going to get enough from dismantling it. Let's dismantle it anyway, and we'll see. Don't think there's going to be a lot of water in it. Yeah, free, so... Hmm. Uh, no, we got no um, bags from it. <laughs> All right, well, the planks are up here anyway. We'll have a look when we're down in this town center. Uh, that's a little bit annoying, but it is what it is. All right, it's 10 to 11. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We're going to the high street looking for some bin bags. We'll finish out the uh, the armory at some point. Um, not tomorrow, maybe next episode. We'll see, but we're going to go to bed. We'll see in the morning. All right, day 49. Let's get straight on with it, getting down there. We woke up at 10 past 5, it's not ideal, but it is what it is. Uh, let's go, uh, actually, we're going to wait around a little bit just so it gets a bit lighter, I think. Yeah, this is this is more reasonable. Uh, half past 6, let's go down, let's go down shooting. You know, it might be a good idea, actually, to do it in this car park. Because behind us is fairly clear, and it is nice and open over here. All right, we balled them, it's showtime. Oh, reloading. We'll take that. I don't know if this was a good idea, to be honest. Well, we've committed now. Oh, look at them. They're coming. Not really getting any experience, though. Oh, my God. Look. Look at them all. Don't want to take them too close to the car. Let's go up here. It looks fairly clear up here. It's actually clearing them off the high street for us as well. Seem to have attracted most of the ones that were coming. The majority. Let's have a smoke. All right, so we're halfway there. We might get... Nah, not with 30 shells left, I don't think so. Could do with a pharmacy to get some more beta blockers. I did see one somewhere, but I just cannot remember where it is. All right, so, yeah, we're still... Yeah, maybe another 100 shells would do us. Well, that looks like the majority of them. Let's go down and see if there is the farm. I think it is somewhere around here, but let's go and have a look. The spas is actually quite good. I know when I tried it in my, I think it was the Nomad run, I didn't really like it, but it's actually doing pretty good now. Where the hell was that pharmacy? Oh yeah, we need bin bags, don't we? Oh, well, we got three bins here, so hopefully. I think a pharmacy might be pink, actually, isn't it? Let's have a look on the map. There. Oh, yeah, that must have been it there. Okay, well, we know where it is. Maybe we swing by. Yeah, let's let's go. Let's get another bin bag from here, and then we'll go up to the pharmacy, I think. No, the baton is gone. It's gone. Rip in peace. A lot of zombies up here. There's the pharmacy. We don't want a lot. Just a couple of packets of beta blockers. We could be able to get in and out. It's so normally this counter, the counters that have it. Yep, they're coming, they're coming, okay. All right, two beta blockers of that will actually do as I think. Oh, let's check the last uh, last counter. Yeah, let's just take them while we're here. 
All right, we're back home. Fairly productive day. We got half a level in aiming. We got bin bags. We got beta blockers. We're uh, yeah, we're looking pretty good to be honest. We don't need all of this stuff though. We don't actually have a lot in our uh, in our medical cabinet. <laughs> all right, let's build this rain collector and hopefully get it plumbed in. Oh yeah, we got a big boy. We got a big boy. There we go. The table is made. Are they nails on there? All right, it's half past ten. Time for bed, and we'll see you in the morning for day fifty. Wow. All right, day 50. We are up and at him. I'm going to have a look at this rain collector. What the hell's going on with it? Why are you plumbed in or what? Let's add some water from here and test it, shall we? Ah, so it's already plumbed in. Okay. So it's actually the sink that you plumb in for whatever you put on the top. That's good to know, actually. I was getting a bit worried there. Okay, so I've actually moved all of my guns over here, which is nice. They're all in one spot next to the display cabinet. When I get some better guns, I'll put some better guns on display. But I also want another crate for ammo. And then probably another one for attachments as well. Oh, carpentry up another level. Thank you. All right, so this one here is going to be for all the ammo, I think. So, boy, are we going to have a lot of it. All right, and in this one, we'll have all of our magazines and attachments and everything like that. So, yeah, I'm, ha I'm happy with that. All in the armory. I like the armory. Okay, guys, day 51. We got a lot planned for the next 10 days. I think we're going to go back up here towards where the little mini mall is and get the shotgun out. Maybe they'll go down to High Street afterwards, but up here, and then we can start pushing our way through here. I'm guessing this is a hospital. But we're going to, I want to see what these buildings are over here as well. So, yeah, we're going to go up here, get the shotgun out today, try and get that next level of aiming. I think that's the plan. But first, we need breakfast. We also need to get ourselves some more shotgun shells in our lovely, lovely sorted out little uh, armory here, which is uh, I'm very proud of, to tell you the truth. Yeah, we are a little bit low on shotgun shells, but I think once we get to level four, we won't use it anymore. 96 should get us that next level, I think. But we know where the mother load of uh, loot is. So we're, we're going to be fine, I think. Still going to keep an eye out for a generator, but that's fine. As I say, it's, we'll probably come across one sooner or later. I think we should be able to, you know, all these cars have probably got fuel anyway. So we're probably going to be okay. Especially if a full generator lasts us 10 days. Let's actually check these uh, cars around here while we're here. No cars have got any fuel by the looks. Uh, this wreck does, which is pretty good, to be fair. Of all the cars, the wreck's the one with it. Uh, it didn't give us a lot at all. This one seems to be doing the trick, though. No. Yep, we got it full. Nice. Oh, look at the size of this thing as well. Yeah, this is going to have probably double a jerry can, I'd say, just by going off the model of it. Anyway, it's massive. All right, let's go and have some shotgun fun, I think, down here. There was a lot of them down here, I saw, when we was here yesterday, wasn't it, or the day before? So hopefully we can get that next level of uh, aiming. And then it's pistol time, baby. Oh, look at this. We got some candidates. We got a prepper up there as well. Oh, we're getting lag spikes. I think there's a lot coming. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Was this a good idea? Probably not. Well, there's nothing coming from the south because we've cleared that out, which is nice. Oh, we've, we've led them back to our car, which isn't good. That's fine. Now, we're not too far from home if we need to abort. Uh, there's not too many. Famous last words. Well, it looks like they're starting to thin out a bit. Yeah, we got a lot of them by the looks of it. Are we even going to get the next level in aiming? Ah, oh, there we go. Nice. All right, now we got level four. We can get the old pistola out, I think. And it's jammed after one shot. Brilliant. All right. Well, yeah, we've pretty much uh, cleared out. We'll go and have a look how, how it's looking up at the crossroads there. Not necessarily going to use firearms all the time now that we got level four. I just wanted to have it just in case. We'll actually put the shotgun away now. They get a rifle on the go at some point as well. Maybe the Winchester, actually. Oh, we got a Giga mark there as well. I'm going to mark that on the map because it's good to know where food is, especially in a place that we don't really know um, the map that well. I feel it's going to be fairly safe around these parts now because we'll have drawn them all to us. Any policemen with batons? Doesn't look like it. Oh, maybe, actually. There's a guy here. Has he got a baton? No, he does not. Oh, we got some VHSs here. Maybe we get mechanics. Oh, can we get mechanics? Can we, can we, can we? I think we've already been in here, actually. No, no mechanics. All right, let's have a look what we got down here, then. What stores we got? Just having a quick reconnaissance mission. Oh, there's a few in there. Okay, so on the high street. A few zombies, nothing too crazy. 
Oh, we got around here then. Uh, there's a police blockade there. Um, do you know what? I don't think there's really anything that we, we particularly need on the high street, you know. We may push into the blue buildings. Maybe one of them's a police station. So I want to see if we can get some better weapons. But clear a few zombies out around here first. All right, let's get out of here. Let's not push our luck. We've done what we set out to do. Get that level in aiming. And we're probably going to be getting tired soon as well. So we'll head back to the car. Still need some bloody chains for our wheels. Oh, wow. We got a... Uh, oh, my God. Where the hell have all of these come from? What the hell? What the hell are you doing on my turf, you bastards? See, just when you think it's safe in Zomboid, it ain't. Oh, well, home sweet home now, anyway. I hear a bloody zombie around my base somewhere. Oh, I think he's over the fence. Well, we'll leave him be for now. Ah, he's on my front door. You bastard. Jesus Christ. Oh, there's a few of them behind that fence, I think. Let's put this jumbo jerry can down here. We're actually going to turn our generator on, you know. Now that we've seen quite an increase in zombies, I don't know whether it's worth making our base zombie-proof. That's not a bad idea. I might destroy these stairs. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do, but we're going to need... We're going to need some wood so we can build some sheet ropes. Uh, some, not some, Well, some wood, yeah. But also um, some cloth. But wood to build the fence. But that's the job for tomorrow. Let's deal with this bloody zombie. Or zombies. Yeah, I don't know where all these come from, to be honest. Oh, they're dead now. All right, it's 20 past 11. Yeah, we turn the generator on. We're going to go to bed in tomorrow. It means we're going to have the generator on all the time now. I think we're going to have to secure the base. So that's the job for tomorrow, but we'll uh, we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 52. We got a lot to do today. We got to secure the base. I thought we were safe here, but, well, that encounter yesterday with all them zombies made me think, you know, maybe we're not that safe. <laughs> um, but, yeah, we're going to... Uh, let's take some more 9 mil, actually, just in case... Oh, I keep going over there. That's the old place. Uh, let's take some more 9 mil, just in case things do get a bit tasty. we definitely got plenty of 9 mil. Right, let's take the wood axe. We're going to go We're going to go up north and get some a few pieces of wood, I think, because we're going to need it. Um, we always need wood, so let's uh, let's get to it. We haven't even had breakfast today. Probably need fuel in our, uh, in our truck, actually. All right, we're just up here. Let's give it a shout just to make sure there's none hiding in the trees. Why are we so overweight? What's what's going on? It's probably the sheep ropes um, weighing us down. I think that should do as you know. Let's actually reverse the car back. Let's just check these on the floor as backups in case we need them. But I think the ones that we've got on us should do. We've got zombies coming on over, so let's uh, get rid of this axe. Look at them up there. Where the hell do they all come from? We've got to go deal with them, haven't we? Yeah, it's making me a bit nervous all of a sudden. That's why we're doing the defences. Well, that's some cleared for a while anyway. How are we looking skill-wise? Pretty good. Short blunt hasn't really gained anything, but we are at level 6. Long blade, not bad. Sprinting free. Um, yeah, all pr pretty good to be fair. Reloading's only up a level. Well, we should probably do some music and meditation, but I'm not, not too worried about that. Farming we'll get when we harvest our crops. Actually, let's have a quick check on them. No, not quite. Let's uh, info. Is it going to give us any info? Um, it's flourishing. It is thirsty, so we need rain. But we need rain anyway. I think they'll probably be all right till it rains, to be honest. I never water cabbage. All right, let's put some fencing up. I wouldn't mind fencing this whole area off, to be fair. So it's at least a bit safe. Can't do it next to the rain. We could pick it up, but I'm not going to risk it. Um, let's add fabric rope here. All right, so we can get down now. We are going to need another sheet rope as well, but that's fine. All right, so we've got... We should have four... Yeah, so we got backup. we got one to put on our stairs, but then also a backup rope as well. That will keep upstairs just in case the zombies uh, trash our one inside. I doubt they will, but you never know. There we go. The stairs are gone. Let's get rid of all of this guff. There we go. It looks nice. Okay, okay. I very rarely destroy the stairs. I know I did it in my Raven Creek one, but I, I very rarely do it. I always feel fairly safe, but after... The amount that I've just seen. And of course, we don't know. We know the population's high here, uh, but we don't know how high. <laughs> and it respawns off, but I still managed to get that, get over here somehow. I reckon it was the shotgun fun we had, to be honest. Maybe I put a door here as well. Maybe that would be a good idea, I think. Maybe we smash all this down and put a door. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. There we go. Add escape rope. Boom. We are done. 
Nice, nice, nice. Let's see if we can find the stuff like the um, uh, doorknob and hinges. Should be able to get that in a house, I think. Yep, straight away. I will take the planks as well. Thank you very much. All right, let's get destroyed. We can actually destroy the curtains. We don't need them. There we go. We have a door. That is nice. Can we walk past that? No, we are pretty safe up here. How long does the generator have with two lights on? Yeah, still, well, still fairly okay, I suppose. All right, it's 10 to 11. We're going to have some, uh, some vegetable soup for dinner. Cold, of course, because why the hell not? And then we're going to go to bed and we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 53. We really need rain. That is, uh, that's what we need. I don't know if we're going to get it, but it's definitely what we need. Um, today, what we're going to do is just go around that back behind our houses there and just clear it out a little bit. Just see if there's any wandering Zeds around that are going to cause us trouble or try and sneak up on us. But yeah, fairly chilled day. And then tomorrow, we're going into town. See, I can bloody hear zombies already. Yeah, we got one here. Come on. Oh, we got two. Jesus. And it's foggy, so we don't be going too far from base either. Very foggy. Oh, my Lord. I see a big old horde up there. Mm. Don't want to tangle with them, I don't think. Can't really see anything. I hear them. Oh, here they come. Oh, okay. I think we'll uh, I think we'll go back. This machete is nearly at its day. What is our maintenance skill actually? It's got to be okay. Ah, uh, two, nearly three. I mean, it's not amazing to be fair, but we'll probably just rock the one machete. I think once this one's done, because they seem to be lasting long enough. I don't know about the vanilla machete. I very rarely actually find one. All right, so it's twenty past ten. We're gonna have some uh, have some dinner and then uh, hit the hay. I think so. We'll uh, we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 54. As I said today, we are going back into town. We're going to try and go along here and go up here and see what these blue buildings are. That is the goal for today. If we're going to succeed, I don't know, but that's what we're uh, that's what we're going to aim for. We may have to retreat, a tactical retreat, we'll see. Or maybe we'll try and clear it out there. I don't know. I don't even know what the hell's up there, to be honest. Oh, we got fog again. We're going to wait till the fog's gone. I'm not, I'm not risking it. All right, well, it's uh, 10 past 2. Uh, the fog's starting to go. What a waste of a day, though. Ah, oh, this is so annoying. Oh, well, we can at least go and um, have a little look what is actually up there, can't we? All right, let's go. Let's go. All right, we've never been this far before. Once we get past this, uh, this junction... All right, we're into the unknown. Okay, so this is what I'm guessing is the hospital. Is this a hospital? It's pink, so yeah, it looks like a hospital to me. There's a lot of zombies around, so maybe we should think about clearing them. Ah, the machete's gone. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna actually get rid of this one now. And then a machete does uh, seem quicker. Yeah, this is definitely a hospital, I think. Oh, we're getting through them. We're getting through them, all right. Oh, my God. We are getting through the durability on this machete, aren't we? Bloody hell. Looks like we've cleared out the majority of them. From the outside, anyway, there's probably a hell of a lot of them inside. Oh, God. Let's give him a shout. Come on, you bastards. He's got a bat on. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Yes. Probably going to start getting tired soon. Come on, Andy, man. You got this, you got this. Set a few in there by the looks of it. They keep coming, but we keep knocking them down. We are getting a little bit exhausted, though. Oh, should probably uh, start heading back because it is six o'clock. That is late for Andy Man to be out and about in town. Oh yeah, we never checked out the fire department, did we? Not that we really need anything in there, but it might be worth just ticking it off the list. And also these blue buildings around here. Maybe we look at them tomorrow because I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. God damn it! Look at this. There's a bloody zombie up here trying to smash our rain collect down. What the hell are you doing? Get out of it, you bastard! Ah! 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 God, maybe we have to destroy this. I don't want to break. That's our only, only one with water in at the minute. Good God. If we need to get out there, we can just smash a wall through. 
and build another door. So yeah, we're gonna destroy it. Bloody zombies going up there. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we're starting to get tired, so we're gonna chill around the base for a little bit for the rest of the day, I think. All right, uh, 10 past, uh, well, 20 past 10. I'm gonna uh, have this cigarette. Uh, we're gonna have some food. Nah, we'll have, we'll wait till breakfast, but uh, yeah, we're gonna go to bed and we'll see you uh, in the morning. Just looking at our weight, we are dropping, so we're gonna have something high calories just to, uh, just to bump it up a bit. Let's have a look at our uh, cabbage out there as well while we're at it. Mm, still not uh, amazing, but I'm sure it'll. Uh, I'm sure it can't be far off now. But then we gotta wait until it bloody gets seed bearing anyway. It's dry. Yeah, we need rain. Last time we walked 348 hours ago. That's last last time we had rain. Jesus. All right, let's have some mm, some. What's high in cut? Yeah, let's have some peanut butter. Oh, we are level, so we're gonna have another one. One Chevy. Let's. How about we get two Chevys? Uh, not quite. Not quite. Uh, can we eat another one? No, we can't eat any more. Okay, so maybe we have some rice or some black beans or something. But today, we're going to go look at the this area here and just mark it off, or at least mark what it is on on the map so we know. Okay. Uh, and also, we'll put in. Uh, wait a minute. We got a hospital here. We got a hospital there. There. And there, let's, yeah, let's mark the maps on. There we go. We got our trusty baton and our trusty machete. Oh, so we're at the uh, community centre type thing. It looks a bit busy. I remember we did come up here, didn't we? But we didn't obviously clear it. So let's get on with that. Oh, shall we have a quick look in these, these houses here? Just see if there's a generator. <laughs> I keep going on about a bloody generator. In and out, in and out, in and out. No, no generator. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm only going to go in the ones where the door, where the garage has been smashed open. Or have we already been in them? I don't even remember anymore. I think this is actually near where we got our first generator, isn't it? Probably should have been marking them off as uh, as we go, but I think that, yeah, it was that house on the corner there, wasn't it, I think? What actually is this building then? I think it is some kind of community centre. We could probably mark this off soon, because I believe we have been in it. Yeah, if the door's open, well, we've definitely been in it. Yeah, we got the prepper. I remember now. I remember now. Do we really need to go in here for anything? Yeah, it's like a gym, isn't it? Um, okay, well, we'll fill up our water here. I actually mark it off as being done as well, I think. All right, let's get down to the fire station. I, mm, yeah, let's do the fire station. We'll go over to this building here. Ah, right, let's get out of here. It's a bit too close for my liking. Yeah, not very busy. We got a fire truck over here. Has it got uh, anything in it? Any gas or anything? Not that we really need it. All right, let's go and have a look inside here. Just wondering, can we wear the fireman's hat with the gas, with the uh, welding mask? I don't think so. Oh, maybe. Uh, no, we cannot. Okay. I hear a lot of zombies in there. Probably clear the area first as well. Oh, we can actually repair the machete. This was with scrap metal. That's quite nice. Well, the baton's nearly uh, nearly had its day. Right, let's have a quick look in these garages. It might not be too safe around here, but I think we're going to be okay. Have a little duck in, duck out. Oh, Jesus. Let's have a quick look on all the garages, shall we? Being, uh, being as we're up here, only because we're up here. We can get in and out fairly quick. Nope. Oh, I like this. What are these? The the What are these? Cans? Nope. All right, no generator. Ah, oh, now we're getting tired. Okay, let's get out of here. All right, let's mark these off. I know we didn't actually clear them, but there was no generator in there, so it is what it is. Let's take the car up a little bit, shall we? Um, oh, actually, no, we still haven't done it, cleared out the fire station. Let's do that. Never know, there could be a generator. In no, there isn't. <laughs> Clear all these around the side, though. I noticed these bastards sneaking around. There we go. I mean, do we actually need anything in the fire station? Probably not, to be fair. I think we can... Well, we'll put a little symbol. There we go. Fire station. Nice, nice. Let's go have a look at this building to the north. I think it's going to be a school. A lot of zombies. Yeah, that's definitely a school, isn't it? Okay, we're probably not going to go for it today. Um, only because we're probably going to be getting tired. But we are going to have a little drive around to see what's uh, see what's occurring. Oh, we got some nice houses here. There's probably a generator in one of these. A lot of sheds. A lot of sheds. All right, well, we're back home. We're going to relax for the rest of the day. So we're going to start getting tired soon, I think. We are going to take another machete with us though as well why the hell not we got the space for it all right it's 20 past 10 let's have a quick look at our weight we are 
not gaining weight. So let's eat another peanut butter, I think. Uh, so I'll make a sad. That's the one Chevy. We'll take that. Um, let's also have some cereal. Why the hell not? Uh, we're going to go to bed uh, and we'll uh, see you in the morning. All right, day 56. We are we're getting through them. Um, today, I think we're going to hang around base. I may actually do a little bit of a sack of my phone in. Let's give that a go for the day. A little little chill day for old Andy, man. He's, he's been busy lately. He's been killing his, you know, hell of a lot of zombies. So let's do it actually. Uh, yeah, let's do it downstairs. See if we got the magazine for it as well. The book. So I know we got music four and five. That's not really going to cut it. Uh, we're not really getting any XP from that. So we're not really going to bother. Oh, we have rain. We have rain. Yes. Yes. Thank God. Amazing. What a, uh, what a turnout for the day. Worth staying at home for that. Crops are going to get watered. We're going to have it in our rain collector. Oh, amazing stuff. Oh, wow. We got a right old storm today. This is good. This is good. Yeah, let's fill stuff up while we got the, while we got the water here, and then it'll refill. All right, it's uh, 10 to 11. We've just kicked around base. A nice relaxing one. Maybe we try out some of these pipe bombs at some point. But uh, yeah, we're going to have a smoke. One. Yeah, let's eat something as well. Nothing too crazy. How about mac and cheese? I'll do. Um, yeah, we're going to go to bed and uh, we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 57. Wow. Okay, we're going to actually go up to them houses and have a look in the uh, in the sheds, I think, today. I just want a generator to put at the fuel station. It's giving me anxiety. I mean, we've probably got enough fuel to last us the 100 days, probably more, but... I like having it there. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. We're going to, uh, oh, we're not even hungry or anything. We're just going to crack straight on then. Out in the storm. We're braving the storm. Oh, my God. Uh, maybe we're not. <laughs> we'll wait to see if it dies down. Because visibility is not the best. Well, at least the cabbage is getting a good old water. Let's have a look at them. Look at that. Well watered. Oh, it's windy. we got a slight wind chill coming on. Well, it's half past two and the storm is still raging, so we might not even get out today, you know. It's a shame, but hopefully it goes overnight. One minute you want rain, the next you just want it to stop. <laughs> now, we do have the rain wash mod as well, so all our blood has actually got washed out because I've been stood outside for a little bit just so we don't get bored, uh, which is quite nice, actually. Maybe we do a bit of gardening. Look at all this grass growing here. It's very untidy. And of course, we do have, uh, where is it, outdoorsman. So we're probably not going to get a cold or anything. If we do, well, that's not ideal. Let's remove this grass. So a quick check, see if any zombies have wandered on over. We never did increase our mechanical skill anymore, did we? What are we on? I mean, four. We need a VHS. It's so slow. Uh, and that gets to six. I don't know if you can do engine parts at six. I'm not sure. My God, look at this weather. This is awful. Absolutely awful. Yeah, we ain't going out in this. All right, so it's 10 o'clock. Looks like the storm is going. We are drenched. Uh, high chance of catching a cold. Uh, maybe we should actually see if we can uh, dry ourselves. I don't think we can because we don't have anything. See if we can do it with a sheet. Make towel, okay. Dry self. I mean, I, I've never caught a cold with outdoorsmen, so should be fine. Uh, it's wet. We're wet now, so that's fine. Wet towel. How do we dry this? I don't know. Let's just drop it. <laughs> All right, let's go to bed. We'll see you in the morning. All right, day 58. The weather is still horrendous. We still have the storm. Do we have a radio for the emergency broadcast? Um, what about this one? Has this got it on there? No, no, it does not. Okay, that's fine. Well, again, I don't think we're going to go out in this weather. Let's have a look. Let's assess it properly. Hmm. No, no, we're not. We're not. Hopefully we get out tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, we got bloody lightning now coming in. Oof. I don't know if we had lightning before. This is, uh, what is it, a tropical storm or something? My God. Also, realize we don't have any boards on this window. Let's sort that out. Do a bit of home improvements being as we're stuck in. All right, we've used all of our planks, which is fine. All right, so it looks like the storm subsided, which is nice. It's very good for our cabbage. So I think tomorrow we can actually go up to the uh, that residential area um, to the west up there. So, yeah, we'll, we'll do that tomorrow. But uh, we're not even tired because we've done nothing all day. <laughs> Just stayed inside. Uh, but we're going to have some food uh, and then go to bed, and we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 59. Let's check on the old uh, generator. Um, we got two days worth of fuel. 
Um, let's use the jumbo jerry can to uh, to fill it up. I wonder how much we'll get in there. Quite a bit, I reckon. Actually, what's the health of it as well? 97 condition. That's fine. Oh, 320 percent. This thing holds, so we can fill up three times. And a full generator lasts 10 days. Okay, yeah. So. Uh, well, we got 30 days worth just in this big jerry can, plus probably two in there and one there. So we probably are not going to need a generator for the petrol station. Yeah, we're probably not, but I still want to go and have a look at that residential area. So have a quick look on the map. Um, yeah, we didn't quite get up there, did we? It's, do we have a little look? It's risky, though. It's busy up there. Uh, it's busy. You know what? Yeah, let's 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 do it. Let's do it. Let's go up there. Thing is, as well, I suppose we have a jerry can full of fuel in the car as well. Um, we'll actually fill our car up with that. Uh, a jerry can doesn't actually fill it up that much, but I think the capacity of it is quite high because we did have what half a tank. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't really fill it up a lot, but that's fine. That's fine. Let's go. Uh, yeah, let's go look at what that other blue area is, shall we? It's quite early, 10 to 6 in the morning. Ooh, yeah. And there's a wreck there. Easy does it. I mean, our car is in excellent condition. Oh, look at them all. Good Lord, it is busy around here. All right, we made it through the residential area where I feel the, the big congestion of zombies is going to be. Ah, oh, that's a church. That's completely useless. Now, what are these buildings, though? What's that? I can't tell. I can't tell. Oh, my God, look how many zombies there are. Uh, what's that? Again, I can't really tell. <laughs> and then what is this building? I feel that's the police station. Thing is, this car doesn't really do too well. Oh, look at that construction site. Yeah, this car doesn't really do too well when um, it's running over zombies. Oh, God, look at all of them. No, we're not going that way. Turn around, turn around. Oh, it's, it's very busy up north of the town. I actually want to check the condition of our stuff as well after we've run over a few zombies. It'd be good to know. Okay, so hood is in perfect condition. That's good. That is good. How about the modifications? Oh, wow. So it's still in 100% <laughs> condition. Wow. Oh, oh, no. Trunk protection 98. Oh, we must have reversed in or something. Hood protection 98. What does the bull bar actually do, I wonder? I don't know. Let let me know. I'm not... not. Oh, protects the hood and the headlights. Okay. But then why is the hood protection taking it? I guess it all depends, really. Uh, but that's fine. But I think what we will do is go down to the gas station. Just have a look in there. Get some snacks. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to do for the day. We're going to stay close to home, I think. I'm scared of the north. Andy man, scared of the north. Here's the petty station. A few zombies around. Now, I feel to go up north, we're going to need firearms, definitely. Maybe even the pipe bombs and that could work. Oh, that could be a VHS store, actually, for mechanics mags, uh, VHSs. Ooh. Fair few of them over here. Ah, the bastards have broke that tent. Absolute heathens. Oh yeah, we got VHS as well. This is good. Hopefully we get mechanics. I hear a zombie. Where are you? There you are. Okay, fairly clear in here. Let's uh, let's have a look. Mechanics we need. Please, please, please. The hell, it's all bugs. Some kind of sick joke. They got TVs here and everything. Useless waste of time, Turbo TV. Oh yeah, we love the chips and the choco cakes. Oh yeah, and the cereal. All right, let's have a quick look what's over the road here. Oh, a lot of zombies by the looks of it. Clothing store, not interested. All right, let's get out of here, I think. No, we should have done. Brought the generator down with us and we could have filled the car up. While we're here, let's have a quick look in this factory. We haven't done it yet. Just to see if we can find some chains for our tyres. Ah, oh, it's a baseball bat factory by the looks of it. Yep. Well, good to know there's uh, plenty of baseball bats here. What about in here? This looks like more hardware. Will we ever find chains? Probably not. Or we'll find it on the last day. Ah, uh, the shotgun massacre. Mm, you know what we could do, actually? Where is metal working? We could... Oh, that's what we need welding rods for. We could get a metal fence put up. We're going to need more welding rods. So maybe, maybe we look at that. Because that would be quite nice, actually, around the outside on these bits. I knew they were for something. Oh, we're going to have some food, and then we're probably going to get to bed, I reckon. Ah, right, it's 10 to 11. We're, uh, we're off to bed. See you in the morning. All right, day 60. Wow, we are over halfway. We're probably not going to do a lot today as normally is the way on the last day of the episode just because we've had quite a uh, 
quite an action-packed one today. We've, um, over the last 10 days, we've bloody, you know, we've killed, we've gained a level in shotgun. We've, we've gone crazy, to be fair. We killed a lot of zombies. We're on three, nearly three and a half thousand zombie kills. Let's clear all this grass up. All right, wow, look, we have, oh, is that grass there? Yeah, get out of here, grass. Come on, get out of here. I'm going to keep the, the bushes, um, but we have cleaned the house. Look at our neighbor. Gil Sparkman's house is an absolute mess over there. It's falling apart. Look at the state of it. But ours is lovely and clean. Let's actually pick this up as well. I may clean this out, uh, this along here, but that's, that's out of our boundary. Yeah, I think we do actually try and get the fence going around, or at least a wooden fence maybe. But I like being able to see what's coming at me. Cabbage still isn't quite there yet, but that's fine, that's fine. Let's pick these twigs up. All right, so it's 20 past five. These are now harvestable, but we want to wait till they're seed bearing. So maybe a couple of days. Can we put bloody bars on here? On our windows? I'm sure we can. I don't quite remember how, though. So what I want to do um, is go down to the high street, clear it out. We're going to dismantle the wrecks because I want to uh, work on them some more. Also... We want to go back over to here and get some more ammo. Maybe some 308, maybe some 556, 762. We are going to go back over and ransack it a little bit more. Maybe we do that first before we take on the high street. I don't know. I don't know. Let's um, I'll have a think. I think what we're going to do is take one of these M14s down with us. Uh, yeah, they're in good condition. So let's put one of them on our back. All right, so we've got the M14. We're going to grab some food, and then we're going to go down the high street. I think we're going to shoot off some rounds, try and draw them to us without the shotgun. The M14 should do it, and then we're going to see how uh, how we are from there, really. But we do need some food, first of all. Oh, we will not be going anywhere in this fog. We'll probably wait till it um, subsides, I think. We parked the car here. It's not too close to the high street, so we can retreat if we need to. Uh, we got our first group of candidates down here. Let's, uh, let's go to town and show them what we're all about. We got some in this building here, so we've got to be careful of them bursting out. And that one there as well, by the looks of it. Oh, a lot in there. That's good, because we don't want them sneaking up on us when we're down in the high street blasting, do we? All right, we got quite a lot around us. I think this is a good good location to start shooting, I think. We don't have a scope on the rifle, so that probably will affect us. But um, let's just give it a go anyway. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. There is a lot. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, my. Level 4 aiming really is uh, it is okay. We're, we're definitely killing them with it. It's not bad. Oh, my God. Look at them all. I'm going to need a bigger gun. Right, let's get out of here, I think. Um, yeah, we need to reassess. Let's go home for the day. We'll come back. They should have dispersed by then, so that's what we're going to do. Maybe we need more mags as well. All right, so I've reloaded. It looks like we've actually got a scope on one of these guns over here. So which one is it? Uh, yes, it's this one. Let's remove that, and we'll pop that on our M14. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, look at that. Nice. Cabbage is still on seed bearing, but I think in a couple of days they will be. So that's good because then we'll have a very nice, sustainable um, source of food, which is good. Let's go and make sure um, none of these zombies followed us home. No, it looks pretty clear. Okay, so we are getting tired, so we're probably just going to hang around base today. And then tomorrow we're heading back into the high street. All right, so it's 20 past 12. We are, uh, sorry, 20 past 11. We are quite hungry. What kind of food do we have? We need cabbage. We need low calorie stuff. Oh, we got a load of tin stuff in here. Okay, okay, yeah. Let's open up these beans. All right, but we're going to go to bed, and we'll uh, we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 62. We are over overweight, over-encumbered, which isn't good, but I think it's fine. I mean, what is it? Is it the beans that's doing it, all these tins? Oh, it's probably the ammo and the guns we've got, but you know what? It, it is what it is. It is what it is, so what are you going to do about it? Mm, still not seed-bearing, but that's fine. That's fine. How is our weight looking? 81 dropping. That's fine. Fine. Once we drop a couple more, yeah. Once we drop another pound, then we should be uh, we should be okay to start eating whatever the hell we want. We're gonna go back down. Let's have a quite a, a coca cake. Cause why the hell not? Andy Manny deserves a treat. You know, he's bloody killed three and a half thousand zombies. So yeah, he can he can have what the hell he wants. Uh, we got more mags. We got more ammo. We're probably gonna go back down there. Cause what I also want to do on the high street as well. Looks like there's some wrecks down there. So I want to dismantle them. How is our propane torch? Yeah, it's full. So that's fine. Um, so yeah, let's just crack on back down there uh, and try and clear some more of these zombies out. 
Oh wow, okay, we got zombies here already. <laughs> Let's get in the car park where it's open. Ah, oh, maintenance up a level. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, it looks like we stirred the hornet's nest a little bit by firing down there because all these zombies, this area was clear before. All right, well, we can make our way down, I think. Yeah, there's a lot of them around here now as well. Oh, looks like a zombie killing day. I mean, it's not a bad thing. Look at this guy just banging his head on the side of the door. Hey, buddy, come on. Now, nah, let's put him out. Oh, he's coming for us. All right, we got a load of them here. And um, these are the ones that have come from the high street, I think. Let's try and melee them, I think. Just so we don't draw them out. Because I don't we're a bit close to the car, so I want to get a bit further into the high street before we start blasting again. Oh, still a load more down here as well. That's fine, that's fine. We got this, we got this. Oh, we are getting exhausted as well. That's not good. Let's get back to the car. Let's rest in the car, I think. Yeah, wow. We didn't know we'd get... I mean, we are overweight now. That's probably it. You know, well, we're encumbered. That's probably what's uh, tiring us out. All right, we should be fine now. We've rested a little bit. Let's use the old uh, machete still, I think, though. Yeah, heavy load we've got. It's all the ammo we're carrying and the mags. All right, let's push on down a bit, I think. All right, so we're at the massacre. Let's massacre... 2.0 location. I can hear zombies. I don't know where they are though. But let's uh, keep going down. Now that we've got the scope on the rifle as well, that should be should help us with the range. So we, you know, it's it's really good because we can stand probably a block away and, and blast them, which is uh, going to be handy. All right, let's start blasting. I think. Um, so the four times doesn't really add too much range. Oh god, they're coming again. They're coming. They're coming out of everywhere. Ah, this gun is jamming so much. Gonna have to look at swapping it out, I think. Should be okay up here for shooting, actually, because we brought the bloody shotgun out not long ago. Oh, we are, uh, we're getting through them, all right. Whew, well, we've cleared a lot of them out. We are actually at nine mil rounds, which isn't good. So we're going to have to use the rifle for the rest of the day, I think. But it's not, you know, it's not horrendous. Well, we was on about, what, 3,000 kills? What are we on now? Uh, oh, so we killed, like, maybe 200. Three and a half, weren't we? Yeah, so 3,800. 3, so, yeah. We won't be driving down here, that's for sure, with all these corpses. We'll wait until they've uh, decomposed, I think. How's our aiming going up? A little bit, a little bit. That's not bad. Yeah, there's only a few stragglers kicking around now. Oh, we got some coming around here. Well, it looks like we've pretty much uh, cleared this this road out anyway. Oh, I see all the wrecks there. That's nice. That is nice. Yeah, let's go back. We're gonna yeah, we're gonna start getting tired soon. So we'll head back, we'll rest up at base. Ah, the safety of the wagon. <laughs> Armor protector, nothing's getting us in here. Yeah, the M14's a really nice gun actually. Durability's still strong after we killed so many, and uh, you know, it's a 20 round mag as well, which is really nice. Ah, back home after a day of sniping zombies. What what more could you ask for in the zombie apocalypse? We are gonna get rid of this this pistol because it is in terrible condition. Oh, we got a brand new one. I mean, they the M9s, they always seem to just die really easy. The 1911s are really good for durability, I found. But the only thing I found, though, is that they don't have many rounds in the magazine, do they? They have, what, seven rounds in there, which isn't ideal. How many 9mm have we got? Okay, so we got a hell of a lot of 9mm, so that's fine. Let's take a couple of boxes. We'll take, uh, take three boxes, put them in a satchel. Mm, we don't have many 308 left. We've only got two boxes, which isn't ideal. We're going to have to do another run and stock up on our ammo, I think, from the uh, construction of the uh, industrial area there. Oh, we got seed bearing. Ah, oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay, so we'll harvest them tomorrow. We'll have a base day tomorrow. We'll harvest them tomorrow, redig the furrows uh, and everything like that, I think. All right, it's 10 to 12. We're going to hit the hay. I mean, do uh, is it the magazines that's weighing us down? What do they weigh? Ah, uh, they do weigh... A little bit. Let's put two of them back, I think. Do we really need four magazines? Okay, that has lightened it a load. Fairly heavy load. Okay, we can, we can manage that. We can manage that. But uh, yeah, let's have a smoke and then we're going to bed. Uh, we'll see you in the morning.
All right, day 63. We got a, a lot to do today. We're going to have a base day. Maybe we tidy upstairs. I don't know. Maybe we smash some walls down. I don't know. I don't know. But what we are going to do, most certainly, is get this cabbage going in our freezer, in our fridge, and uh, dig the furrows for when it rains again to replant it. So let's crack on. Oh, we got a level in farming. Nice. All right, so we harvested. We got 49 cabbage. <laughs> wow. That may even do us. We might even be able to fit it all in here. Not a plant. Um, okay. Oh, it's because I still got the uh, um, harvest <laughs> up. Oh yeah, we got cabbage. We got cabbage, baby. That's what I like to see. We've we've completed it. Well, we've completed. It. What's the point of even going to day hundred? We've done it. We've got cabbage. All right. What we're also gonna do is just go around the neighborhood. I don't think we've got any, but look for a bowl. Oh, if you've been with the channel a while, you remember the uh, the look at the bowl hunt of uh, Rosewood <laughs> with the John Wick playthrough. But yeah, we'll go around the neighborhood, look for a bowl. I mean, we might even be able to craft one actually with some planks. Let's have a look. Uh, yes, we can. Perfect, perfect. Now we can only do cabbage salad. So three slices of cabbage, and it doesn't give you any de uh, debuffs. If you add four, it will give you the unhappiness debuff for some unknown reason, but yeah. But we're still going to go around the neighborhood and just make sure it's secure with all the activity and all the gunfire we've been doing lately. Be good to see, especially down the south side, see if we've attracted any uh, of the locals. Mm, looks all clear. So yeah, we'll just uh, we'll kick around. We need to fill our water up as well. We'll also check the generator. Uh, we've still got six days on the generator, which is really nice, actually. All right, so it's 8 p.m. Time to have some dinner. Let's have a nice, lovely cabbage salad. Look at that. Oh, three slices in that. Lovely stuff. Hunger, 36. First 15. That is nice. That is nice. We're stuffed. We're stuffed with cabbage. Oh, wait, it's dropping. But we got plenty of stuff to keep our calories up if we need to. All right, well, it's 10 to 12. We're going to get a bed. And tomorrow, we're going to go back to the uh, the factory, the gun factory. Stock up on some and look at some guns because there is some other place I want to check out down there. But uh, we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 64. Let's uh, make a salad up. We'll eat a salad, make a salad. And then we're, uh, we're going down to the factory. Put these mushrooms away as well because we don't need no... We don't need no scrub mushrooms anymore. Get the hell out of here. We got cabbage. Get out of it. Okay, we're all cabbaged up. Do we need the rifle? I don't think so. We're going to leave the rifle here just to save our weight because we're going to be carrying a lot of uh, a lot of ammo with us. So let's just dump that there. We'll keep the pistol just in case, but that's all there for us to pick up the next time we're, 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 when we get home. At uh, 20 to 7, we woke up. Well, about half 6, so that's not a horrendous time. Oh, the first massacre. What a bloodbath this was. All right, so we've got some zombies here. We're also going to clear these wrecks as well for the metal working. Oh, my God. He's got a suppressed MP5, I think, or an MP5 anyway. All right, what well, we got? What well, we got? I don't think it's a suppressed one. No, it's not. It's just an MP5, but we would definitely take that. Thank you very much, sir. That's nice. That's nice. I wanted more guns, um, so that's good. Right, let's start dismantling this kind of stuff. Done these outside. Um, hasn't really given us a lot, but well, it is what it is. We'll finally get rid of that ambulance as well. Oh, look at that. That's interesting. Anything in the back here? Oh, it's locked. Let's let's try and get in that. I don't think it's going to be in very good uh, condition, to be honest. Uh, no, completely trashed. But we can have a look in the boot. There may be some army supplies in there. I don't know if these vehicles have a chance to spawn any army stuff. Ah, uh, hunting knife. Now you're okay. <laughs> we ain't doing short blade in this run. Oh, so we've dismounted a lot of cars. We have got a little bit of amount of work in XP. I don't think it'll be that hard to get us to level six. So it's definitely on the cards. Ah, oh, right, propane. Mm, that's annoying. We can't actually dismantle that many with a tank of, uh, with a tor one torch full of fuel. I think this, oh, look at all these zombies. Okay, let's, uh, let's deal with this. Oh, that's quite, oh, okay, okay. Let's, uh, let's play this safe. All right, I think this building had the fences in this building down here, wasn't it? So we're going to check that out. Yeah, there they are, there they are. Let's kill the zombies and we'll bring the car down with the sledgehammer. Oh, hello there. Well, there's definitely a lot of uh, military personnel. And that makes sense if they're, uh, you know, guarding all these firearms. Yeah, I want to go around the perimeter just to make sure it's safe. Like this horde here, that is not safe. Going in the confined spaces like that. We will find a good condition military coat. Ah, the machete's broke. One of them. Okay, we still have another one. That's fine. Oh, we're getting tired. Okay. Um, okay, let's get back to the car, I think. All right, let's drive away, and then we'll come back. Oh, a Nomad. Oh, we need that backpack. That's the best backpack in the game. Uh, yeah, let's, it's worth the rest. Let's do it. Let's do it. 
Oh yes, look at all this good stuff. Let's have it, let's have it. We'll sort the backpack out back at base when we get there. Right, let's go back. Ah oh, yes, we got a well, yes, we got a jacket. We got a jacket in good condition. Amazing. Okay. All right, let's go down there because I think there was a zombie with an M16 down there I killed as well. So I do want to grab that. Load in the bushes here as well, you bastards. Can't actually remember where I killed him. I think it was a bit further down this road here. Might have been this guy here, possibly. It does look like he's got a gun on him. Um, yes, M16 in pretty good condition as well. Bloody hell, they're everywhere. Got to be careful because we can't jump over these fences. Let's bring them out into the open. Oh, here they come. This lady down here had another M16 on her. Uh, not amazing condition, but we could repair it into one, which is nice. All right, looks clear-ish. Let's go in here and clear these bastards out. All right, we're in. Oh, that looks like a lot of zombies through there, doesn't there? Let's give it a shout, see what we can do. Let's remove this glass in case we need to make a quick getaway. Okay, the banging stopped, so I'm thinking maybe we're okay. Well, that's how you get killed in Project Zomboid thinking that, so let's be careful here. Okay, makes me think there's some kind of armory behind there because it's all gated off, which is very interesting. We want to get in there. Hopefully there's guns in there. They're all probably going to start getting tired soon. Any of these zombies got a key on them? Oh, yes, they do. Look at that. Bloody hell, that is lucky. Oh, yes. Thank you very much. We are in. We are in. Oh, wow. It's just bloody building stuff. Look. Oh, my God. Oh, welding rods we need for something. I can't really remember what, but... Oh, to make metal fences and stuff, don't we? We may look at doing that, actually. Oh, wow. There is uh, not a lot in here, is there? <laughs> um, probably not even worth coming in here. It was definitely not worth the all the slaying. That, that looks like a shooting range. Yeah, look, it's a little shooting range. That's cool. Oh, I like that. That's really cool, actually. Yeah, look. Pew, pew, pew. Uh, oh, God, we're tired. Okay, right. Well, we need to get out of here for today. It wasn't really any good. It was a bit of a bust, but at least we know now. If you're watching, you don't really need to come into this building if you go into uh, St. Paolo's Hammer. I suffer, so you don't have to. All right, yeah, let's get back. We need to do... We'll probably have another base day sorting out our new jacket, our new bag, our rifles. Um, no, we're not going to tangle with these. Uh, and then tomorrow we'll come back and go in the, in the where we know there's ammo. Stock up on what well, we need five five six now. We've got M16s. So yeah, let's uh let's get back. Alright, we're back home. One thing we are gonna do as soon as we get in is put the spiffo cup somewhere. Gotta put the spiffo, gotta love the spiffo. Actually, maybe we put it on the shelf here. Can we get it on there? Will it go on there? Oh, it will. Look at that. Oh yeah, spiffo baby. Oh, we got rain outside. That is nice. So we can get the cabbage seeds planted, which is nice. That's what I like to do. I like to wait until it rains and then you ain't got to mess around water in it. There we go. Cabbage is planted, which is nice. Um, I think we'll, uh, yeah, we'll probably be all right for food now for the, uh, the whole, I mean, we'd probably have been all right anyway, to be honest, but I like to know it's there if I need it. All right, it's half past 11. We're going to go to bed and tomorrow, yeah, sorting out the new backpack and the um, new jacket we got. So we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 65. We still got rain outside by the looks of it, which is nice, nice, nice for the crops. Let's go down and, uh, yeah, sort out our backpacks, sort out these M6, sort out the guns. We got a lot of sorting to do, a lot of sorting. So let's get cracking. All right, we have the Nomad backpack on, which is looking pretty sick, if I do say so. Look at that. Look at that. That is nice. It's got a lot of space, a lot of uh, capacity. Um, oh, we don't have a lot of leather strips left. We may have to go find some more, but let's sort out the jacket as well. Oh, no, we need one more leather strip. Okay, uh, well, we can actually take them off of our current jacket, can't we? Oh, goodbye, prepper. Goodbye. All right, we got that sorted as well. Nice. We're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good. I won't lie. I will not lie. This doesn't stop our movement speed, does it? Oh, it does. It does. Hmm interesting hmm. well we don't have any leather strips on our prepper jacket so we're gonna have to wear it for the time being i suppose also repair our machete we need to fill the propane tank up we got a torch we got a lot to do a lot to do oh god the propane tank's empty as well it's all going on my god oh, we need a bit of scrap metal so let's grab one of them and then we should be able to yeah repair look 65 percent. that is nice we also need to move some more cabbage into the fridge because we are getting through it quite quickly right now let's look at these guns so the submachine gun um the mp5 have we got any mp5 mags or just the one hopefully uh no we do not we do not 
Okay, we might have to put it on the back burner then. It's got mag in it, but ideally we need another one. Uh, the M16. Uh, do we have any? Yeah, we do have a mag for the M16. And this has... Okay, and this has mags in it. So let's actually take one out. Pop it there on the box. There we go. Lovely stuff. And yeah, we'll put them in there for now, I think. We do need another MP5 mag. And then we'll probably use that instead of a pistol. Definitely think there's more guns to be had down there. And really feel that run speed from the clothing, I think. Yeah, we're going to keep an eye out for leather. And we're going to put the prepper back on once, uh, once we have the leather to put the patches on. How is our tailoring, actually? Yeah, maybe we start just making Fred from Dead Zombies, I think, possibly. Crops are looking good. They're having a good old water, which is really nice. We're going to go to bed, and tomorrow we're going back down to the factory area. So we'll see you uh, in the morning. All right, day 66. We've awoken at, well, half past three. That's not ideal. Um, I don't want to go down there in, in the dark. So we'll probably, we'll have some high-calorie food. Probably hang around base for an hour or two and then we'll head head back down there. All right, so it's starting to get light. It's six in the morning. I think this will be fine to go down there. So let's uh, let's get a shimmy on. You know what? We may as well dismantle these cars here as well. Because it is helping our metal working skills. So I think we're going to do that. What is our metal working skill anyway? Um, okay, so it's getting there. Uh, slowly but surely. Oh, wow. There's a lot of zombies up there. Let's, let's deal with them. You know, any nasty surprises sneaking up behind us while we're looting all that glorious ammo. Alright, so we've dismounted a lot of cars around here. I think it's probably safe to go in. There's only this guy banging by the looks of it. Let's deal with him. Get out of it! Right, we need ammo, mags. We need a lot, so let's get to it. Alright, well we have got so much ammo, so many magazines. We've also picked up a Mini 14, which I want to give a go. Um, but we found no MP5 magazines, which... Uh, it's a bit of a shame, but, you know, it is what it is. Of all these crates, there is no MP4. We've got AK-47 magazines. We've got so much ammo. I've already done a run from the car as well. So we've definitely got uh, enough to last us, I think. We may come back up and check out the other one, but we've pretty much got an, an unlimited amount. Look at all these. 10, 20, 12. Uh, we are, we got ammo for days. We was up fairly early, so we're going to head back. So we probably will be getting tired soon. All right, so we're home. Yeah, we are tired already. It's only 20 past 10. Uh, sorry, 10 past 2. What the hell am I on about? Um, but let's grab all of this stuff. I'm just going to drop it on the floor for now. We're going to sort it tomorrow. So I think I'm going to try out the Mini 14. What a bloody haul, though. Look at it all. Just look at it. All this ammo. My God, we ain't going to have enough crates. I know we're not. I know we're not. We're going to go to bed. Tomorrow's going to be another sorting day, I think. And then we're going to test out the, M4, uh, the Mini 14. But we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 67. We've woken up at half past nine. He's had a good old sleep. He didn't go to bed till about half 11. Old Andy, man, he's uh, he's had a well-deserved line. He needs it after hauling all that bloody ammo around. But yeah, it's going to be a, it's going to be a sorting day today. Let's have a look at this Mini 14 first of all. Let's attach that to our back. Okay, so we've tidied up. We've loaded the magazines. We've got honors. Let's have a look. How many rounds? We've got 340. I've taken off our pistol and we've got the Mini 14. So I want to check it out. Won't be today. We're going to chill around a base because, well, I don't want to risk getting tired down there. And Oh, what the hell? Well, how have we got a bit of scrap wood there? We need to get rid of this. Oh, God, we still got a load of ammo in our bag as well. Right, let's get rid of that as well. Just realized we still got bloody ammo everywhere. Get out of it. Come on, we got these 9 mil we don't really need on us. Also got the scrap wood as well so we can get rid of because... Uh, is there any zombies out here? No, let's put it in the bin out back because that could actually make a... Big difference to our carry load, you know. All right, it's 10 past 12. We're going to eat some cereal to get them calories up a little bit more. Yeah, we'll test out the M14 down the high street and hopefully kill ourselves some bloody zombies. See you in the morning. All right, day 68, 20 past 7. Nice time to wake up. Nice time indeed. We're going to uh, make our salad before we fill our canteens up so we don't fill the water bowl up. Uh, it's just easier. Let's chop this lovely, lovely cabbage salad. All right, let's go... Uh, Let's go test out the rifle down in the high street. Come on, you bastards. Let's be having you. Park here so we can retreat if we need to. Actually, maybe move the car to a better position than facing trees. All right, let's test out this bad boy. We don't have a scope on it, so I don't know what the range is going to be like. And I don't know if it's going to be any good than the other rifle, than the M14. Um, so it's a mini M14, so I'm guessing it's for closer range, possibly. Does look pretty cool, though. All the corpses have gone, which is very nice. Uh, saves on the lag. Oh, oh, we got a candidate right here. Um, okay, range isn't amazing, but that's fine. Sounds pretty loud, to be honest. Drawing them from down here. Ah, uh, not this guy over here, though. Only this lady, by the looks of it. 
Oh, it's pretty good, it's pretty good. The durability's good on it, then that's that's fine. So the other rifle durability was really good. It's got a nice fud to it though when it fires. It doesn't look like the sound sound radius is that large either. A lot of wrecks here that we can dismantle though. I like this rifle. I like it. It's doing as uh it's doing as well. We uh we own this damn town now. <laughs> and you know what? We may as well use guns because we got so much bloody ammo. Fair few zombies over here by the looks. Let's get the rifle out. Oh yeah, here they come now. They're all in these buildings. Look at them. Holiday makers. Oh, look at them all in there. Oh, there's a lot. Oh, look at them all pouring out. Oh, my God, there's so many in there. Oh, my God, look at that. Jeez. Oh, God, there's loads. Oh, my God. We found the mother load. Um, four, nearly four and a half thousand. Wow, okay. Um, right, let's... Uh, oh, God, they're still coming. I think maybe we head home in a second. Yeah, let's uh, let's head home. All right, so we got home safe and sound. Let's sort our mags out. All right, it's ten past ten. We're gonna. Uh, how's our weight looking? Eighty-three. Okay, so yeah, we're back back to the cabbages, but we'll probably not eat tonight. We're gonna go to bed. I think the next couple of days we're probably gonna chill uh, around base. I think, but I, I don't know yet. I don't know. I'll see how I feel in the morning. But uh, well, we'll see you in the morning. All right, day sixty-nine. Nice. Yeah, we're gonna uh, we're gonna have some cabbage, cabbage salad. Probably, um, yeah, probably hang around base. We don't want to risk it. We've had a good run these last ten days. Um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So let's crack on. We're making some uh, lovely, lovely salad. Oh no, it's actually giving us two chevrons. Okay, we got to work off this. Uh, I think we're gonna do laps around the house to work off this weight. We do not want to get overweight. Just uh, don't mind us zombies. We're just doing laps. You know, you got to keep on your fitness game. Maybe we do. I uh, don't want to do any working out because then we will we'll be slow. Ah, oh, the chevrons have gone. So let's still do a couple of laps so we get tired. We're going to have to starve him for a little bit, I think. Sorry, Andy, man. Well, we're uh, we're doing laps still. <laughs> we haven't been doing them all day. Um, 83. Yeah, we've got we to gotta watch that we got to watch it. We don't want to get overweight. All right, it's 10 past 11. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. Well, whew, day 70 tomorrow. We're nearly, we're nearly done the 100 days. We're going to assess what, what we got left to do tomorrow, I think, as well. But we'll, uh, we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 70. I have noticed in the night the generator has run out of fuel, uh, which isn't good. Or is it broken? Let's have a look. Uh, no, it's out of fuel. So let's... Um, Come on, let me add fuel. Add jerry can. Yeah, there we go. So no, we don't want the cabbage. We do not want the cabbage uh, rotting. <laughs> that is the last thing we really want. Oh, I think we're starving as well. Are we starving? No, we're very hungry. That's fine. Uh, let's go check on the cabbage. Yeah, I'd want to stay around base while we're trying to manage our weight anyway, I think. So a couple of days around base ain't going to hurt us. Um, oh, it's fresh, so that's fine. Uh, we are getting through these cabbages, aren't we? Bloody hell, how are these looking out here? These are nowhere near done. Uh, that's going to be an issue. Hmm. But uh, I'm sure I'm sure we'll figure it out. Andy Manny's a very resourceful uh, resourceful guy. Let's maybe do some laps. No zombies around the perimeter, which is always nice. Again, a bit of overgrownness coming on, though, which uh, isn't so nice. Our garden's still looking nice and fresh. <gasps> I can see. I can see some grass that's grown. We we cannot have that. What will the neighbours think? We got some trees growing, which uh, oh, I'm not not, not going to complain about. Actually, it's wood if we need it. Uh, looks like we got most of the grass. That's nice. Happy days. I hope this hurries up. I think we got what another few days easy. Maybe another week. I don't know. Okay, so let's have a look what our next mission is. We're going to go up here. What what was this up here? I cannot remember what the hell this was. Um, hmm. I I don't know. But we're going to go up there anyway. I think. Oh, what the hell was it? Cannot remember, but yeah, we'll probably go up here with the with the mini fourteen because it seems pretty good. We'll blow blow some zombies away up here. Want to get down to this? I don't know what this is. Could be a hospital. No, it's not a hospital. That's the hospital. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe check out these. We got a lot to do. Then maybe this turns into a two hundred days. I don't know. I think what we're gonna do is try and push up to this area and clear it out a little bit. Take the old mini 14 up there and start blasting fools. Uh, we are a little bit hungry. I do want to starve ourselves because we're 83 weight. So we're gonna be eating stuff like, I suppose pineapple's okay. See how that 
does. Um, let's just um, get that in our gob. So it's made us, yeah, it's taking a hunger away. It's not giving us calories. So that's good. That's good. It's a decent time we woke up. We'll fill all of our stuff up. We'll head on down, I think. Get right into the action. That way as well, we can assess what it's like down there. And we can, you know, fire a few shots, leave it for a couple of days. All right, so we parked a little way away because in case it gets a little bit uh, a little bit tasty and we need to uh, escape, the zombies are already coming over to us and I feel they could be running out of these houses as well. So we'll use the baton for a bit. All right, let's get the uh, the rifle out, I think, and stop blasting. Yeah, it's not very good range on the uh, Mini 14, but you know what? It's, uh, it's a good gun, I think. We've got a few coming down to us. Looks so like we got this school. We never actually went in this school, did we? Maybe we check that out. All right, we got a fair few coming on over now, which is uh, which is good, I suppose. Get some tours. We're nice and uh, safe in the open. Well, safe fish in the open air. Oh, we got a stalker. We got a stalker. They got good armor. Let's let's draw them. Look at the hair. We'll draw them over to us, and we may take their armor if it's in good condition. Nice tree, yeah, all in good condition by the looks. Oh, look at that, perfect. Perfect. And our baton's nearly uh, nearly done for, so we might switch to a hammer. All right, let's go and have a look how many more are up here. Hopefully not that many, to be honest. Let's also go have a little look in this um, school as well. Find out what it is. There might be something in there. Yeah, I definitely think the Mini 14 has a smaller sound radius than the other rifles, because we was blasting around here, and we got a few, but not... You know, crazy amounts. All right, we're in, we're in. Yeah, it's definitely a school. No, the baton, it's gone, it's gone. God damn it. Okay, let's uh, let's put the, let's use the hammer. Uh, so we got a soccer pitch. Oh, we would call it a football pitch, but uh, yeah, soccer. All right, let's get out of here. It's a bit too, a uh, bit too claustrophobic for me, to be honest. Do we need any other magazines? I don't really think so, you know. This guy just hiding in the corner there. Come on, lady. All right, let's push on now. Let's have a look. Let's bring the old mappage up, see how we're looking. So, yeah, maybe we, uh, maybe we, ooh, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe we drive down to the hospital and get, get all them zombies coming over to us. All right, we got some coming over after we fired the rifle. So hopefully that'll bring them towards us. They can come to us this time. Oh, we got a policeman. Did they have a baton on them? No, they didn't. Okay, that's fine. Oh, well, we definitely uh, cleared out a lot of them. I think maybe we head back for the day and sort out our new store. Oh, we need leather. We need leather. Okay, that's what we got to do. So he's going to get rid of this jacket anyway, won't we? Right, we need to go through the bodies and find leather. Surely we've killed enough zombies with leather on them. Do you know what? I don't think we actually have, to be fair. Um, well, that is not good. We do have four strips, but that, that isn't going to be enough, is it, really? Oh, I think we got another one over here. Yeah, we'll start getting tired. We've got a few bits. We've got about 14, 15 bits. We'll go back to base, see what we can do with that tomorrow. If not, we'll go down to the... Um, east uh, to the high street where we was yesterday and i mean there's plenty of zombies down there i'm sure they'll have leather on them all right it's half past 10 we're going to go to bed tomorrow we're going to sort out the new equipment um also fill our propane torch up uh, and maybe go look, look for some leather that could be on the cars but uh, we'll see you in the morning all right day 72 let's have a look at this does it hinder us at all no it doesn't let's see if it's better than the prepper stuff the trousers are so what the trousers 25 35 let's have a quick look 15 25 so yeah they are quite a bit better so i'm gonna hazard a guess and say the top is 40 60 yes a hell of a lot better so we can actually take the strips uh, oh we've got some in here haven't we we've got one in here we will keep all of them because well why the hell not uh, oh wow, we are, uh, yeah, no pants gang, and look at them socks, look how dirty we are, maybe we should have a wash as well. Alright, we've got the stalker jacket, let's pop that on, let's have a look how good it looks, oh yeah, it does look good, we can also take the strips off of this as well. Oh yeah, we're rocking, I think I'm going to keep these, uh, these desert boots on actually, I quite like that, I quite like the look of that together. Especially with the leather strips, it kind of matches. Oh, it does look good with the cloak, but then, what, what, you know, what? How, what are we going to do if we need to dismantle anything? I mean, we could put it on our backpack. We could add a utility slot to it and add it. Yeah, let's... Ah, oh, but then it's just more weight we're carrying. But it does look bloody cool with this uh, cloak on. Now, nah, safety first. Safety first. I'm also thinking, do we take an M14? Because it's got 
better range with the scope on maybe um, now let's keep the mini for a little bit i like the mini all right it's 11 o'clock we've washed ourselves we're having some uh canned pineapple then i think we're gonna go to bed and tomorrow what we're gonna do we're gonna go down and look at this area i want to see what this is this blue building and this here this could be a little police station i don't know but i want to i want to see them and mark them off and then we're going to look at some other places up here so uh yeah we'll see you in the morning all right day 73 oh where the hell am i going not in there day 73 let's get some food we've got plenty of ammo we got another machete on us well it's probably fine but we'll fill up anyway and we'll go down and look at them uh them blue buildings to the south there all right we're having a cabbage salad because we do have quite a bit in there more than i uh realized actually in the fr in the freezer and <laughs> we've got a uh, quite a bit in there so we don't really need to worry um and it should yeah we're still dropping weight which is good maybe we take one with us just for uh just for good luck Let's, uh, let's get down there and see what our buildings are. All right, so we're at the gas station. I don't think we've actually ever been south of this, have we? Oh, the zombies have come back to the gas station. That's fine, though. Oh, we're on the highway here. Uncharted territory. Right, we didn't draw that many zombies over to us, so that's a good start. We're going to get all dirty again after we just cleaned ourselves. But that's, that's the way it is in a zombie apocalypse. Well, that's a fair few of them cleared out. We've still got a few more over here by this building, by the looks of it. But I'm sure we'll make a short work of them bastards. What is it? Oh, we've got a place for now. We might be able to get a baton off of her. Um, no, no baton. Ah, oh, it's a bloody restaurant. All right. Oh, we got another nomad. Um, what they got on them? Oh, it's just their hair clipping through. Okay, well, see you later. We don't really need anything else off of you. We've got a... Uh, Actually, what else do you have? Uh, we'll take your cereal and your sardines, actually. Uh, I think this is this is too big to be a restaurant, isn't it? It's got to be something. I think it's actually a motel. <laughs> oh, we might be able to get some batons from in here, maybe. And five policemen. Surely one of them's got one. Yes, we got a nightstick. Get in. That is nice. <gasps> Oh, 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 look at this. Look at this. This is what we wanted all along. Wow, brilliant. Not a suppressed one, but I don't mind. I'll take it. Mm, just a shotgun in there, one of some shells. Don't really need that. Yeah, I think this is a motel, so not amazing find. But yeah, so blue must be leisure then. Light blue must be leisure. Oh, we do have a lot of bloody zombies in here, though. Let's deal with them, jokers. Yeah, we could probably mark this off as done because we don't really need a motel. Maybe if we wanted to do some carpentry to get our levels up, but nah. We will go on over to this building here, though, because this could be a police station. Nope, looks like it's a uh, bus depot. <laughs> well, at least we've been down here now. We've explored it. Let's also mark that off the map as well, I think. Well, a bloody good haul, I'd say. It was worth coming down here just for uh, just for the good quality MP5. Um, we're definitely going to use that, I think. All right, we're back home. Anything in the boot? Nope, that's fine. We're going to sort our, our uh, ill-gotten gains out. Ah, we need we need another crate. We, we need another crate for ammo. God damn it. All right, 20 past uh, 11. We're going to go to bed. Tomorrow, we're going to explore some more areas, I think. But we'll, uh, we'll see you then. All right, day 74. Today, I think what we're going to do... Yeah, we're going to push up here. We're going to push up the high street, I think, and have a look at this blue building. Kill some zombies on the way. But more importantly, test out the mp5 so i'm looking forward to this look it's even got a flashlight you can get a suppressed version of this but we don't have it we just have the standard one so it is what it is we'll get some salad get some cabbage salad for breakfast and take one with us and then we're uh, we're good to go what is our weight actually um 81 dropping that's fine so when we get to like 79 we'll look at you know maybe increasing some calories uh but until then we're uh we're happy days oh no cabbage is stale no Oh no, we don't have any more in the fridge. All right, let's get to it. Still on the lookout for a generator. I don't think we're going to find one, to be honest, but I'm not too worried. I mean, we've, we've got plenty of fuel. We, you know, we've hardly used any in the last, what, 10, 15 days. Got a few zombies here. Oh, we got quite... Oh, this is where we was, wasn't it? Um, The other day. Okay, let's uh, let's park up here. Let's try to test out the MP5 on these bastards. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Looks like it's better closer range, one shot killer, which is fine. That's what we're kind of going to use it for. Nice 30 round mag as well. That is really nice. Durability is not the best though. 
pretty good. Pretty good, I won't lie. I like it. I like it. Yeah, we may not even need uh, to increase our mechanics because, I mean, our engine is absolutely fine. We may look at the tires when we get back to base, actually, because they have probably had a beating. Right, I think we just power on through, you know, up here, see what we got. There's a lot of zombies because they all burst out that door. There is a lot of zombies and a lot of wrecks, actually. All right, so we've made it up. It is very busy here. I'm not too sure what the plan is. Park over here. We should be okay. Don't really want to use the gun. I think that's a bit too risky. We got bowlers because there is a bowling alley. That is a bowling alley. So maybe we check that out as well. Yeah, that is a police station. Okay, let's get in there. We could have batons for days. Well, I suppose it's actually called a nightstick in the game, isn't it? But I prefer baton. So yeah, nice suppressed weapon is what we're actually looking for in here. Actually got another nightstick as well. And it looks like this guy's got one on him as well. So we'll be having that. Thank you very much, sir. All right, we are in. Doesn't look too busy. Got a zombie over here banging around. Oh, okay. Oh, we got a key. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, it looks okay. Uh, we just gotta be careful. All right, so we're in the armory. Um, there's ammo, which we don't really need. We got plenty of ammo. We'll take the uh, the nine millimeter being as we're here though. Why the hell not? No, there is not a lot here at all. Well, there's ammo, but like I said, we don't really need ammo. Maybe spend the night in the cells. Uh, nah, maybe not. <laughs> well, there wasn't really a lot in there, was there? Let's go and have a look at these buildings up here, because I kind of let's like, let's mark this off actually first, so I don't forget. And it looks like we got some kind of leisure centre there. That's government. So hmm, yeah, I don't know about that. Let's go and have a look at this bowling alley. I think. Oh, we got a lot of zombies. Actually, shall we get the? Let's get the MP5 out. Why the hell not? Let's risk it. That was very impulsive. I don't know if that was the right idea. Oh god, they're coming from where the car is. Oh god, they are. What have we done? Let's try. Let me refresh my memory what these blue things are up here. Maybe like... I don't actually know. I really don't know. Oh god, look at them all. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, let's get out of here. Oh god, I'm hitting stuff. This ain't good, this ain't good. Get off the road, get off the grass. I mean, the car is durable with the bull bar and everything on, but still... Oh my god, look at them all! Oh yeah, we do need a smoke after that, bloody hell. Oh, home sweet home. <laughs> Hood's still at 94%, so that is good. What about the rest of the stuff? So yeah, we hit a few zombies, but we're still we're still golden. All right, it's uh, 20 past 10, we're gonna get a bed tomorrow. We may just hang around base after that scare. Um, I don't know if my heart can take it, to be honest, but we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 75. We are good. We are very hungry. So uh, our cabbage out there has, still hasn't grown. But our cabbage in the fridge will have defrosted, which is good. I'm thinking we go up uh, up behind this area here. Maybe with the, with the rifle with an eight times and just blast with the M14, possibly. That could be the play here, I think. But today, we're going to chill. Take stock of our guns and ammo. And go from there really all right so we've tidied the front of the lawn up looks like we've got grass growing back over here so we're actually going to deal with that because i hate the grass what would the neighbors think all right it's 20 it's half past 11 we're going to go to bed um we all have we do have a heavy load and i think it's all the ammo we got i mean do we need i mean, we probably do need 243 rounds to be fair so we're gonna have to keep an eye on that maybe maybe we leave the maybe we leave the propane torch here for the time being is that even going to bring us down we're still heavy load what can we get rid of i don't know we'll figure it out we'll figure it out but we're gonna go to bed and we'll uh we'll see you in the morning all right day 76 we're gonna hang around base for a little bit because it's still a bit dark out so i get some uh cabbage salad and then go uh go smoke some fools up by the uh community center or the school or whatever it was Try and clear as many as we can to finally push. We're going to, yeah, go up here to the school. Yeah, it was the school. Slowly start shooting. Bring them down to us. Park around here. Draw as many of them out of this area as we can. And then, I mean, Molotovs would work. But then, you know, we've got the risk of it burning the whole place down, which we kind of want to explore it. That's, that's the whole reason for these, you know. We want to explore these areas, but all right, well, our belly is full. Our inventory is full. We are heavy low. But then as we start shooting, it's going to use the bullets. Um, we got the eight times, so that's going to be nice. Um, yeah, let's go and see uh, what kind of carnage we can cause up there, really. Slowly clearing our way up there. That's the way you got to do it. You know, you got to... Oh, jeez. Oh, Jesus Christ. That could have been bad. Woo -hoo -hoo. Um, yeah, as I was saying, you've you got to clear... you, you got to make sure your rear is protected. 
that's what I say. Right, let's uh, park over here, actually, because it looks like we're starting to get a bit busy with the zombies already. All right, let's go to town. Let's try this eight times out. Oh, look at that. Look at that range. Oh, not going to be any good close range, but I ain't worried about that. Like shooting fish in a barrel, this is Jesus. Oh, this uh, immediate area is nice and cleared. Oh, yeah, there's a fair few up there. That's fine. Bring them on down. Bring them to the party. Deal with that guy in there. Oh, we got some jokers here coming in to get involved. There is a lot. I don't think we can take him with the machete, you know. Bloody hell, yeah, there is a lot. <laughs> oh, we got a fair few of them, to be fair. Oh, they're coming behind us. Hold the line! Okay, so they've got distracted. That's fine. We can go machete, I think, now. Whew, okay, that's good. That's good. We've got these here. It's all bringing them down from up north, which is good. Welcome to the party, pal. Ah, oh, the machete's gone. No, we don't have a spare. we got to retreat. 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 Right, let's get out of here. Let's get out. Did I bring a spare machete? No, I didn't. Okay. Right, let's go. Let's go. We'll come back. Uh, we'll come back tomorrow. Yeah, there's a lot of them. This has been repaired once. We could probably repair it again, I think. Ammo-wise, we're looking okay. Yeah, we've well fed. Well, stuffed. We uh, got fairly heavy loads, so we're going to have to keep on our keep our food up. And then uh, we're on 79. Uh, and then we won't uh, suffer so much with carrying all the ammo in it and all that stuff. With. All right, it's 11 o'clock. We're going to check the generator, see uh, how that's getting on. Because it's been a few days, I think, since I last checked it. Uh, we've still got four days. We may as well fill it up now while we're here. Why the hell not? Ain't going to hurt, is it? That was our rain collector. Uh, it's okay. Hopefully we'll get some rain. Um, but we're going to have a smoke and we're going to go to bed. And we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 77, we woke up, and would you look at that? We have rain. Amazing. It is a storm. We may not go back down there in the storm. I think that's a little bit risky. Let's go and have a look what visibility is like out there. Do we have something with calories and treat old Andy man? I mean, he has done bloody well. What we got? Nearly 5,000 zombie kills. So, you know what? Let's treat him. Let's give him Let's give him some chocolate. Why the hell not, eh? Yeah, this is, a, this is another storm coming. Um, I guess we get storms in September. But I will not be going down in uh, in this weather, no. Now well, the storm is still raging on out here, which isn't good. So it looks like today is a write-off. We've been rained off today in our quest to take back St. Paolo's Hammer. Hopefully it will go overnight. We may as well fill our stuff up and have a wash, actually, while uh, while it's raining. We are drenched, so let's see if we got a... I did have a dish rag somewhere there we go is it dry do they dry on their own i don't think i think that's the first time i ever used it and there we go we're just a little bit wet now oh okay all right it's uh 20 past 10 yep we didn't uh the rain the storm didn't go it looks like it's calming down though which is good so tomorrow hopefully we should be able to uh get on out and carry on up there but that's a problem for tomorrow so we're gonna hit the hay and we'll see you uh, in the morning Right, day 78. We've woken up at 20 to 5 because we did go to bed quite early because of the rain. Looks like the storm's gone. It is raining. I don't mind a bit of rain, so that's fine. But we are going to wait until it gets a bit lighter outside and then we're going to we're gonna crack on. We've ran out of cabbage in the freezer, in the fridge again. Let's move a load over. And I just realised we don't have a lighter either. Uh, well, we do, but it's empty. Now that one's full. Nice, nice, nice. Let's have a smoke. Fill our uh, water containers up while it's raining and then we are uh, we're off we're off down there again to uh to the school to the carnage let's get cracking oh we got our first candidates looks like they've moved down a little bit towards our base which is an ideal oh the massacre again what is this massacre 3.0 i think it might be all right let's get the gun out Oh, God, they're coming from this side. Jesus. They're coming from everywhere. All right, I think we got a lot of them. There's probably still more lurking around, but... Well, we've made it behind the school. We've still got a fair way to go, but hopefully if we start shooting here, it's going to keep bringing them down and bringing them down, and eventually when we get there, we'll... All right, 
we're out of ammo. Well, out of ammo and our mags. Let's actually, let's get the machete. Let's do what we do best, the machete. Oh, okay, let's reload our mags now. So many bodies, we'll probably start getting corpse sickness soon, I reckon. The car's down there. Not that we really need it. We do need fuel, but I actually think we'll be alright for fuel. Oh, Jesus, didn't realise realize she was there. Come on, lady. Oh, we got our next uh, candidates here. Gotta be careful, because behind us, you see them two gates, they'll be coming out of there. Oh, we're going to start a jam as well, which is an ideal. But, uh, it is what it is. Looks okay behind us. I've uh, got a couple here. Always uh, always cover your rear, that's what I say. Now oh, they're starting to come from the sides now. That's fine, though. Ah, there goes the machete. This one will be going, I think, to repair it twice. Uh, and it didn't last a long. Uh, it didn't last very long once we'd uh, repaired it that last time either. This one's a brand spanker. Well, not brand spanker, but it's never been repaired, it's, and it's got good condition. So, oh, we are getting through them, all right. Oh, right. Okay, it's twenty to four. We're gonna head back, I think. Yeah, we're going to start getting tired soon anyway. We're out of rifle ammo, so yeah, let's let's head back. Just look at all of these bodies. What is our kill count now? Let's have a quick look. Uh, five and a half thousand. Brilliant. Well, we're doing something right. All right, we are home. We're going to relax for the rest of the day after all of that carnage. What is our aiming skill at now? Okay, so we are actually getting close to number level five, which is nice. All right, it's 10 to 11. We're very tired, a little bit wet. We've got another storm coming. Uh, but I think anyway, tomorrow uh, and maybe even the next day as well, we're going to hang around base because we want them bodies to despawn. We're slowly, slowly pushing up there. Um, where, where, where do we get to here? So, yeah, we are getting there and it's drawing them all close, all to us, funneling them through to us, which is good. As I say, with them, uh, if we let the bodies despawn, we can drive up there better without worrying about the car tires or even rolling and flipping the car which you know it could happen with me driving we all know this um, but we're gonna hit the hay and we'll uh, we'll see you in the morning all right day 79 okay yeah the storm's still raging so we probably wouldn't go out anyway in this not with the high zombie pop that we've got on this map it's just it just doesn't worth it yeah look at this bloody hell my god and it's it's 20 past seven like it should be light okay well there you go well, uh, we did have some cereal yesterday, so our weight has leveled off at 79, but I think we're going to get some more, because we could do with... We could do with putting a little bit of weight on. I don't want to go too crazy. I don't want two chevrons. Maybe just one nice... Oh, all right. We got two chevrons. Um, that shouldn't take us past 85, though. If we do a bit of running... Maybe I'll do a bit of running around the base. A bit of jogging, I think. Uh, we did a couple of laps around the house, but I don't really think it's going to do anything. We are getting a little bit exhausted as well. But yeah, we're just uh, we're just chilling. Maybe we have a... Oh, you know what? Maybe. Maybe we treat ourselves and have um, a little bit of bourbon. Did we do that? No, no, no. We save it, we save it for Molotovs if we need to. Scorched Earth. Looks like the storm is going, which is nice. Well, the storm has stopped at 10 to 7 in the evening. So, you know, we, we would have had a little bit of daytime, but we wouldn't have been doing anything at this kind of time anyway. But, well, at least it stopped. And it's filled all rain collectors up, which is nice. Always nice. Mm, still got two chevrons. Okay. Mm, hopefully when we sleep, we'll drop down to one. But uh, speaking of sleep, it's uh, 10 past 11. Time for bed. We'll see you in the morning for day 8. 80 wow all right day 80 and look at that on 80 weight as well one chevron up that's fine that'll do as i think we'll probably cabbage it from now on again we're just gonna chill we're just gonna chill we're not gonna do anything crazy um on the last day of a 10 day stint it's just not how i roll you know i'm not i'm not that crazy uh forget about a salad just give me a cabbage these are coming on let's have a look at the info they should be well watered flourishing grow oh, we don't know enough yet uh, maybe, you know, maybe we read farming. Oh, we didn't even get... Oh. <laughs> we didn't even get two levels from that other crop. Uh, we should get there easy today. We actually planted more. We only had, what, four or five crops last time? Yeah, the neighborhood's definitely getting overgrown, isn't it? At least our uh, our patch is nice and clean. I quite like the trees coming here, and it's logs if we need them as well. Got this guy here. Absolute joker. Cut your head off. Ah, ah, ah. Zombie dismemberment would be pretty cool, actually. 
I think I saw a Reddit post on it before asking about it, saying it'd be cool. It really would be. I mean, there probably is a mod for it, to be honest. <laughs> I might look into that. All right, guys. We are on day 81. What are we going to do today? Over the next 10 days, actually. Well, I think we're going to still try and push up here. Do the same technique that we have been. Go along this road here. Start blasting with the rifle. Um, and then, yeah, drawing them all over. And then hopefully we will get into this area. Because I believe that that is a police station. Um, or one of them is a police station anyway. Or is that the police station? Uh, that is a police station. Maybe these aren't a police station. I can't even remember, to be honest. I know we went there not long ago. But, yeah, it is what it is. We'll, we'll push up. I want to go and have a look at these shops. Look at this blue building. But we got a, we got a lot to do. It's going to be a lot of killing over the next 10 days, I feel. Weight's looking good at 80. We are going to take maybe a cabbage salad with us. Because, you know, we love the cabbage. We just love it. we got a good amount of ammunition on us. 339 rounds. That should, uh, that should be plenty. But, yeah, we're just going to get straight into it at this uh, today I think and just yeah stop blasting actually gonna move these cars out of the way as well because I know I'm just gonna end up going into them and that could be bad you know I know it wouldn't be an episode without me crashing but I want to try and avoid it if I'm honest <laughs> well the road's clear which is good that could save us uh, a very bad injury to be honest all right, so we've parked up. Now, this is where Massacre 3.0 took place. Look at all them bodies. We are going to walk up from here, I think. I think we managed to get up a little bit further, but I want to be able to retreat if we need to. Um, so that's why we parked down here, and hopefully we can, we can push through quite a bit further today with all these rounds that we've got. The Street of Death. <laughs> so many bodies. Oh, long blade up one. That is nice. We will take that. Thank you very much. What level is that on now, actually? It's got to be pretty high. Level four. Nice, nice, nice. I mean, you don't really need a higher level in long blade because you pretty much one shot kill them anyway. Our old machete rip in peace, rip in peace. All right, so I think we got a little bit further up than this. So I think we'll probably actually get the rifle out now. Can we get this guy from here? Not quite. So we'll go up a little bit further and then rinse and repeat and bring them all over to us. Oh, we can get it from here, though. Looks fairly clear up here, to be honest. We got a couple coming over, but that's good. Oh, we got one guy here trying to sneak up on us. Well, we're definitely making a dent on them, that's for sure. Look at all of these bodies. Whew. Okay, we got a few down here. I think we're going to keep the machete going for a little bit, and then we'll push up to the next junction and then get the rifle, most probably. Yeah, it looks like we got a lot of them from here. There's a few up there. Actually, let's get the rifle on them because we don't want any sneaky bastards coming up behind us, do we? I also don't want to bring the car up here over all these bodies because it's going to wreck our tires. I want to check the tires, actually, so we may need to repair it. Look at this guy. He's got an axe in him. I have tried the axe. Mm, it's like a sledgehammer, I think. It uses quite a lot of uh, stamina up. Um, but, yeah, we don't really want to bring the car up through this because, um, well, all these bodies, We I've said before, I'll probably end up flipping it, let's be honest. And uh, I don't want that. All right, let's push up a little bit more. I've reloaded all the mags, so we're good to go with another five mags. So let's see uh, let's see what we got ourselves into up here. Well, it's a little bit more open at this crossroad, which isn't a bad thing, to be honest. Yeah, it's definitely one of the quieter crossroads this is. Um, or maybe we're just too good. Maybe we're just too bloody good. Looks like we got a fair few of them. I think we're going to probably head back for the day because it is, well, 20 past four. So we'll probably start getting tired soon. So let's uh, let's get back to the car. I think I might try and drive up here tomorrow a little bit further, I think, maybe. Hey, lady, what are you doing by our car? Get the hell away from our car. Jesus. All right, home sweet home. Maybe tomorrow we do a bit of base improvements. I want to get some, uh, possibly some bars or some sheets on the window. And then also, oh, look at the cabbage. The cabbage is coming up. Maybe that'll be seed bearing tomorrow. That'd be nice. I mean, do we actually need any more seeds, to be honest? Let's have a look. Um, nah, we we'll probably do with some, yeah. Um, yeah, as I was saying, we'll, uh, may have a base day. May put some defense up. May improve that to metal or something. And then also that will give the corpses time to decompose or despawn. 
So maybe we look at doing that. But first, what we need to do is stock up on our ammo. Mm, 308. Only got five boxes. We may have to take a little trip down to our to our little ammo stash, maybe. All right, it's 10 or 12. We are a little bit hungry. I'm going to hold off having some food because we are, we are dropping, but we're on 80. So, you know, 79. We, we can go hungry for a little bit. But uh, off to bed, and we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 82. We got a few things to do around base. I want to have a look at the car. I want to get some defenses up. So we got a fair, fair bit. Let's have a quick look at the old cabbage. Not seed bearing yet, but that's fine. That's fine. I'm loving this rain, by the way. Got to fill our uh, drinks up while we're at it. And you know what? Let's have a clean. Oh, look at that. Lovely and clean. Lovely, lovely stuff. Right, let's get to it. Mm, okay, so our tires aren't in the best condition. Can we actually repair these? We can repair them with glue. It doesn't really do a lot. But I think we could probably get some better tyres off of these cars. Yeah, these are in really good condition. We've got a 72, which we'll take. And then we've also got a 78, which we'll take. We're currently 55.51 out of 17. Yeah, we are losing health. But if you don't know, you can only lose, I think, 25% of your health from uh, being overweight. So we can't actually die. Uh, I say that, but <laughs> the last time I knew... I must have changed it, but I don't think so. I would have heard about it. All right, there she is in good condition. Can we repair the windscreen? We actually can. What? With a metal sheet? What? Okay, well, that's uh, and a plank. All right. Well, what's the best? Uh, looks like a, oh, a small metal sheet. Uh, I think we're okay. We don't really need to worry about the windscreen too much. We will keep these tires, though, because they are... I mean, 50% ain't too bad. Must remember to fill the air up as well. All right, they're inflated. I'm just looking at this one. We are on 65% on this one, so it's not amazing. But I think it will be fine for the time being. Mm, we don't have a crazy amount of metal sheets, but I think we've got enough. So I think, yeah, let's put some metal sheets on our windows. God damn, we got a lot of windows. I actually had a metal sheets. Okay, let's get some more from here. Yeah, he's going to use quite a few, actually. So we're going to have to keep an eye out for a few more. And I wanted to get metal sheets on the car. We need another level in metal working, which we're not too far away. Um, and that's going to use the metal sheets. But, I mean, the bars are doing okay. Well, there we go. We are metal sheeted right up. That is nice. That is some nice, uh, nice security there. Yeah, we've only got two more boxes of 308, which isn't ideal. We got any loose kicking around? No. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking tomorrow we go down to our. Uh, let's have a look on the map. We go down to our. I've drawn a line. That's the front line. That's where we pushed up to. But I think we're going to go back down here and stock up on some 308. That is, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Maybe check out the other buildings there as well, possibly. All right, it's half past 12. We're hungry, but we're not going to eat. Uh, we're going to go to bed. And tomorrow, yeah, we're going to go down to the factory area. So we'll uh, we'll see you then. All right, day 83. We've woke up at a uh, reasonable time, 20 to 8. I don't think that's bad at all. Let's uh, eat some cabbage. Probably just going to eat cabbage. Um, ah, did we make a salad? Uh, yeah, let's, let's do it. All right, let's get down there. Get ourselves some ammo. We may explore a little bit more because we may find some guns down there. Now, I don't know if it's just an ammo production factory or ammo and guns. Because we've only actually explored the bottom house. So maybe we have a little look and just, just see. There are still a lot of zombies down here, though. More than I was expecting, to be honest. Whew, that was a bit tense, I won't lie. Whew, we are uh, we're getting through them. Yeah, we've killed quite a few. No rest for old Andy, man, is there? All right, we're approaching this building. Um, I'm a bit worried that there may be a fair few of them in there. Yeah, there's a couple there. But let's have a look anyway. Oh, God. Imagine imagine if we'd have gone in with all these coming up behind us. Got another M16, which isn't too bad off of a zombie. Maybe we try out the M16 tomorrow. Don't think we have a lot of 5.56, though. <laughs> we're only going to have a quick look in here because there's quite a few zombies around. All right, let's get out of here. We've got a, uh, a lube kit <laughs> um, and 20 boxes uh, of ammo. So that should be enough for at least the time being anyway. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, I don't like it down here. It's very busy and they come from everywhere. Oh, thank you, sir. We will have your M16. Absolutely. Oh, we are a bit overweight. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yep. Yeah. I know they're not in good condition, but we got like four or five of them now, so we could use one, you know, each of them to repair one another. 
which ain't a bad idea if we need it. But I don't know. Don't think we have a lot of five, five, six. Home sweet home. Yes. Let's go and drop drop all this stuff off and see. Uh, yeah, I want to see how much five, five, six we got. Uh, we have too much ammo to put in there, but that's that's fine. Um, let's place them there. Wow. <laughs> okay, we have uh, five rounds of five, five, six, and whatever's in the guns. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, well, then look like we're going to be using the M16, does it? All right, 12 o'clock. We're a little bit hungry. I'm not going to worry about eating tonight. We also got to look at repairing this machete. Uh, it's never been repaired, so that's fine. So tomorrow, I think, is going to be another base day, which is fine because it will uh, despawn and remove the corpses up on the front line there. And then the day after, we're pushing back into the town. But uh, we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 84. Day 84. What we're going to do is another base day. We're going to repair this machete. Also got to check on the cabbages as well. It actually looks like they might be seed bearing. Oh yes, look at this. We got a hell of a lot of cabbages. So yeah, we're going to harvest these, redig some furrows, and uh, yeah, go from there really. Oh, farming up a level. That's nice. What are we on? We can also read farming too now as well. All right, how many did we get from that? 82 cabbages. Oh, we still got cabbage salad in our in our backpack as well. It's still fresh. Let's eat that. Mm. Yeah, wow, 82 cabbages. Are we going to have enough space here or are we going to have to use the uh, the chest freezer? I think we might have to use a chest freezer, you know. Oh, no, we're going to get them in there. We're going to get them in there. Ah, lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Hell of a lot of seeds as well. All right, we've dug some furrows. I don't know what happened to this one up here, really, to be honest with you. But, yeah, we got them ready for the rain, and then we'll uh, we'll get planting. Right, we've repaired the old machete. Um, let's get that in there. Uh, oh, we got a worm. We got a worm. What can we do with him? What, what, Horace the worm. I don't know why he's called Horace, but, oh, no. Oh. I think I just hate him. I didn't mean to do that. Um, oh. Oh. I wanted to put him up here with... Uh, with Spiffo, but well, sorry, Horace. <laughs> but I think we're going to read farming for the rest of the day and try and forget about poor old Horace. All right, we've read farming too, which is nice. Let's actually put that in the trash bin here. Um, yep, there we go. We got a few things in. Had a saxophone. That didn't really take off, did it? But oh well. But uh, it's uh, ten past twelve, so we're going to go to bed tomorrow. We're going to push up on the front line there. So uh, yeah, we'll see you in the morning. All right, day eighty-five. We, uh, we filled the uh, generator up. It's got 99% fuel now, but the uh, this big old this big old bastard has uh, got no more fuel in it. So we're going to put it in the truck and keep an eye out for more for vehicles with fuel. Oh, we still got the M16, another M16 on us. We don't want that on us. All right, we have 239 rounds. I think we're going to take a couple more boxes. Um, actually, let's take three because they're on top here and it will make it look a bit more tidy we need to do some of these nails that are kicking around all over as well weight is at 78 so that's uh dropping so we may have some calorie stuff when we get back tonight but let's push on to the front first what the hell do we have here look at these absolute jokers trying to get in here maybe we board that up as well yeah i think we're gonna look at doing that putting something in there maybe a door at least right so it looks like the bodies have started to despawn which is nice all right, so this is where it starts getting a bit uh, a bit uh, congested with the bodies. So we'll walk up from here, I think. Don't want to ruin our new tyres now, do we? All right, so this is the front. Um, mm, let's have a look then. Maybe we go down here this way, I think. We take a right at the front because we want to get to over to there, don't we? So yeah, if we go down here and then across, that that's not a bad idea, I think. We do have some shops here we can look at as well. Not that we really need a lot, but it's worth a look, you know. Oh, uh, we got zombies. All right, I think we can actually get the rifle and bring them all to us from here. Oh, there's a lot down there. Come on, then. Come on, you bastards. Uh, the gun is starting to jam quite a bit now, which isn't ideal. Alright, we've dealt with a fair few. Let's push on down a little bit more. Back round the corner. Absolute scenes of massacre. It looks fairly quiet now. Very quiet. Mm, these shops don't look like anything good, to be honest. Probably just insurance or something. Oh, here they come. Here they come. How is our aiming skill? So we're nearly at level 5, which is really good, actually. Wow. Although the rifle is jamming very frequently now.
Yeah, it's maybe jamming like three or four times a magazine now. Which isn't horrendous for long range, as we're using it for, but, you know, if it, if it was a pistol, it'd be a nightmare. But it's manageable long range. Alright, looks like we got a lot of them. So we need to reload any more? Yeah. Alright, we're making our way down, slowly but surely. We are definitely getting down there. Oh, we got aiming up a level. Nice. All right, well, we are down to just 33 rounds. It is half past four, so it's been a very productive day, I'd say. Look at all of these. Look at them all. Absolute jokers. Absolute mugs. Just walking into the firing line. All right, so we're going to head back because it's 10 to 5, so we're going to start getting tired soon. Tomorrow, we're probably going to take stock of what ammo, what guns we got, because this rifle is nearly uh, at its day, I think. And, uh, Go from there, maybe. Maybe another base day. We may end up coming down. I don't know yet. All right, we are home sweet home. Let's uh, let's look what, how we're looking for guns. Do have an M14 with a slight bit of uh, degrading on there. Mm, and that one isn't much better either, so we'll probably have to take this one, I think, won't we? Well, this one's definitely served its purpose. Let's just chuck that on the floor. Uh, sorting's pretty much gone out the window for the guns a little bit, I think. Actually, we got a couple over here. No, we do have, though, the Mini 14, potentially. I can hear a zombie out here somewhere, and I don't know where. Yep, yeah, there's one banging somewhere. I don't know where, though. Ah, here you are, you sneaky bastard. See, a fair few have managed to uh, shimmy on over from somewhere. It's good we got them defences there. Oh, God, this one is sneaking as well round by my base. You bastards. Mm, I think maybe we look at actually barricading them up, them two doors tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. Bit of home, bit more home improvements. All right, 12 o'clock, time to hit the hay. We'll see you in the morning. All right, day 86. Just looking at our weight here. We, um, we're we probably going to have something high calorie just to boost us up a little bit, just to get us comfortable. Maybe a level Chevron at 80 or 79, maybe. Mm, maybe a couple of cereal, actually. Let's, let's give them a go. Okay, so we've got two Chevrons after two boxes of cereal, which is nice. Um, it's fog today, which is um, interesting. But we're going to stay around base anyway and put some doors on them garages, that one there and that one there. So having fog isn't really that bad. It's probably the best day to get fog, to be honest. Actually, thinking about it, we don't even need doors. We can just put some walls up, can't we? Or would it be easier? Would it cost less to put a door? Oh, I need more planks for a start. Well, let's get chopping some trees. And of course, we're exhausted from chopping trees within, I don't know, 20 minutes. <laughs> uh, yeah, we can go ahead and just put a door straight on. So that's quite nice, actually. And we'll barricade it with a metal sheet. Why the hell not? There's one on the floor here anyway. I mean, that window's still open. We should probably uh, board that up as well. Probably check the other window as well, to be honest, on the other side of the house. All right, well, that one's all barricaded up, which is nice, nice, nice. Never did find that other VHS for mechanics, did we? <laughs> oh, well. Nice bit of rain would be good so we can get these uh, cabbage, more, more cabbages planted. Yeah, I'm really, really happy with our base, how it's turned out. We could even possibly get rid of the front door and have a rope coming down here, maybe. I don't know, I don't know. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, because I wouldn't want to get rid of the back door as well. Do you have a fiberglass stock? I don't know if we can put that on the rifle. Um, yes, we can. Okay, so what does that actually do? Decreases weight, maybe? Reduces firearm carrier. Oh, that's nice. All right, it's 12 o'clock. We are not gaining weight anymore, so we're probably going to have more cereal. Yeah, let's have some cereal. We love a bit of cereal. Get it in us. Not as much as cabbage, though, of course. But yeah, we got two chevrons again. That's good. And what I've also noticed is that um, the fiberglass stock is actually showing on there. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's all grey now, like fiberglass. That's really cool. I've never noticed that before. Vanilla Firearm Expansion is such a good mod. Go download it if you haven't got it already. It's not too overpowered like Britta's, um, but it's really good. I've noticed as well, when you're firing in the rain, it's actually got a unique sound for the shell casings um hitting like hitting a puddle which is quite nice but um yeah oh bloody hell it's 20 it's half past 12 we need to go to bed so we'll uh, we'll see you in the morning all right day 87 today we're pushing back up the front line we're gonna get into them buildings that is the plan yeah we're gonna go down here we're gonna check this one out we're gonna check them all we're gonna mark them all off maybe here that is the goal 
that is the uh, the goal for the minute. They seem to be the main areas, the main areas of interest anyway, and possibly up here and up here, maybe, maybe, and then, oof, well, who knows, who knows. We got two Chevy Chasers on our weight, which is good. We will take a salad up with us, the old cabbage salad. All right, that's all ready to go, which is nice. Um, we're probably not going to be hungry for a while because we did have some cereal, didn't we, last night, but... Let's, uh, let's crack on. What the hell? Where the hell did these come from? My god, they're coming from everywhere, you bastards. Mm, so we've hit the front line with the, with the corpses, so we'll probably just stop here, I think, with the car. Gives us a nice bit of uh, leeway to fall back to if we need to. How many kills are we on now? Got to be a lot, hasn't it? 6,341. Wow, okay. And uh, 2,361 in the rifles. How many with the... Uh, with our uh, M14. 333. Oh no, sorry, M14, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 1,150. Okay. That's pretty good. Pretty good going. So we got a laundromat. I'm thinking, do we dismantle the stuff in there? Is that going to give us enough? Maybe we can give it a try. Oh, there is a lot in there. That might get us to the next level of metal work, and then we can put metal sheets on the car. Let's give it a go. Well, we've done all the tumble, well, the washing machines, and we've got a fair bit of experience. I don't know if we're actually going to get to the next level, though. Well, that's everything dismantled. Um, didn't quite get us there. Didn't really do a lot, to be honest. And we have used quite a lot of the day. But um, we can definitely push down and see this blue building today, I think. Maybe check this police car as well. It might have suppressed MP5 in it. I doubt it, but it's worth a try. Um, no, it does not. We don't really need any of that, to be honest. Okay. Oh, brilliant. It's a church. Well... We'll do God's work. We'll uh, we'll clear out the church. So the M14 is taking a beating after a few shots. I'm thinking maybe attachments make it degrade quicker. Um, I'm not too sure. Let me know if that's a thing. I'm not too sure. All right, let's retreat a little bit up here because we are slowly getting surrounded. Let's fall back. God, we are absolutely tearing through the ammo. Probably going to start getting a bit tired soon. Looks like we drew a fair few of them up here anyway and cleared out that church. We'll, we will check that church out. It could be an Easter egg or something in there. Oh, we might even be able to get in there today, you know. Well, we're in the church. Let's scope it out around the back. Okay, we got some zombies here. Not really a lot in here, to be honest. All right, well, we, we've, we've... Is that a notepad on there? Can we read that? Is that... A doodle? What the hell's a doodle? Let's take it. We'll have a look at that backup base. I've never seen that before, I don't think. Oh, it's getting dark. We're not normally out when it's dark. Oh, well, we made it back in one piece. 20 past nine. This is very late for us to be out. All right, let's have a look at this doodle. Now, I can't read it, but I can write on doodle. Yeah, I don't... I don't I've not seen that before. Let me know in the comments, because I, I can't remember seeing that. Or am I just being stupid? Probably just being stupid, to be honest. But we're going to go to bed, and tomorrow we're going to push on back down to, uh, to the front line. See you then. All right, day 88. Let's uh, push on. Let's have, a, have ourselves a cabbage salad, and then we're going to go straight straight to the war zone. Uh, oh, my God. Where the hell did he keep coming from? Actually going to drive a little bit further today, just to the crossroads here. Hopefully, I won't regret that. All right, let's push on down. Let's take a little detour in this park because something's caught my eye. Look at this. they got a rug down, a little picnic area. That's nice. Well, not so nice how it ended um, with them all turning to zombies, but, you know... All right, so we're down by the church. Oh, let's actually mark that off on the map because, yeah, we, we don't want to be going back down in there because there is nothing in there. <laughs> but we're going to have a look at these buildings today, I think. What is that building? It says it's commercial, but it's it's got a play area, but it's not a school. School isn't green. Shall we go and have a look? I'm intrigued. Looks like it is a school. Yeah, it is a school. With a lot of zombies in it, by the looks. Oh, well, do what we do best. Well, that's a lot of them dealt with. There's still a few more. Step right up, step right up. Oh, Jesus. Keen hearing pace for itself again. They're still coming. Whew. There was a... Uh... A hell of a lot of them in there, to be honest. Let's uh, leave this area. Um, I'm guessing the mod creator, the map creator, didn't label it properly. Or am I just being, again, am I just being stupid? But I'm sure schools weren't green. That's commercial, isn't it? All right, well, we've made it to the first building. Let's start blasting. 
just to bring them over to us. There's gates around, so we're fairly secure, I'd say. And I think there is a hell of a lot of them up here, so... Yeah, let's, let's retreat up here. They are coming from all over. Up here is safe, I, f I think, though. Safe-ish. Don't think we're going to get in there today, but if we can clear as many of them out, get as many of them out into the open as we can. Oh no, the machete's gone. Ah, rip in peace. Jesus Christ almighty, he came out of nowhere. Wow. Ooh, okay. He took a chunk out of something, but I don't know what. Ho, ho, ho. Whew, let's get out of here. Wow. That scared me to death. Oh, he took it out of our, our bulletproof vest. Whoa. Wow, that, that really was a saviour, wasn't it? My God. See, you always got to be careful. Where was that police car? Because that had a bulletproof vest in it. No, let's let's go, let's go. Yeah, up a torso. Wow. God, that was lucky. That was so lucky. You know, I was losing concentration, killing the zombies, wasn't really paying attention, just shooting the gun. That's what happens. That'd be a lesson. I was lucky there. That was pure panic. <laughs> let's get inside where it's safe. I'm just thinking, do we even... Do we even keep this on now? You know what? I don't think we do. I mean, look, it protects our lower torso, but... Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it. We haven't got enough one in here, have we? No. I mean we'll probably be able to find one somewhere. We'll also take our weight down as well, which is quite nice. But that bloody saved our lives. Probably gonna get rid of this machete now as well, because I mean it degraded so quick after being repaired, and we got plenty of them, so. Alright, it's ten past twelve, twenty past twelve now. We've had some cabbage. Um we're gonna go to bed tomorrow. We're gonna hang around base, I think, after that bloody scare, but we'll uh, we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 89. Still no rain to plant the uh, the cabbage, but it is what it is. We got a hell of a lot of it anyway, so but yeah, we're gonna stay around base. We're actually gonna go around the perimeter and just see what's uh, what's occurring. We might get lucky and run into a policeman with a vest, maybe. I don't know, but we'll see. Area looks fairly clear. We'll probably head back. I think no grass has regrown, which is nice. Or is that grass? Is that the grass? Yes, it is. Get out of it. We don't want you around here. Now, I like how everything's turning like brown because it's autumn. So what are we in October? Yeah, so it's yeah, it's getting on. Let's uh, clean ourselves up a bit. Let's get ourselves presentable. Ah, lovely and clean. The, the stalker armor is so good. Wait a minute, was that was that something banging on my doors or did I hit something? I think I hit something. Yeah, the stalker armor, as I was saying, is is really nice. I really do like it. We've kind of neglected our short blunt, haven't we, uh, for the long blade, but that's fine. I mean, short blunt is, what, two, four, six, how many levels? Well, six and a half, which is nice. Maintenance level three, pretty good. Kills were looking, what, nearly 7,000? All right, it's 20 plus 12. We're going to eat this cabbage, and then we're going to bed. So we'll see you in the morning for day 90. All right, day 90. Wow, we have got just, well, 10 more days left. That is... That's something, that is. So we, we've nearly done it. We've nearly done it, boys. We're looking good again. Normally on a day, on a 10th day, I don't do a lot. It ain't worth it, especially after that scare. And if we stay a couple of days around base anyway, um, tomorrow, oh, it's foggy as well. Yeah, we ain't doing nothing. Um, some corpses would have despawned and we can take the car down there even further. So that's, that's going to be the plan, I think. Day 91. Wow, the final 10 days. Our main mission for the next 10 days, we are getting up here. This is where we're going. I think we'll be able to do it in the first couple of days, to be honest. So we're going to push up, maybe have a look up here as well. But yeah, we're going to have a look. I don't think there's really anything of much value up there, but that is the goal. We've got the front line here. We push down here and so on and so on. So we've got, we've got stuff to keep ourselves busy, but we're nearly, well, we're coming to an end with old Andy Mann. I've come quite attached to him, to be honest, but it ain't over yet. We've got all these guns as well. But I think we're gonna we're gonna grab some food and then head up to the front line. Get ourselves some lovely, lovely cabbage salad. Um, the house is looking very good with these bar uh, with these metal sheets on, which is really good. Our garden is becoming a bit bit unruly, a bit wild with all the trees, but I like it. I like it. I like the aesthetic. 
But uh, let, yeah, let's crack on. Let's crack on to the front line. Get up to them buildings. All right, so we're here. There's a few zombies down there. The corpses have started to despawn. We never actually got the metal sheets on, did we? Maybe we look at dismantling some more, getting our metal working skill up to get that metal sheet protection. We could actually dismantle some stuff in the house. I don't know. I think an oven gives you quite a bit of experience. Yeah, a little bit. And the fridges as well. Let's let's do a couple, see if we can get close. I would like to get them bar, them sheets on there. I think we could do it, you know. A couple more houses. Oh, we got some zombies. Just got to be careful going in these houses, not rushing in. It could be, uh, could be quite dangerous, you know. After I'll, I'll scare the other day. And I have noticed this dead policeman here with a vest on. We'll take that. Thank you very much, sir. That did save our life, didn't it? <laughs> and it may save our life again. Who knows? Well, it's definitely safer down here anyway to explore. Oh, we found like a fishing store. Not that we're going to do a lot of fishing, but we may be able to dismantle a load of this stuff. Oh, and there we go. Look at this. We took them all apart except for one. But we got to level six, so that's good. So we can actually put them sheets on our uh, on our car. Um, we may take a couple of sheets back with us, actually, because I don't know how many we got at home. We did use about ten, didn't we, when uh, we poured at the windows. Oh, wow, where the hell did all of these come from? All right, let's uh, push down. It's a bit late in the day. Actually, let's look what other other buildings, other uh, shops we've got here. Eh, uh, restaurant, not interested in that. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, let's start shooting. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who the hell is this guy? Oh, my God. He's got a car. Car 15 Delta. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Oh, yes. Um, has he got a magazine? What, what does it even take? It doesn't have a magazine. <laughs> I don't know if this is a suppressed one. I think it might be. Let's try and get back up to his body. I don't know who that was. What kind of zombie that was. Yeah, the cookery mache is definitely slower than vanilla mache. Thing is, with the car 15 Delta, I feel it's going to take 556, five, which we don't have a lot of. Oh my god, look at all of these. Maybe he's got a magazine or some ammo on him. No, just a Louisville map. Okay. Alright, it's 20 past 5. We've had a good day. We've got the metal working out. We've got a nice new gun, so we're going to probably go home, I think. Let's not risk it. The rifle has well and truly taken a beating. We may use the lube on it, possibly. Or maybe on the car. I don't think we're going to... I don't think we got the ammo for it. It's an M16 magazine. Yes, that's 5.56, isn't it? So we're not actually going to have much ammo for it. Thing is, as well, I've been keeping my eye open for it at the, um, the factory. Because I know it's, you know, pretty rare. And I haven't been able to find any. Home sweet home. Let's see what we're looking like. Metal sheets. So we got six in there. We got five in there. Um, one in there. You know what? We probably do have enough. Uh, we got three in there. Yeah, we should have enough, I think. Right, let's go and look at our uh, our nice new shiny gun. Oh, yeah. It is actually suppressed as well. Oh. So we did actually have three M16 magazines that all had ammo in. But it gives us a total of 87. And there's a five in the box. So it's not... It's not really a lot, is it? I mean, oh, I'd love to use it. We just don't have the ammo. Oh, look at that. That sounds so good. But we can't, unfortunately. Right, let's um, have a look around the area. We look good for zombies. I mean, we've got so much. Oh, actually, we're getting low on 308. Bloody hell. Um, I mean, we've got 40-odd 9mm, though, so it's probably going to have to be the MP5 or something afterwards, but it is what it is. All right, it's uh, 10 to 1. We're actually quite late today. Um, yeah, 10 to 1, we're going to hit the hay, and we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 92. We are, we're getting through them. We're getting through them. A day closer to that lovely, lovely 100. And what better way to start your day than a cabbage salad at 10 past 9 in the morning? You gotta love it. But today, oh, oh, we got a zombie. You know what I'm actually gonna do? I'm gonna test out that rifle. Eat lead, you son of a bitch. Oh, look at that. It sounds so good. We got loads of 7.62, which is really annoying. Well, what are you going to do about it, eh? But the goal for today, we're taking this off. Can we put metal sheets on? Let's have a look. Yes, we can. Okay, let's get some sheets. We need screws, sheets, and bars. All right, let's get to it. Got down to 93%, and we killed a few zombies with it. Oh, it actually breaks it when you take it off. Unusable metal, so I don't think you can repair it then. Okay, well, that's good to know. It's definitely going to be one of my... Um, 
mods I have on all the time. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. We have had to drop our uh, guns and stuff because we're just so overweight. But that is cool. Oh yeah, we got the trunk protection on there. I think that'll probably... Ah, do we get... I mean, we don't have a lot of metal sheets. How many is it to put a driver's side window on? Let's have a look. Oh, we do have enough. Okay, let's do it. Oh, yeah, we are now the road warrior. Amazing. I think that'll probably do it. Let's get rid of all this all this junk now and we can get our gun back. You know what? I don't think we need the propane torch anymore. Yeah, I think we're done with it. And that also means we can take the bloody mask off. Let's get that stalker cloak. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, it's got a hole. Maybe not then. <laughs> oh, we can know where... A mask. Yes. Let's get the prepper mask on. Cool, we look like someone out of a horror film. My God. Oh, look at her. She's an absolute demon. She's in pretty good condition all around as well. I mean, we could repair the brakes and that, but I don't think we need to, to be honest. I keep thinking I can hear zombies, so I've got to be careful. Ah, I could hear them. You bastard. All right, it's 20 past 12. We're going to uh, go to bed, and tomorrow we're going to push back down into the town there. Push the front line forward. We'll see you in the morning. All right, day 93, we're pushing back down into the high street there. We're going to get some uh, some lovely, lovely cabbage for breakfast and then, uh, yeah, crack on. Oh, just notice we're at 77 weight, so we could probably do with some high calorie stuff. Let's have some mac and cheese and some lovely cereal. There we go, two Chevys. Let's take a bit of food with us. Where the hell do all these, these dance cards keep coming from? I don't keep picking them up. They're just appearing in my inventory. Is that a thing? I don't know. I've no I just do not know, to be honest. Oh my god, I just realised we slept with the door open. Jesus Christ. Alright, let's take this wagon out for a test drive, baby. Alright, we're at the crossroads. Let's push on down. We could drive a little bit further down, but I don't really want to, to be honest. Because if we get swarmed, we need to be able to retreat to our car. Alright, we're at the church. Let's push on down. Let's actually get the rifle out now, I think. Oh, there's a lot of them coming. Come on in, you bastards. Let's have ya. God damn it, this gun is just jamming all the time now. Alright, looks like we got a bit of respite. They've stopped coming, so that's that's nice. Are our kills on? They gotta be uh well, seven thousand two hundred, that's not bad. I mean it ain't gonna set no world records, but I'll take it. Do with um, like a lighter or some matches or something. We can just fill our lighter up though, so it's not horrendous. What's this little building here? Let's have a look at that. Oh, uh, a dentist or a doctor's maybe? Nothing of any great use to us. All right, we've made it to the first blue building. What do we have here then? Some zombies. Oh, is this a church as well? Some kind of community centre. Well, nothing really worth uh, getting in here. A lot of flasks. Uh, I think they were... Oh, maybe it's uh, Alcoholics Anonymous, possibly. Well, I suppose they just use a community centre one there. That's why there's all flasks there. That's quite good if that is the case or if it's just random, I don't know. All right, what else we got here then? What's, what's this building here? Probably some kind of uh, school or something, probably. Another school. Let's go and have a look. There's a waiting room here. This looks like offices. Oh, Lord. Okay. Let's get out of here. So we can wear a riding helmet with a gas mask. Oh god, where the hell did all of these come from? Oh, they dead now. Yeah, I remember this is some kind of construction site. And there was a hell of a lot of zombies up here when we came, when we drove through. Oh, this this looks like it's a driving theatre actually, maybe. That's pretty cool. Is this a police station? Mm, don't think so, but we're gonna have a look anyway. Oh, we have got a little bit of exerted from that. This could be a pretty good base location, actually. There's a nice fence all the way around it. I just wonder if there's any more exits. This could be a very good location once it's all cleared out. Um, this does not look like a police station. <laughs> well, I mean, there's one very close anyway, so... Hmm. Looks like it's fairly secured all the way around. This would be a really good base location. All right, but it's four o'clock. We should probably head back. Do you reckon we can go over this fence here? Oh, we are. T oh, no, there's zombies there, and we are a bit tired. We did it anyway. All right, home sweet home, baby. I got another card on me. Where the hell did I keep coming from? What the hell? What, what even is it? The Northern Soul. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Andy, man. You got this. You got this. There's no use of breakdancer as well as a uh, construction worker, but also an absolute zombie slayer. All right, it's half past 12. We're going to have this cigarette, and then we're going to go to bed. We'll see you in the morning.
All right, day 94. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, what we're going to do today is going to be a base day. We can actually mark these suckers off, can't we? Because, well, we've done them. And there ain't really nothing there. Maybe this is something. Do we try that? Yeah, maybe we try that tomorrow. It could, could be a little police station. I don't think it's going to be. But we can go and have a look at this little outskirts area. But we definitely need to sort out our guns. I think we're actually probably going to use Zaloob on uh, on this Mini-14. The other ones aren't in much... I mean, we got the carbine. Yeah, they're not in much better condition. And this one's already got our stuff on it. So let's just repair this with the lube. Fire clean gun lube. Oh, we got four of them. Oh, we don't have a lot of 308s, actually. We don't have any other 308s. We only got 127. You know what? Let's take the, M let's take the MP5. We'll put this bad boy to rest somewhere. Let's put it there on our counter. Lovely stuff. Look at that. Do we have two mags for it? Well, three, because there's one in there. So that's not too bad. We got another bloody dance card in there. Where do they keep coming? from what is this one the samba where the hell do they keep coming from it's got to be a glitch or something hasn't it all right it's 10 to 1 we're gonna go to bed tomorrow oof, i don't know i don't know what we're gonna do maybe we push up to that other blue building we'll see but we'll uh we'll catch you in the morning all right day 95 we woke up quite early we wasn't really tired we didn't really do a lot yesterday but we're gonna uh yeah i think we're gonna push up to that building we're gonna wait for it to get a little bit lighter because winter is winter's coming so we're gonna wait for it to get a little bit lighter and then we're gonna push up all right, 10 past 7. I think that's a reasonable time. The light is okay now. We've got good visibility. Eight, weight is going up. We haven't took any food with us, so we probably need to starve ourselves for a, a little bit for the day. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's crack on. The plan is, actually, to go straight up. Let's pause it. To just push straight up to here. Or down past the front line, all up to here. And go from there, really. It's good because we've probably cleared out a lot of the zombies around that area. All right, we have made it, but it looks like it is a bus stop. <laughs> Brilliant. Let's uh, let's not mess around there. Let's get the hell out of here. It looks a bit busy. Let's head home. We've scouted the area. There isn't really anything worth taking or looking in, I don't think, up there. All right, home sweet home once again. Not a very productive uh, excursion, but... Um, it is what it is. I think I may have a plan. Now, let's get inside so it's safe. We've left our bloody back door open. What the hell? What we'll do for the last few days is push up into here, explore it a little bit more. There may be 556 in there, but there could also be gun storage in one of these. We could be missing some really big loot. I know it's going to be busy up there, but I think, yeah, I think that's, that's the plan, I think. There is a zombie banging somewhere. Come on, you bastard. What are you doing? Get out of my garage. You know, it would have been cool is to actually have this as a garage and we could have reversed in. Drive up here, park it in there. That would have been really cool, but well, it's too late now. And it's a lot of work for only the last few days, so I don't think we're going to, but we should have done. Oh my god, we got bloody zombies here. Where do they all keep coming from? We are tired, but this guy, he doesn't want to tangle. Look, he's going. He don't want it. Well, you got it. All right, yeah, but 20 past uh, 11. Weight is good, so we'll probably have some cabbage. Hopefully that doesn't give us the old Chevy. No, that's fine. Let's go to bed, and tomorrow we'll push back into that industrial area. All right, day 96. We are looking good. We are looking good. It's a little bit later in the day. Um, what I want to try is... I know we can wear the riding helmet. I've taken that off. I want to see if we can wear the other um, the military helmet. I think we probably can do. Let's put it on there. Yep. Yeah. Oh, look at that. We are looking. We are looking good. We are looking good now. Now, what I want to do over the next few days is push on down here. This we may be able to find some guns in there. Also, we'll have a look for some five five six as well while we're down there. So, that's the play. That's the play. Let's uh, let's crack straight on with it. I think. Oh, where the hell have these come from? Hey, you bastards! Get the hell out of my turf, you bastards. All right, we'll park the car here. I am a little bit hesitant to use the MP5, but I kind of want it at the same time. Probably should have moved up a little bit away from the car, to be honest. Let's move the car. Let's move it. Retreat! All right, let's push on up a little bit, I think. Now we can use the MP5. Oh, they're coming, they're coming. Alright, 
so we're up at another building let's go and try and get in here all right we are in we are in there's a couple of zombos looks like these are uh storage hmm, interesting all right this looks looks like this one's open there's nothing in there oh we got ammo we got ammo i also hear zombies banging around all over the place All right, well, that's them dealt with. Let's um, have a look in here. Maybe we find some guns. I don't think we're gonna, though. <laughs> oh, we got a load of um, 9mm and 7.62, but we just cannot get 5.56. Five, oh, we got some guns. We got, some oh my, AK-47. Yeah, we'll take that. Just check out this building before we, uh, we move on. You know what we gotta try? You know what we gotta try, don't you? We gotta try the AK. Full auto, and it's got a magazine in it as well. Come on, you bastards. Oh, yeah. Maybe we just go full auto. Well, full auto it is, baby. All right, let's pull back, I think. All right, we're back at the car. Let's head back. Oh, no, we got a, we got a crack on our windscreen. That's not good. I mean, a cracked windscreen, it's not the end of the world. Um, it'd be good if they actually um, restricted your visibility with a cracked windscreen. That'd be quite cool, actually. They'd probably add it, to be fair. It seems like something they'd add. Right, let's put the AK stuff away. Um, I think the MP5 is going to be the savior. We got a backup rifle if we need it. So it's good. All right, it's 12 o'clock. We're going to get some food and then hit the hay and we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 97. We're going to push back on up to the industrial area there. Try and clear a few more out before we hit that 100 days. Hopefully we'll get them all done. I think we will, to be fair. Have a bit of the old cabbage. Oh, where the hell did all of these come from? Oh, I'm actually going to drive up here a little bit more because it seems like we've cleared it out fair bit because we was blasting up here and we was fine maybe one of these zombies in here has broke down the uh the doors as well nope they have not oh well i want to check this building out just up here up north here we didn't actually get round to it yesterday did we you candidates for the mp5 come on then you bastards let's have ya i've lost count of what number massacre this is guns have been uh really good this place but let's have a quick look at our kills actually nearly eight thousand and firearms 3367 so a fair few well it looks like this is a garage okay you know wouldn't it be funny if we found the last um, mechanics vhs i don't know if you can find mechanics vhs's in garages though i know you can find the books but all right let's get out of here all right let's go check out these buildings no 556 five, got a lot of 762 and some more nine mil but my god we cannot find 556 five, anywhere all right let's start marking some stuff off so where is old gunny yeah that goes there that goes there but that is done and that is done so we're getting through it all right, so we got more ammo in here. No 5.56, five, though. Ah, the MP5 is jamming a little bit. You know what? Let's, let's ball and then go full auto on these bastards. We do have 599mm rounds on us. <laughs> what is our aiming at? Um, yeah, so we're at 5. It's going to take ages to get to 6. I think the drop-off is at level 5, to be honest. Yeah, not having a suppressed weapon is uh, kind of nice because it's actually drawing them all to us. So we haven't got to, you know, round them all out. They're all coming to us, especially with that M14 with a range on that. That was really nice. Full auto is quite viable. I never normally use it because I think it's quite inefficient. But I suppose when you're as good a, when you've got good aiming, it's quite good. Well, we got a few coming from down here. Let's have, let's be having you, you bastards. Come on. Absolutely shreds. <laughs> right, looks like we got another ammo dump here. Let's have a quick look. Oh, we know there's ammo in that one. Just realised as well, there's actually a different sound for shooting inside. How quiet that is. That's nice. There's like a little echo. We don't mess around now. We're in and out. Tactical, baby.
Oh, that was risky. That could have been bad. Right, let's get marking these off on the map. So these are actually all full of different ammo. Okay, nice. Oh, 666, nine mil rounds. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. Let's check out these residential houses. We may actually stay down here tonight. Something a bit different. They are single story. I don't mind a single story house, but in a hostile um, position like this, I don't know how I feel about it. All right, it's 20 to 12. We are in them houses, hostile territory. We are going to sleep here, you know. I'm going to risk it. Could be a bad idea, but... <laughs> oh, a nice M4, M14. Let's take it, let's take it. The only food we managed to find was maple syrup. I'm not complaining. Um, how are our calories? Um, eight and drop, so that's fine. Okay, so let's go to sleep, and hopefully we make it through the night. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Day 98. We, uh... We've made it. We have made it through the night. We're going to eat this maple syrup as a little victory uh, victory celebration. Lovely stuff. And let's keep pushing on and clear clear this area. I want to get it done in the 100 days, so let's do it. Hopping over this fence could be a bad idea, but I think we're okay. Uh, yep, yeah, okay. Whew. Got a lot of wrecks here, but we don't really need any more um, uh, metalworking skills, so we don't really care about them. MP5 time, baby. All right, let's go get our car and then we can drive down to the last few buildings. All right, let's go, let's go. Could be busy down here. We haven't been down here yet. I want to see what this, this building is. Okay, it's a garage. It's a garage. Yeah, we don't really want to need to stay here. Um, it's probably not worth the risk, to be honest. Not for a garage. At least we know what it is now. Got a construction site. Oh, God, there's a tree there. Oh, God, get out, get out, get out, get out. Is there a lot of them around? What is this building? I think it's just offices. Yeah, just offices. Okay, we don't need to worry about that. <laughs> We've been in there. That's where it was gated off. Okay, looks like we got a fair few here as well. Oh, well, <gasps> there's one more building down there. Let's go, let's go, let's do it, let's do it. A little bit out the way, so it could have some nice secrets. Oh, there's a lot of, a lot of zombies. Do we do it? Do we do it? One final push, one final hurrah. Let's go. Reload, reload. Okay, we're out of mags, which isn't ideal. Just gotta be careful here. Let's not do anything too stupid. Well, looks like we got the majority of them. I did see a zombie with another MP5 that I killed, but I cannot remember where he is in all this pile of corpses. Oh, they still coming. Oh, Lord. What do we have here? Oh, yes. We got a suppressed one. We got a suppressed one. Finally. Oh, it's in good condition as well. Let's have it. Let's have it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. There we go. We have a suppressed MP5. Only took us, what, bloody, God knows, nearly 100 days, but we got one. And it had a magazine in it, so we got an extra magazine, which is really nice. Let's test this bad boy out, shall we? Oh, I hear zombies. Where are you? Mm, I think they're upstairs, which isn't ideal. Guess this is just like the office area. Give it a shout. Come on, you bastards. Let me try out my new gun on you. Oh, I don't want to go upstairs. Oh, here we go. We got a candidate right here. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Amazing. Can we go upstairs? Yeah, let's go upstairs. <sighs> oh god, that scared me to death. I mean, this just looks like offices, so let's get the hell out of here. Hey, you want to try my uh, suppressed uh, MP5, you bastards? Yeah, I have some of that. All right, let's mark it. Uh, let's mark it all off, shall we? Where is the X? Yep, done, done, uh, done, done. That is guns and. No, that's nothing in there. So we we've, we've done it. We've done it. Let's uh Ah, I think after all that, let's let's head home for the last few days. You know, what a way to end it. What a way to last the hundred days, you know. Come down here. Surely we was on about seven thousand, weren't we? Uh so eight thousand, so we killed around about a thousand there thereabouts, which is pretty good going, I'd say. But Andy Man, it's only time for you to retire, old boy. If we don't flip the car going over all these bodies. I mean it's suppressed a gun is <laughs> You know, it's it's end game anyway, and it like you got you got nothing to worry about that. Oh, you know what? Well, let's let's deal with these. Oh, well, we definitely conquered this place. My God.
Alright, we are home after a very, very successful couple of days. A little excursion. But uh, we're just going to chill around for the, the rest of the day at least, that's for sure. You bastards, get the hell out of here. Stop, leave my fence alone. Alright, it's 10 to 11. We're going to, uh, we're going to have a smoke. We're going to have some food and we're going to go to bed and we'll see you tomorrow. All right, day 99. Wow, we are so close. Yep, it's going to be a base day. Going to be a base day. Not going to do a lot, to be honest with you. We're so close. What's the point? What is the point? I don't mind a bit of rain, though, to be honest with you. Just checking our uh, our lawn here. Seems uh, okay. Uh, nice and tidy. Some trees growing here if you ever needed wood. Look at the neighbor's lawn. It's an absolute mess. they got dead bodies in it. Well, actually, we got a dead body. <laughs> All right, it's 11 o'clock. We are very tired. We'll probably hold off till 12, but tomorrow is day 100, baby. All right, day 100. Now, as always, I do need to survive this day, so I have would have survived 100 days, so we always go to 101. Um, but yeah, we were, we're pretty much there. We're going to check the perimeter out, I think, today. Again, nothing too strenuous, nothing too crazy. What the hell's the point? We've done it on the home stretch. Andy Mann, you absolute legend, you hero, absolute boss. We got a zombie down here, we don't even care, we got a suppressor now. See you later, you sucker. Oh, we got a bloody zombie trying to get in here. Where are you, you bastard? Ah, there you are. Get out of it. All right, but it's 12 o'clock on day 100. We're going to go to bed. When we wake up, we'll have survived 100 days. We'll see you in the morning. All right, there we are, day 101. We have survived three months, 10 days. A Project Zomboid month is 30 days, so that's 90 and then 10, that's 100. We have survived the 100 days. Let's have a little recap of everything, I think. It's been very good. I've enjoyed this one. I really like this map, St. Paolo's Hammer. It's really, really good. Definitely check it out. That ammo and guns, uh, industrial bit down there, really, uh, really was a game changer for us. I kind of pretty much done everything I wanted to do. These buildings, I mean, we could have probably pushed onto the high street a little bit more maybe, but... You know, there's nothing that we really needed. We were looking for some suppressed weapons, which we found. Um, the M, well, what is it? What is it actually called? The uh, the Car 15 Delta, but we didn't have any 556 or very little. Um, but that was nice. Oh, I tell you what, we are going to do. We're going to drink all this bourbon <laughs> as a celebration. You deserve it, Andy Man. You absolute legend. Um, 8,292 kills. We'll have a quick look at his stats while he's sipping on the bourbon. Uh, reloading, aiming at 5, that's quite nice. Tailoring, we could have done more for tailoring. Mechanics, still at level 4. We didn't need it though. We are inebriated, so that, that's good Good to know. Um, now, electrics, yeah, need to worry about farming. Probably would have done we, if we'd have planted more crops, but we have, it hasn't rained. So, uh, carpentry, yeah, pretty good on that, I think. All you need, you know, level 8 is all you need. Probably 7, is it, to build stairs, actually? um let's have a look rain collect that's eight is it oh no that's seven for that as well so yeah i mean we yeah we dinged level eight didn't we? we wasn't even trying i remember now maintenance not bad it's not bad short blunt was a real powerhouse early on really was but as always long play took over once we found some machetes but i definitely you know recommend going short blunt construction worker is a really good um profession actually um, there are the stat, uh, my traits there if you want to take the same build. It's a pretty, pretty good build, I would say. Um, sprint and all that, we don't worry about that. Strength and that, 100 days we got, what, 6,904 fitness? <laughs> oh, well. Um, right, let's have a quick look at our kills. So, bare hands 12, long blunt 50, short blunt nearly 2,000. I bet the baton was, uh, was the one, wasn't it? Nightstick, yeah, yeah, okay. Long blade, got to be the machete. Cookery, yeah, okay. Firearms, yeah, MP5 SD. We only killed 26 with a suppressed one. Um, 753 with the normal MP5. But the real the real winner has got to be the M14, as it? Yeah, nearly 2,000. Uh, one with a spear. <laughs> um, yeah, there we go. There we go. We are probably running out of water here. Uh, why have I got empty bottles on me? Oh, yeah, the bourbon. <laughs> um, we got cabbage, cabbage for days. How many do we actually have here? Can we see? 68. <laughs> okay, there you go. We got plenty of cabbage. We are ready to re prop, uh, replant some out here when it rains, but we haven't had rain in a few days. But we're very self-sustaining. We could, we've got the water here as well. If we need to, it probably will rain. But then winter's coming, so it's probably gonna be snowing in a month or so. 
the car. What a oh, look at this guy. Let's have another couple of goes with the uh, the suppressed MP5 before we call it. Hey, buddy. And um, the car was pretty much fully upgraded how I want it. You can put some other bits on it, but the hood and the trunk were the main ones with the bull bar, which is good. Oh yeah, metal working. We got to what level? Yeah, level six. Nice, nice, nice. Let's deal with these absolute jokers. But yeah, it's been very. Oh no. What the hell? They broke one of my crates, you bastards! Ah! Oh well. Oh well. But, um, yeah, as I was saying, we've done it. We've done it, and we're tired at 20 past 11. Okay. We may go back to Andy Man. He's been an absolute legend. You've all been legends for watching. Really appreciate it. Thank you. And I will see you uh, in the next series. Cheers!